when the globally popular game announces its opening, everyone is striving to level up, but I quietly watched the opening animation for 8 hours, just because the first person to finish watching the promotional video will receive the hidden reward of a divine level talent awakening stone. In my previous life, I obtained a holy level awakening stone, but the talent awakening still failed. When the great catastrophe invaded the earth five years later, the game's characters appeared in the present time. I only then discovered that I actually had a divine level talent, but it was too late. But to my surprise, when I opened my eyes, I had been reborn back to the time when the game Twilight of the Gods had just launched. In this life, I will definitely spare no effort to become stronger. Having watched the 8 hour plot at this moment, I unsurprisingly obtained the divine level awakening stone. My character is still the archer from my previous life. In the next instant, I appeared in the newbie village area 10086. At this time, the village that could only accommodate 10,000 people was already overcrowded. I went to an empty corner and used the divine level awakening stone. To my surprise, the system indicated that the talent was too high, and the divine level awakening stone could only awaken part of the talent. My mind went blank, and I immediately checked my talent. The Hand of Divine Punishment, Super Divine Level 1, Effect 1, Every normal attack causes 1% true damage to oneself, Effect 2, Every normal attack permanently increases health by 1 point, Proficiency 0 1000. His previous life never heard of anything as godly, and this talent is also a bit abnormal. Lin Shin deeply knows that he has wasted too much time. Coming out of the newbie village, one can see level 1 red-eyed rabbits everywhere outside the village. Red-eyed rabbit HP 90, Attack 5, Skill 0. Lin Chen unhesitatingly shoots an arrow. Minus 8 Meanwhile, Lin Chen's health also increased by a bit. As he hunts down the red-eyed rabbits, his health visibly increases, and the damage also increases with the health boost. Moreover, Lin Chen knows about a hidden reward in the newbie village. That is when submitting the red-eyed rabbit mission, increasing the originally required 100 red-eyed rabbit eyeballs to, to 10,000 PCS. This will enable him to obtain a special skill that increases the normal attack range, which happens to be in line with his profession. Now, in 3 seconds, Lin Chen can stack 2 points of health, which is 40 points in a minute. Excluding the time for positioning, it means 30 health points per minute. And due to the profession's increased damage effect, each normal attack causes 1% true damage of his own health, which increases his damage by 0. 3 per minute. At first, it took 12 strikes to kill a red-eyed rabbit. Later, it was 10 strikes, then 8, and now only 5 are needed. The system's voice rings out, your talent, Heavenly Punishment, is upgraded to 2 stars. The Divine Punishment Hand is Super God Tier Level 2, with the first effect causing 2% of the attacker's own health as true damage with each basic attack, and the second effect permanently increasing health by 2 points with each basic attack. During this process, Lin Chen leveled up to level 2, gained 5 attribute points, and allocated all of them to attack speed, increasing it from the original 0. 63 to 0. 73. At this point, killing the red-eyed rabbit no longer yields experience. But in order to obtain that special skill, he chose to continue farming here. The red-eyed rabbit disappeared in an instant after 2 hours. At this point, his health had increased from 100 points to a terrifying 4,800 points, and his true damage had also reached 96 points. At the current stage, even those warriors specializing in health points have no more than 500 points of health. The terrifying aspect of his talent was fully displayed at this moment. Glancing at his backpack, he had only collected over 1,600 eyeballs so far, still a long way from 10,000. At this moment, Lin Chen received a message, an external device was calling him, probably asking him to log out for a meal, and leave the game pod. Because this game is too realistic, just like a second world. Jojo seemed exceptionally excited, Jojo and Lin Chen are best buddies. Employed by the Dream Pursuit Club, there were over a dozen people eating in the dining hall. All of them were gold farmers from the Dream Pursuit Club. After everyone was in place, a big-bellied middle-aged man walked in. Li Haidao, the general manager of the Dream Pursuit Club, was in charge of daily gold farming data and level statistics. One by one, they all started reporting, almost all of them are at level 4. Finally, when it was Jojo's turn, he boasted, level 5, 2 silver coins. Li Haidao, who was originally indifferent, suddenly looked up. This surprised Lin Chen a bit, and he calmly said, level 2, 15 copper coins. Upon hearing this, Li Haitao slammed his hand on the table. Lin Chen, what's wrong with you? Everyone else is at level 4, why are you only at level 2? It took some time to watch the promotional video, Lin Chen said truthfully. Li Haitao immediately scolded Lin Chen from head to toe, the club never harbors idlers, pack up your things now. 
Get lost, Jojo, still wanting to put in a good word. But Lin Chen got up and left. Walking out of the dream pursuing club, he had wasted too much time here in his past life. But as soon as he left, Jojo chased after him from the club. Brother Hao, if you're leaving, let's go together. Take this card, there's 20,000 inside. Use it to pay for your sister's medical expenses. Lin Chen was quite moved, Jojo, Sho, and Eyes, they are Lin Chen's best three brothers. In his previous life, when Lin Chen was destitute, he spared no effort to help his three brothers. No need, Jojo. Let's go out and do it together, set up a studio, and be our own bosses. In this life, I must protect everything, he silently vowed in his heart. Xiaohao and Yan Jing are not in Binhai now, but Jojo has already sent them a message. They all said it's not a problem at all. Heading to the twilight of the god's landing point, Lin Chan and Zhou Zhou spent 20,000 gold. Bought two game storage spaces. Back to the rental house, re-entering the game. Lin Chen continued to hunt the red-eyed rabbit. Five hours passed in the blink of an eye, and finally collected 10,000 red eyes. Finally, it's time to submit the task. Great adventurer, you are truly a person of extraordinary perseverance. I will give you a special reward. The old village chief smiled at Lin Chen with great satisfaction. Ding has completed the red-eyed mission, reward, experience value plus 1,000, silver coins plus 5, skill basic attack amplification plus 1. Lin Chen unhesitatingly learned the skill basic attack amplification, passive skill series effect. Your basic attack distance increases by 5%, cooldown consumes no proficiency, 1,000 out of 0. Brave adventurer, your perseverance is beyond my lifetime. If you can hunt down 10 bosses, I will give you an unexpected reward. Lin Chen was stunned, there are still follow-up hidden tasks. Accepted, this coincides with what he is planning next. Leaving the novice village, Lin Chen directly went to level 10, the territory of the Twisted Tray Ant. He has to level up next, otherwise the upcoming attack speed won't be enough to hunt down bosses. Twisted Tree Man. Normal level 10, HP 1 1900, attack 32, skill vine rotation revival. Lin Chen raised his hand, and a feathered sword flew out. Minus 424 after hunting and killing the red-eyed rabbit, Lin Chen's health has reached over 21,200. Although his attack power cannot break through the defense of the Twisted Tree Man, the passive true damage of the Heavenly Punishment Hand is also not to be underestimated. 1,900 health, just a matter of 5 feathered arrows. You killed the Twisted Tree Man, gaining 90 experience points. Lin Chen's face showed a satisfied smile. The experience rewards for killing monsters above his level are indeed generous. Normally, killing a regular Twisted Tree Man only gives 10 experience points, but now it's a whopping 90 points. Adding the 1000 experience points from the previous completed task, Lin Chen now only needs to hunt and kill 20 Twisted Tree Men to level up. Not only that, the drop rate for items from killing higher level Twisted Tree Men will also increase. Already reached level 3, with 5 free attribute points added. Without any hesitation, Lin Chen allocated all his free attribute points to attack speed, increasing it from the original 0. 73 to 0. 83. After hunting and killing 20 twisted tree men, he finally dropped an equipment. Revival ring, normal wear, requires level 10, effect, restores 2 health points per second. Durability 100. Lin Chen was surprised. This is actually the most difficult ring to drop in the twilight of the gods. For Lin Chen, this effect is really useless, only restoring 2 health points per second, weak. Lin Chen directly put this equipment up for auction, selecting the bidding mode. Starting price 500, bidding time 5 minutes. If it were in the front newbie village, Lin Chen would definitely set the starting price at 10,000. After all, those guilds competing for an advantage in the early stages will naturally pay a high price. 5 minutes later. Top player Galen purchased your equipment. Top player Galen requested to add you as a friend. Seeing this prefix from the Fudo guild, Lin Chen couldn't help but be surprised. The Fudo guild is a top 10 ranked large guild, so they shouldn't be entering the game this late. Save a friend slot, may I boldly ask, did you obtain this resurrection ring from a mission, or did you acquire it for a fee? Monster burst, Lin Chen replied, and at the same time, also received a message of 9000 yuan credited to the account. Holy cow, sir, do you know what kind of monster can be safely farmed at level 10? Wild monsters? Galen was surprised, Lin Chen is only level 3, it's impossible to directly farm level 10 monsters. Lin Chen replied, then ignored Galen, and continued to farm monsters. Galen saw the ring in hand. A smile appeared on his face. You won't tell me, huh? I'll come find out now. Level 10 Wild Monster, the Twisted Tray Ant, this is the information discovered by the Fudo Guild Exploration Team as soon as they entered the game. 
So Garen quickly arrived at the respawn point of the twisted treant. At this moment, Garen saw that there was an archer ahead spawning monsters. Minus 426. Garen widened his eyes, who the hell can deal 426 damage with an arrow at this stage? Even those in their elite group, with their equipment, can barely reach an attack power of over 100. Lin Chen's arrow dealt over 400 damage, even in a higher level battle, Garen was instantly defeated. Boss, how about forming a team to level me up, I'll pay for it. Lin Chen originally didn't want to deal with Garen, after all, he didn't want to waste time, but then he thought of his sister still lying in the hospital, and he changed his mind. I can, but I want 300,000. 300,000, upon hearing this, Fuo Garen almost couldn't help but burst into a rage. I'll take you to level 10 within today. Garen was stunned and looked at Lin Chen with some suspicion. Although it's only 4 a. m. Now, there are still 20 hours left. Even if without eating, drinking, or resting for 20 hours, reaching level 10 with him is still a fool's dream, but even so, your price is too high, he may have money but he's not a fool. I know it's high, but what if I add a set of elite level gear at level 10? Upon hearing this, Garen's breathing became rapid. Boss, you're not kidding, are you? Without Lynchin's very certain answer. A level 10 elite treant can drop a complete set of equipment, just need to farm enough. Okay, I'll transfer the money to you. The game Twilight of the Gods has a transfer function, no need to provide a bank card number separately. Soon Lynchin received the message of 300,000 credits deposited. Lynchin sent a message saying, wait for me. Lynchin hid behind a big tree, then went offline on the spot. Futu Garen, damn it, I was fooled. Futu Garen isn't short of money, but at this moment, he feels as bad as if he had eaten garbage, extremely uncomfortable. Of course, Lynchin didn't run away. Now that he has money, naturally he immediately takes the money to the hospital to pay for his sister's surgery. Looking at Lin Xingqing lying on the hospital bed, Lin Chen clenched his fists tightly. He will make up for regrets from his previous life. After paying the fee, Lin Chen hurried back to the rental place, logged back into the game. At this time, Futu Garen was reluctantly asking a few players to take him to farm level 4 windhounds. Suddenly, he saw a message pop up from his friend list. Level 10 Twisted Treant is coming. Futu Garen was stunned for a moment. He thought Lin Chen had run away. Even though he had cursed Lin Chen's ancestors 18 generations in his heart before. But now, upon hearing that Lin Chen wanted to help him level up, he happily ran over. Lin Chen didn't waste any time and directly sent a team invitation over. At the same time, he set the loot to be only pickable by himself. Futu Shield Mountain hesitated to speak, but ultimately didn't say anything. But in the next moment, he found something absurd, the experience points were distributed 9 colon 1, with Lin Chen getting 9 and him only 1. Damn, this is supposed to be leveling up with me, bro. Isn't the experience point distribution wrong? You're right, Lin Chen replied and started to grind monsters. Minus 426, minus 426. 5 arrows to kill a twisted tray ant. Even though Lin Chen's attack speed isn't fast, he still managed to kill it within 10 seconds. Starting with 6 in 1 minute, that's 360 in an hour. Not only that, Lin Chen's health is constantly increasing. On the side, Futashield Mountain was dumbfounded watching Lin Chen continuously hunting twisted tray ants. Lin Chen's positioning skill is so smooth. The twisted tray ants haven't come close yet. Lin Chen was killed. Attacking while moving inside makes the game more difficult than traditional methods. With a crisp sound, a piece of equipment dropped. Tray ant shoulder guards. Normal wear, level requirement 10. Universal effect, plus 200 health, durability 100. What about this equipment? Lin Chen looks at Galen. Just saying, boss, this equipment definitely can't be as expensive as the ring. 3000, Lin Chen said casually. The transaction is complete, you've leveled up to level 4, and gained 5 free attribute points. Lin Chen allocated all the free attribute points to attack speed, increasing it by 0. 1 to reach 0. 93. At the same time, Lin Chen's health has increased by over 1000, and basic attack damage has once again been boosted. Minus 448, minus 448, finally appeared. Lin Chen looked at the distorted tray ant in front of him, a satisfied smile on his face. Distorted tray ant, elite level 10, health 5700, 5700, attack 49, skills, resurgence, horizontal rotation, vine entanglement. The elite level distorted tray ant now has an additional control skill. Without hesitation, Lin Chen immediately began to attack. Minus 449, minus 449, the output is very stable, but it still takes 13 arrows to kill an elite level distorted tray ant. 
You have killed an elite level distorted treant, gaining 321 experience points. Lin Chen's face revealed a satisfied smile. Elite level experience points are still greater. Even Galen, who's teamed up with Lin Chen, gained 32 experience points. Due to your hunting of a large number of distorted treants, you have incurred the displeasure of the distorted treant king. He will arrive at the battlefield in 5 minutes. Please leave quickly. Finally arrived? Shield Mountain immediately became excited. Boss fight, boss. Whether Lin Chen nodded or not, he kicked Garen out of the team. Garen. Boss, what do you mean by not taking me along for the boss fight? Lin Chen just nodded, don't join in. Stay away, Garen feels bitter. Would you treat the main boss like this? Boss, isn't this a bit unkind? I only agreed to take you to level 10, not to share the boss with you, Lin Chen's response was very simple. All boss first kills will have special rewards, and if it's a solo first kill, the rewards will be particularly generous. Taking Garen along as a drag will only affect his reward. Twisted Trey and King, Black Iron Boss, Level 10. HP 16,800. Attack 325, Skill, Summon Trey and Revival. Vine Restraint, Thorn Shield, Vine Cage. So strong, Garen is dumbfounded. Even if Lin Chen's normal attack causes 500 damage, it would still take over 200 normal attacks to complete the kill. Just when Garen thought Lin Chen would back down, an arrow, accurately hitting the body of the twisted Treyant King. Minus 501, a damage number popped up, critical hit rate is zero, even hitting the weak spot won't cause critical damage. Normal attacks are a bit like scraping, but of course, skills are still unstoppable. Since that's the case, there's no need to drag and affect the normal attacks output. I have an idea. Lin Chen no longer dodges normal attacks, and starts to counterattack against the twisted Treyant King. This scene leaves Galen with his mouth agape, engaging in a face-off with the boss. Who on earth is this extraordinary figure? Just as the twisted Treyant King is casting a skill, Lin Chen's arrow hits the wrist of the twisted Treyant King, forcefully interrupting the king's incantation. After that, every time the twisted Treyant King tries to cast a skill, Lin Chen's precise arrow strikes interrupt it. Finally, the twisted Trent's health bar is down to 5%. Just as it seems Lin Chen is about to kill the twisted Treyant King, he stops. At this moment, Lin Chen unexpectedly aims at the air behind the twisted Treyant King, and shoots an arrow. A soft sound. A dagger emerges from the air, deflecting Lin Chen's arrow. Oh my! There's an assassin! Garen was once again surprised. He had been so engrossed in watching Lin Chen's actions that he hadn't noticed the assassin sneaking up on them. After a brief moment of astonishment, Garen instantly realized, Snow Emperor, he wants to steal the boss. Lin Chen ignored Garen and instead looked at the assassin. The assassin was decked out in gear, wearing quite a collection. His eyes were sharp, filled with killing intent. This person was no ordinary player. The killing intent in his eyes was not something an ordinary player could possess. Moreover, he had just used a dagger to cut through Garen's arrows. Such a move was quite common in the later stages of the game, but on the first day of the game, especially in the early stages, it was unheard of. Invite me to join your team, and we'll split the boss loot, the assassin player said indifferently devoid of any emotion in his words. Lin Chen shook his head, no. Hearing this, the assassin player did not speak again, but instead retreated and entered stealth mode again. Damn, what does he mean? Just logged in? Trying to steal the boss by sneaking? Garen was somewhat annoyed, you brat, let me tell you, I am from the photo guild. I advise you to leave quickly, otherwise, watch out. Before Garen could finish speaking, Lin Chen had already shouted loudly. As the sound fell, one of his arrows had already flown out. Swoosh! The assassin player appeared behind Garen, not using the novice skill backstab, but directly aiming for the throat. A crimson critical hit damage appeared. Minus 642. Bleeding. Minus 90. Minus 90. In the next moment, Garen fell to the ground directly. Lin Chan's eyes slightly narrowed, such a clean and neat method. And, such high damage. Even with a critical hit, his attack power should have exceeded 300 to achieve that. His level is 8. Even if all his points were added to attack power, it should only be around 80. In other words, his equipment or some passive skills provided him with a high amount of attack power. Assassins have some passive skills that provide attack power, movement speed, and attack speed. To be precise, all major professions have similar skills. Garen revived at the novice village altar, looking at himself having dropped a level and a level 5 equipment, he felt numb all over. What the hell is this? Killing me in one hit? Garen felt that his gaming principles were all shattered, as a tank, he was actually killed in one hit. Here, at the twisted Treyant King, Lin Chen looked coldly at the assassin player. What? 
Want to show off your skills to me? With 10 years of gaming experience from his previous life, Lin Chen would never agree to compete in skills. The assassin player gestured to Lin Chen, then immediately entered stealth mode again. Swish. Lin Chen immediately drew his bow and shot an arrow, using the skill rapid shot. Two arrows cut through the air, forcing the stealth assassin player to reveal himself instantly. Swish. Lin Chen did not let him go, since he was forced out, he would not be able to stealth again. The twisted tray and king on the side had already started to regenerate health, but Lin Chen was not in a hurry. The arrows kept coming, and the assassin player used his dagger to continuously cut open Lin Chen's arrows. Lin Chen remained calm and composed, with an unchanged attack frequency, his attack damage exceeded 500 points. Although the game mechanism allowed for cutting arrows, the tremendous power of Lin Chen's arrows was something the assassin player's dagger durability could not withstand. As expected, after cutting more than 10 arrows, the assassin player's face turned grim. Faced with Lin Chen's successive arrows, he did not continue to resist with his dagger, but instead performed a backflip to avoid Lin Chen's arrows. Seeking death. Lin Chen sneered, and the arrow shot again, hitting the assassin player in the abdomen. The impact of the arrow made the stealthed assassin player retreat a short distance in midair. Immediately after, the second arrow arrived. Minus 502. With two arrows, the assassin player died on the spot and returned to the resurrection altar. Lin Chen's eyes lit up, the assassin player had actually dropped a pair of boots. At the same time, Lin Chen also noticed a problem, this assassin's health was not low. If it were a regular level 8 assassin, he should have been killed in one shot. Cruel Boots, Elite Level 7. Effect 1, Movement Speed plus 0. 5. Effect 2, Critical Hit plus 1%. Durability, 100. Lin Chen's eyes lit up, the attributes of these cruel boots were quite suitable for him. It was a pity, however, that the lack of attack speed was a flaw. What he needed most now was attack speed. With a fast attack speed, he could naturally stack more health points. With increased health points, his basic attack damage would naturally increase as well. Putting away the cruel boots, Lin Chen continued to attack the Twisted Trey Ant King. With no one to stop him, the Twisted Trey Ant King was just a toy in Lin Chen's hands. Originally, skills like Thorn Shield, which could rebound all damage, would have some impact on Lin Chen. Lin Chen relied on his skilled and precise shooting to prevent the Twisted Trey Ant King from using any skills. This was also thanks to another benefit of the newbie village, which was that the bosses in the newbie village basically did not have any skills that could resist control. Ding, you have killed the twisted Trey and King above your level, experience plus 8250. Ding, you are the first player to kill the boss, a global announcement is about to be made, do you want to hide your name? No, it was just a first kill in this life, not enough to make Lin Chen hide his name. And, he wanted to become famous, he needed prestige because only in this way could he possibly stand at the pinnacle of power in the future. To confront the irate star system relying on one's own strength alone was like a drop in the bucket. So, Lin Chen wanted to take control, to dominate the situation. Global announcement, congratulations to player Xu Edi for the first kill of the twisted Trey Ant King, this announcement is made, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. Ding, congratulations, you are the first player to kill a boss in the Twilight of the Gods, reward, plus 50 free attribute points, plus one professional skill book, plus one main weapon for your profession, plus 100 gold coins. Lin Chen's mouth curled up, indeed, soloing a boss, this reward was truly extraordinary. 50 free attribute points, Lin Chen allocated all of them to attack speed. Originally 1. 13 attack speed, instantly became 2. 13. This attack speed could definitely be said to be peerless. Lightning leap, passive skill 1 star. Effect, your normal attacks have a 50% chance to trigger lightning leap, allowing you to jump to 10 target units within a 20 meter radius, dealing 10% of your actual damage. Cooldown, none. Cost, none. Proficiency, 0 slash 1000. Lin Chen raised his eyebrows, this skill was quite interesting, if the skill level went up, could the damage possibly increase to 90%? Would the range and number of units that can be jumped to also increase? Just thinking about it made Lin Chen shudder. His damage was already extremely off the charts, the only thing lacking was the ability to clear mobs. But now with this skill, this only shortcoming was also made up for. While Lin Chen was checking the skill attributes, many players were shocked by his global announcement. Damn, who is it? He actually soloed the boss in the newbie village. Shuedi? I've never heard of this ID before, does anyone know which guild he's from? Aren't the conditions for triggering the newbie village boss very strict? How did he trigger it? I heard that there are 10 bosses in the newbie village, but so far, none of them have been triggered. Many people were discussing, especially some top players, 
they were very clear about how outrageous it was to solo a boss at this stage. Lin Chen didn't care about that, after learning the skill, he checked the weapon reward again. Thunderous Bow, Silver. Requirements for wearing, no level requirement, limited to the archer profession. Effect 1, attack plus 300. Effect 2, critical hit rate plus 15%. Effect 3, 15% chance of causing paralysis with attacks. Effect 4, 15% chance of splashing surrounding enemy units with attacks. Lin Chen was dumbfounded when he saw the attributes of the thunderous bow. Such mediocre attributes. Indeed, in Lin Chen's opinion, the most useful thing might be the paralysis effect, but the probability was so low. As for attack power, as long as his health points were stacked up, attack power was not important at all. How should I put it? For him, it was only useful in the newbie village. And damn, this was still a silver weapon, Lin Chen felt like he was being trolled. It was just too outrageous. Couldn't they have given a plus one attack speed? This was a gank from the system. Rubbing his hands, Lin Chen's gaze fell on the twisted tray ant king. Finally came the eagerly anticipated looting of corpses. Ding, you have obtained the equipment, tray ant king's necklace. Ding, you have obtained the skill, revival. Ding, you have obtained the tray ant king's helmet. Ding, you have obtained plus five gold coins. Ding, you have obtained the tray ant king's heart. Lin Shen looked at the good things he had obtained in his hand, except for the gold coins, there seemed to be nothing he could use. Wait, this revival skill seems pretty good. Revival, 1 star. Effect, restore 1 point of health per second, uninterrupted by attacks. Cooldown, none. Cost, none. Proficiency, 0 out of 1000, proficiency equals health points. Note that there is no limit to the skill star level. Lin Shen originally didn't care about this revival skill but when he saw the proficiency introduction, he was stunned. Is this a surprise from the system? His talent, the Hand of Heaven's Punishment, could stack health points without limit. It perfectly complements this skill. Automatic healing, in a sense, is even more abnormal than lifesteal. Learn. Lin Chen directly learned this skill. Revival, passive skill 3 stars. Effect, restore 50 health points per second, uninterrupted by attacks. Cooldown, none. Cost, none. Proficiency, 25130-100000, proficiency equals health points, note that there is no limit to the skill star level. Stable. With this skill, Lin Chen felt his safety factor skyrocketing. Hurry up and resurrect, do you want to level up or not? Lin Chen blocked private messages and friend requests, and sent a message to Garen. At the same time, he started leveling up. Swish. Lin Chen put on the thunderous bow and shot an elite twisted trance tree core with one arrow. Minus 1,524. A huge bright red number appeared. Critical hit. At the same time, an arc of electricity jumped out from the elite twisted tray ant, jumping to five other twisted tray ants around it. Minus 152. Minus 152. Damage numbers popped up one by one. Six twisted tray ants in total started to approach Lin Chen. However, Lin Chen was unfazed. Swish. 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 Critical hits, critical hits, still critical hits. Lin Chen's critical hit rate is now 16%, which is already good at this stage. Plus, Lin Chen's weak point strikes increased critical hit damage. The elite twisted tray ant that originally required 12 arrows to kill now only needed 4. And because of the lightning jump, after killing the first twisted tray ant, the other twisted tray ants lost 608 health points each. As Lin Chen continued to pull, more and more twisted tray ants were drawn to him. This lightning jump is a double-edged sword, it suddenly draws so much hatred. If I can't hold on, I'll be dead in two hits. Looking at the group of twisted tray ants following him, Lin Chen felt somewhat helpless. Fortunately, his attack speed is astonishing, for arrows in two seconds can easily deal with one twisted tray ant. And because of the lightning jump, when killing the twisted tray ants behind, he only needed three arrows, or even two. Ding, you have reached level 7, free attribute points plus 5. Without hesitation, Lin Chen allocated all his free attribute points to attack speed. His 2. 13 attack speed increased to 2. 23. Snow Emperor, I'm here. Garen arrived late at this time, and he just saw Lin Chen's terrifying monster killing speed. Snow Emperor, you've become stronger again. Lin Chen sent a team invitation, this time the experience points were still 91 to 9, with Garen being the 9. The following time was to complete Garen's task first, and then start preparing for the next thing. With the support of 2. 23 attack speed and the lightning jump, Lin Chen only took 3 hours to raise Garen's level to 10. Not only that, after hunting a large number of elite twisted tray ants, Lin Chen also obtained the tray ant set promised to Garen. Wearing the tree man set, 
Garen was amazed at the changes in his attributes. Snow Emperor, this set is really amazing, he exclaimed. Especially the effects of the two sets were simply incredible. I also have two pieces of black iron equipment dropped by the Twisted Tray Ant King. Wearing them won't affect the set's effects and will even enhance the attributes. How much? Although Garen had only known Lin Chen for a short time, he already knew his style. 50,000 for one piece, Lin Chen replied, causing Garen to raise an eyebrow at the high price. At this stage, 50,000 for black iron equipment. I guess it's fine. Despite some hesitation, Garen agreed. It was only because he was wealthy, otherwise, he would never spend 10,000 on such transitional equipment. As good as this set was, it was only level 10. In a week at most, this set would be outdated. Upon receiving the transfer of 10,000, Lin Chen's face showed a satisfied smile. Pleasure doing business with you. I should be able to produce more equipment in the future, and we can continue to cooperate. Snow Emperor, wait a moment, Garen called out as Lin Chen seemed to be logging off. Is there something else? Snow Emperor, I am the junior head of the Fudo Guild. I would like to invite you to join our guild with an annual salary of 10 million. What do you think? Garen had his own understanding of the game, and Lin Chen's skills were too strong, surpassing all the professional players he had ever seen. With such skills, he was worth a salary of 10 million. Moreover, Lin Chen had such strong attributes. Sorry, I have created my own team. Lin Chen shook his head. Thank you for the offer. Oh, I see, but we can still be long-term partners. No problem, Lin Chen nodded. Suddenly, he paused and said, You said you are the junior head of the Fudo Guild? Yes, what about it? We have met, so I'll give you a warning. Be careful of your sister. In the previous life, three months after the launch of the Twilight of the Gods, news broke about a major reshuffle within the Fudo Group. The junior head of the Fudo Group had a car accident and became disabled due to brake failure. It was later revealed that the mastermind behind the sabotage was none other than the junior head's sister. Be careful of my sister? Garen furrowed his brow. What do you mean? Just remember what I said, Lin Chen waved his hand. A simple warning was enough for their brief acquaintance. As for Garen's fate, it had nothing to do with Lin Chen. This time, Lin Chen did not log off on the spot. Instead, he returned to the newbie village before logging off, mainly because he had offended that assassin and needed to be cautious. If he were to log off in the wilderness and be attacked by the assassin, it wouldn't be worth it. After logging off, Lin Chen checked the time. It was 8 o'clock in the morning. Zhou Zhou was still in the game. Lin Chen didn't disturb him, but instead, he opened the refrigerator and made breakfast. As a cross-era online game, Twilight of the Gods had a very magical feature. In the game, the body could get sufficient rest, and even the spirit could become more energized. Some experts later explained that this was because the game was equivalent to sleeping. However, this explanation was not entirely accurate. It was only discovered in the later stages of the game that leveling up in the game would enhance attributes. Although reality could not be manifested, it could elevate one's soul, naturally improving one's spirit. Fatty, log off and have your meal. Due to budget constraints, Lin Chan and the others used a regular game warehouse instead of a high-level nutrition warehouse. It was said that with the highest-level nutrition warehouse and prepared nutrient solution, one could stay online for half a month without logging off, and the body's nutrition could keep up. Zhou Zhou had just logged off and smiled at Lin Chen. Brother Hao, you were right. It's quite easy to make money on your own. Today, I crafted a level 7 equipment and sold it for 12,000. There are really a lot of wealthy players in this game. Lin Chen smiled noncommittally. On the contrary, the number of individual players who are wealthy in-game is generally not high. It is the guilds, corporations, and government that truly drive up the prices of equipment and skill books. The guilds see the popularity of the game and know that they can make a lot of money in the future. After all, the gaming industry for PC games can reach hundreds of billions, and the gaming industry for this game will definitely be in the trillions. As for corporations and the government, they naturally understand the essence of the game and the importance of becoming stronger in it. Lin Chen knew the reason for Zhou Shou's early strength. He chose the warrior profession and encountered a bard after leaving the newbie village. Zhou Zhou used ancient poems from the Dragon Kingdom to impress the bard. This not only did not displease the bard, but instead made him greatly admire Zhou Zhou and immediately prepared to become his apprentice. The apprenticeship gift is the warrior's three passive skills. Relying on these three passive skills, Zhou Zhou became very powerful in the later stages of the game. The three passive skills are double armor, double shield, and double slash. The effects of the skills are as follows. Double armor, all received attacks will reflect a certain percentage of damage back to the opponent. Double shield, every time a control skill is used, a shield equal to a percentage of the user's health is gained. 
Double slash, every attack, including skills, equipment effects, potion effects, etc., may produce multiple effects such as counter damage, shield, and damage. Overall, they are quite versatile, especially since these three are passive skills and can be triggered indefinitely. Moreover, double slash and double shield can stack with each other. For example, the warrior's charge skill is a control skill that can trigger double shield, and if double slash triggers multiple effects, the shield will also trigger multiple effects. How, I'm already level 9 now, and I've obtained 3 passive skills. You will definitely be able to get higher level equipment later on. Lin Shen nodded, fatty, don't worry, I've already paid for my sister's surgery. Paid? Yeah. Lin Shen took out the payment receipt, I'm even luckier than you, I killed a boss. Damn, how, are you the snow emperor? Lin Shen nodded and said to Jojo, jo, let's eat, I'll prepare a guide for you in the newbie village later. There are many hidden rewards in the newbie village. I see, how, you're really amazing. If Li Hightown knew about your achievements now, he would probably regret it. While eating, Lin Chan recalled the guide for the newbie village. There are hidden rewards in the newbie village that are more suitable for each profession. Fatty, go to the tavern in the newbie village and buy two bottles of the most expensive liquor, then go to the blacksmith's shop and have the blacksmith forge the strongest warrior weapon for you. Then, he will give you a series of tasks. The higher the completion rate of these tasks, the more rewards you will receive. Okay. Jojo didn't ask how Lin Chen knew this and just agreed. After dinner, Lin Chen gave Jojo two guides, one for the monkey and one for the glasses. Fatty, you go into the game, I'll go check on Xingqing. Let's go together. Jojo didn't enter the game alone, but went to the hospital with Lin Chen. Because Lin Chen had already paid, the hospital was arranging the surgery. In the ward, Lin Chen looked at Lin Meng, who was unconscious, with a much softer gaze. Doctor, when will my sister's surgery start? Lin Chen asked. It's already being arranged. The surgery can be performed this afternoon. You can sign here. Okay. Lin Chen nodded and signed on the surgery confirmation form. After doing all this, Lin Chen returned to the rental house and entered the game again. This time, Lin Chen did not go to the level 10 monster area, but instead headed towards the steep cliff behind the newbie village. In addition to the regular monsters, there is also a hidden instance in the newbie village. The rewards for completing this hidden instance for the first time are very generous. He hurried to get there. There are no wild monsters here, and it's a cliff, so naturally no players would come here. In the previous life, it was only a week after the game that someone accidentally opened this instance. The condition for opening this instance is also very simple. That is to kill a tree person here. There are many big trees nearby. Among these big trees, one of them is a tree person. At first glance, if you don't pay attention, you won't even notice it. Found you. Disguised tree person, normal level 10. Health, 2100 slash 2100. Attack, 32. Skill, disguise. A very weak wild monster, Lin Chen raised his hand to attack. Although he did not target the weak point, he only needed three arrows to kill this disguised tree person. Ding, you killed the disguised tree person, experience plus 43. Ding, because you killed the hidden monster in the novice village, the hidden instance, Twisted Jungle, in the novice village is about to open. Ding, you are the first player to open the instance, a server-wide announcement will be made, do you want to hide your name? No. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to player Shuedi for successfully opening the hidden instance, Twisted Jungle, in the novice village, being the first player in the server to open the instance, special rewards include plus 10 free attribute points, plus 10 gold coins, plus 1 black iron equipment, and encouraging all players to continue their efforts. With the server-wide announcement, the Twisted Jungle instance appeared in all novice villages. Lin Chen allocated all 10 free attribute points to attack speed. Then his gaze fell on the reward of the black iron weapon. Jungle Longbow, Black Iron. No requirements for wearing, for the archer profession. Effect 1, Attack plus 65. Effect 2, Health plus 500. Effect 3, Life Steal plus 2%. Durability, 100. Lin Chen side, another crappy weapon. Attack speed, attack speed, attack speed. Can't there be a weapon that increases attack speed? Life is really miserable. While Lin Chen was checking the attributes, the players were all excited. Especially those who had already left the novice village, they instantly regretted it. Damn, there's still an instance in the novice village? If I had known earlier, I wouldn't have left the novice village no matter what. Hee <laughs> hee, luckily I leveled up slowly, now I can go to the instance. The first completion of the instance should have high rewards, is there anyone to team up with? Dream Pursuit Guild is recruiting powerful tanks. At this point, Lin Chen had already arrived at the entrance of the instance. 
The difficulty levels of the Twilight of the Gods instance are simple, difficult, nightmare, and hell. The difficulty of the first completion of the level 10 Twisted Jungle instance, the higher the difficulty, the more rewards. It's you, hell level. Ding, reminder, it is not recommended to enter the hell level instance alone, are you sure? Yes. The hell level instance does have a very high difficulty coefficient, but is Lin Chen afraid? Fortune favors the bold. His current attributes actually do not qualify him to solo the hell level instance. However, Lin Chen still has the top tier skills from his previous life. Just as he entered the instance, Lin Chen saw a large number of Twisted Tree people ahead. Twisted Tree Person, Elite Level 10. Health, 8500. Attack, 129. Skills, Revive, Vine Rotation, for an Entanglement. Similarly, an Elite Twisted Tree Person, but its attributes are much higher than the Elite Tree Person Lin Chen had encountered before. Swish. Critical Hit. Minus 1812. At the same time, Thunder leaped out, causing damage to the surrounding Twisted Tree People. Minus 362. Minus 362. The damage values were very high. With every arrow being a critical hit, it only took 5 arrows to kill a tree person. And because the Thunder Leap had been upgraded to 2 stars, the damage, range, and number of targets it hit had also increased. Ding, you killed the elite twisted tree person, experience plus 351. Overleveled kills, especially against dungeon monsters, yield quite a hefty amount of experience. Lin Chen, relying on the range amplification of his basic attacks, always maintains a safe distance from these twisted tree people, preventing them from attacking him. In particular, the skill Thorn Bind, once hit, has the greatest impact on him. Ding, you've reached level 8, with plus 5 free attribute points. Upon leveling up, he still allocated all points to attack speed. At the same time, he passed the first level of the dungeon. Passing through the front gate, Lin Chen arrived at the second level of the dungeon. As soon as he entered, dozens of twisted tree people came towards him. Not only that, Lin Chen also saw 10 tree leaders here. Tree leader, elite level 10. Health, 35280. Attack, 412. Skills, thorn bind, revive, vine rotation, frenzied strikes. With an additional skill, their attributes were much higher than the elite twisted tree people. Lin Chen continued his simple attacks, constantly pulling these tree people and trying to stay outside the range of their thorn bind attacks as much as possible. This is where he truly appreciates the skill range amplification. It's precisely because of this skill that his basic attack range is extended, giving him enough conditions to pull these tree people. However, his movement speed is ultimately a weakness. Three tree leaders simultaneously launched Thorn Bind on Lin Chen. Minus 823. Minus 821. Minus 823. Huge damage numbers appeared one after another, while also imprisoning Lin Chen. Lin Chen realized the danger, and sure enough, the next attacks were relentless. Minus 123. Minus 421. Minus 423. One damage number after another appeared, and Lin Chen had not yet escaped the control when a new thorn bind came. In just two seconds, Lin Chen lost over 13,000 health points. The only relief was that the intelligence of the Twisted Tree people was not high, they used skills as they pleased. Plus, the following Twisted Tree people were not close enough to attack Lin Chen. Otherwise, with just this one attack, Lin Chen would have been controlled to death. Lack of control skills, too damaging. Movement speed is too low. Lin Chen secretly thought that he should immediately move to create distance the moment the control ended. At the same time, an arrow interrupted the casting of one of the tree leaders. Phew, he breathed out, realizing how close it was just now. A slight mistake, and he could have been done for. Losing a level is a small matter, but if someone else snatches the first completion of the dungeon, he would truly regret it. Swish. 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 Lin Chen was highly focused. Previously, he was more focused on dealing damage, but now, he had to move to dodge skills. He also had to interrupt the tree leader's skills, so he had to keep an eye on everything. Thorn Bind is not a strong controlling skill, but a targeted spell. In other words, it can be dodged by moving. The main reason Lin Chen was attacked before was due to carelessness, and also because the three tree leaders unexpectedly released Thorn Bind simultaneously, blocking his retreat. Now, Lin Chen was highly focused. As soon as he saw the hand movement for Thorn Bind, he would move in advance to create distance. With high output and the damage from Lightning Leap, the number of Twisted Tree People continued to decrease. As the number of Twisted Tree People decreased, Lin Chen's monster farming became even smoother. Finally, all the Twisted Tree People in this level were killed. Ding, you've reached level 9, with plus 5 free attribute points. One level up per level, this leveling speed is truly terrifying. 
Moreover, with the blessing of the revive skill, Lin Chen's health had already returned to full. At this moment, Photo Club, offline meeting hall, a video was playing on the big screen. It was a video of Lin Chen soloing the Twisted Tree King. A young man stood at the head of the meeting room. You've all seen this video. Shen Lang, you're also an archer. What do you think? The floating tower god Wolf immediately stood up. The damage output is very high, but his technique is truly terrifying. Even if the damage output is reduced, with his technique, he can still solo this boss. The floating tower madman also said, Young master, what does it mean for you to show us this video? I want you to help analyze it. If I want to recruit him, how much would be appropriate? I previously offered an annual salary of tens of millions, and he rejected it without hesitation. The floating tower god Wolf frowned, with this kind of technique, he is definitely not an ordinary person. He may have been earning tens of millions annually even in the era of the main game, or even higher. After all, there was a legendary shooter in the main game whose annual salary exceeded 80 million. With the current popularity of Twilight of the Gods, his technique, combined with his attributes, justifies an annual salary of 1 billion. If we also consider the overall influence on our guild and the ability to drive the game in the early stages, the annual salary could even be between 1, 5 billion and 2 billion. The Floating Tower God Wolf's words were very reasonable. As the president of the Floating Tower Guild, his annual salary was only a little over 20 million. But Lin Chen's technique truly impressed him. All right, I understand, Garen nodded, God Wolf, organize the members still in the newbie village to run the Twisted Trent's instance. Also, if possible, every player in the newbie village can go and challenge the level 10 Twisted Treant. The Floating Tower God Wolf nodded, okay. After saying this, Garen cleared his throat, also, take a look at my current attributes. He proudly displayed the attributes of his trance set. After seeing the set attributes, the floating tower god Wolf was greatly surprised. Total health increased by 5,800, and both armor and magic resistance are so high, and the special features of this set. The floating tower god Wolf couldn't help but gasp, Young master, how much did you spend on this set of equipment? 400,000, plus it was brought to level 10 with me. Originally it was 300,000 but I added these two pieces of black iron level equipment. The floating tower god Wolf was dumbfounded, so cheap? Yes, it was cheap. A single elite level equipment at level 10 is worth around 20,000. These 13 pieces alone could be worth 400,000. The key is the set, and it also comes with being brought to level 10. Sold to you by the Snow Emperor? Yes. It seems that he is not short of money, otherwise he could definitely have sold it for a better price. The floating tower god Wolf instinctively felt that Lin Chen was wealthy and didn't care. But little did he know that Lin Chen was in a hurry for money, so he didn't haggle. And, five years later, the great catastrophe began, and real currency was worthless. Twisted Jungle. Lin Chen entered the third level. Here, there were a total of four Twisted Treant Kings. Twisted Treant King, Black Iron Boss Level 10. Health, 186,800. Attack, 598. Skills, Summon Treant, Revive, Vine Bind, Thorn Shield, Vine Cage. The skills haven't increased, but the attributes have increased quite a bit. And there are still four of them. After looking at his current health, Lin Chen made his move. Swish. Critical hit. Minus 1685. Truly worthy of being a Black Iron Boss in a Hell Level difficulty instance, its defense is very high, to the extent that even with Lin Chen's Thunderous Bow adding 300 points of attack, the damage caused under a critical hit is not high. Currently, most of this damage is still from Lin Chen's Divine Punishment. And, it's worth mentioning that the Vine Bind of the Twisted Treant King is different from the entangling skill of Ordinary Treants. This is a skill that is almost like a strong control, because the bound vines appear directly from the player's feet, making it difficult to react. With Lin Chen's current attack speed, he can only interrupt the attacks of two Twisted Treant Kings at most. But now he is facing four Twisted Treant Kings. The battle is about to begin. The four twisted Treyan kings have gained some intelligence and are surrounding Lin Chen. At the same time, the skill Vine Cage has appeared. Unfortunately, the casting of the Vine Cage is the slowest and the easiest to interrupt. Lin Chen easily interrupted the skill of the twisted Treyan king. However, they released their skills at the same time, blocking Lin Chen's retreat. Instead of retreating, Lin Chen advanced, which was just what he wanted. Minus 598. Minus 597. Minus 598. Lin Chen moved forward and entered the attack range of the Twisted Treant King. The four Twisted Treant King's attacks caused over 2000 damage to Lin Chen. After the effect of the Twisted Treant King's skill dissipated, he retreated again and created distance. At the same time, he continued to attack. 
As long as he was not bound by the vine restraint, with Lin Chen's current health and the skill of resurgence, the probability of him being killed was very low. He continued to attack and finally, the first twisted tray and king fell. The remaining battle would be much easier. Before long, the other three twisted tray and kings also fell. The rewards in the twilight of the gods instance would only be settled after clearing it. Before that, killing monsters would only yield experience points, not items. This saved Lin Chen the trouble of looting bodies. He entered the fourth level, which was the final level of the twisted jungle instance. As soon as he entered, Lin Chen saw a hundred meter tall tree with countless vines swaying in the wind. It didn't look like a boss, just a big tree. Nine-headed snake cypress, bronze level 10. Health, 1528000 slash 1528000. Attack, 1358. Skill, withered wood springs. Lin Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. This boss only had one skill. Lin Chen wouldn't underestimate the opponent just because the boss only had one skill. The more challenging the boss, the harder it was to deal with. Swish. Lin Chen took the initiative. Minus 785. There was no critical hit, but the damage was still decent. However, in the next moment, Lin Chen realized the terror of the nine-headed snake cypress. Minus 1355. Minus 1355. Two vines struck him in succession, causing him to lose over 2000 health points. This was outrageous. Moreover, Lin Chen noticed a problem. The vines of the nine-headed snake cypress seemed to cover the entire level, which meant he couldn't dodge the regular attacks by moving around. This was frustrating. The nine-headed snake cypress would attack with two vines each time. With his current health of over 30,000, he could only withstand a dozen or so attacks. While thinking about this, Lin Chen didn't stop his actions. He continued to attack the nine-headed snake cypress. When the vines of the nine-headed snake cypress struck again, Lin Chen immediately rolled to dodge. Dodged it. Lin Chen's eyes lit up. As he had expected, he could dodge the vine attacks. Since he could dodge them, it was only a matter of time before he killed the nine-headed snake cypress. However, for safety, Lin Chen switched to the jungle longbow. The jungle longbow could increase his health and had a lifesteal effect. Relying on the resurgence skill alone was not enough to restore his health. Therefore, lifesteal became crucial. After all, there were too many vines from the nine-headed snake cypress, and each regular attack came from a different vine. Although he could dodge with his reflexes, it was not realistic to dodge every attack perfectly, especially since he hadn't invested in movement speed. Plus 50. Plus 16. Plus 16. Lin Chen's health slowly began to recover, and he also searched for the weak point of the nine-headed snake cypress. Every monster had a weak point. Attacking the weak point would increase the chance of a critical hit. Even though his critical hit rate was only 1% after changing weapons, as long as he hit the weak point accurately, he could still land consecutive critical hits. Found it. In fact, Lin Chen didn't know about the nine-headed snake cypress in his previous life. At that time, he was diligently leveling up and farming gold, and the next day he went to the main city. Some players had attempted the hell difficulty of this instance later, but at that time, no players in the newbie village could pass it. Furthermore, as the game progresses, with the appearance of level 15 and level 20 dungeons, players are not as enthusiastic about the beginner village dungeon. Therefore, Lin Chen had never heard of this nine-headed snake cypress before. Swish. Another arrow, Lin Chen was still maneuvering. He was so skilled at maneuvering that he even had to dodge regular attacks. Found it. Lin Chen's eyes lit up as he saw nine blood-red vines behind the nine-headed snake cypress. Each of the nine blood-red vines had a dark red head. At that moment, one of the heads faced Lin Chen with a sinister smile. Swish. Critical hit. Minus 1574. A bright red critical hit damage appeared, which made Lin Chen a little excited. Having found the weak point, his attacks would be much easier from now on. Swish. Swish. The sound of feathered arrows piercing the air was incessant, while the blood red vines controlled the heads to dodge, but Lin Chen's experience was extremely rich. To him, this swaying and dodging was just a show. Critical hit. Critical hit. Another critical hit. This was the outrageous aspect of attacking the weak point. Even with a 1% critical hit rate, he could deal high critical hit damage. Lin Chen's mouth curled up, as critical hits not only had high damage, but also increased his lifesteal. After finding the solution, Lin Chen consumed the nine-headed snake cypress's health at a rate of two arrows per second. Finally, the nine-headed snake cypress's health was reduced to 10%. It was about to enter the kill zone. But in the next instant, a green light enveloped the nine-headed snake cypress, and its health directly recovered from 10% to full health. Lin Chen? He was a bit dumbfounded. This was really unexpected. 
What kind of divine skill was this? How could it be so outrageous? This was just a beginner village, not a level 200 world boss. This was just a level 10 bronze boss. Why? Although there were countless grass mud horses galloping in his mind, Lin Chen still didn't plan to give up and chose to continue attacking. With the previous experience, Lin Chen was now familiar with the process. 15 minutes later. Ding, you have killed the bronze level 9 headed snake cypress, experience plus 31,280. Ding, you have completed the first passage of the distorted jungle dungeon, a server wide announcement is about to be made, do you want to hide your name? No. Server wide announcement, congratulations to player Shuedi for completing the first passage of the distorted jungle dungeon. We hope that all players will continue to work hard. Server wide announcement, Congratulations to player Shuedi for completing the first passage of the distorted jungle dungeon. We hope that all players will continue to work hard. This sudden server-wide announcement left many players who were still fighting in the dungeon stunned. Damn, it's Shuedi again. Did he really clear the dungeon by himself? How is that possible? Soloing bosses, soloing dungeons, did this guy awaken his talent in the beginner village? I think it might be some hidden class, even if it's a talent, how can a one-star talent be so awesome? There were many players discussing, and many guild players were pounding their chests and stamping their feet. The first passage of the dungeon had undoubtedly great rewards. Ding, you have completed the first passage of the hell level distorted jungle dungeon, reward settlement in progress. Ding, you have obtained the black iron level tray and set plus one. Ding, you have obtained skill book plus thirteen. Ding, you have obtained tray and heart plus four. Ding, you have obtained elite level equipment plus thirty five. Ding, you have obtained gold coins plus 350. Ding, you have obtained free attribute points plus 50. Ding, you have obtained a quest scroll plus 1. A series of system notification sounds made Lin Chen's head spin. These rewards were awesome. The black iron level tray ant set, except for the main weapon, could all be used by Lin Chen, especially because of his first passage, it was not restricted by level and could be used directly. But this set of equipment was most suitable for a shield warrior, and it felt a bit out of place for him to use it. Elite level equipment 32 pieces, bronze level equipment 3 pieces, Lin Chen took a glance, basically all tank equipment, he put it on is better than nothing. When his gaze fell on the skill book, Lin Chen became interested all of a sudden. Because he saw that skill, Withered Wood springs back to life. Withered Wood springs back to life, passive skill 1 star. Effect, when your health drops to 10%, you will immediately recover 10% of your health. Cooldown, 24 hours. Cost, none. Proficiency, 0 out of 10, proficiency is calculated by sacrificing skill books. Sacrificing one skill book earns one point of proficiency, and certain special skills can earn multiple points of proficiency. Lin Chen was stunned for a moment, no wonder the nine-headed snake by only had this one skill, it turns out that the other skills were all sacrificed. This time clearing the instance, retaining withered wood springs back to life, Lin Chen still had 12 skill books in his hands. All of them were dropped by the twisted tray ant, providing minimal help to Lin Chen. Learn Withered Wood Springs Back to Life. Sacrifice Skill Books. Lin Chen sacrificed 10 of the Trent's skill books, and Withered Wood Springs Back to Life smoothly upgraded to 2 stars. Withered Wood Springs Back to Life, Passive Skill 2 stars. Effect, when your health drops to 10%, you will immediately recover 20% of your health. Cooldown, 12 hours. Cost, none. Proficiency, 0 out of 100. Proficiency is calculated by sacrificing skill books. Sacrificing one skill book earns one point of proficiency, and certain special skills can earn multiple points of proficiency. Just as Lin Chen had expected, with the upgrade, the amount of health restored increased by 10%, and the cooldown was greatly reduced. This upgrade was indeed significant. Moreover, with this skill, his survival ability once again received a huge boost. Not only that, Withered Wood Springs Back to Life restores a percentage of health, even in the late game, it can still be considered a powerful skill. Lin Chen's total health points were now over 30,000, 20% of which was over 6,000 points. But if Lin Chen's total health points were 3 million, 30 million, or even higher, he would still be able to recover based on a percentage. Regaining his focus, Lin Chen looked at his experience bar, still only halfway to level 10. With this experience bar for leveling up, if he wanted, he could reach level 10 in at most half an hour. However, what Lin Chen wanted was not just to level up. He opened the level ranking. Lin Chen was ready to see the current level rankings. First, Azura Emperor, level 11, 25%. Second, Dreaming of Smoke and Snow, level 10, 95%. Third, I Don't Love Money, level 10, 91%. Fourth, Floating Tower Divine Wolf, level 10, 90%.
5th, I really have 20 centimeters, level 10, 88%. The difference in the level rankings was not significant, and Lin Chen knew most of these people. The top three were high-ranking members of the guild, and the other two were a top-tier rich second generation in the dragon country, whose level was boosted by money. The key was that this guy not only had money, but also luck and a certain level of strength, simply outrageous. As for the fifth person, he was somewhat similar to Zhou Zhou, with some opportunities in the early game that made him stand out. However, in the later stages of the game, his early advantage gradually diminished and he disappeared from the public eye. In addition to the level rankings, there was also an equipment ranking in the Twilight of the Gods. Lin Chen opened the equipment ranking. First place, Golden Scepter, Gold Level. Second place, Thundering Bow, Silver Level. Third place, Nine-Headed Shield, Bronze Level. Fourth place, Nine-Headed Shoulder Guards, Bronze Level. Fifth place, Nine-Headed Cloak, Bronze Level. Among the top five, except for the first place Golden Scepter, all were Lin Chen's. Sure enough, it's the same as in my previous life. Lin Chen thought to himself, this Golden Scepter belonged to Dreaming of Smoke and Snow. It was a summoning scepter, with the only effect being to summon six level 10 Black Iron bosses. This was definitely a bug-like existence in the early stages of the game. A level 10 Black Iron boss can already walk sideways, let alone six of them. Speaking of which, the Dream Smoke and Snow is the former boss of the Dream Club he was in before. Looks pretty good, but unfortunately, she played favorites, and many of the club's executives are her relatives, making the club chaotic. But all of this is not important anymore. With his super divine talent, Lin Chen is fully confident in surpassing Dream Smoke and Snow. He allocated all 50 free attribute points from the first dungeon reward to attack speed. The attack speed increased from 2. 63 to 3. 63. Actually, when allocating the points, Lin Chen also considered adding some points to movement speed. But in the end, he gave up. Because attack speed is still the most compatible with his divine punishment hand. As long as the attack speed is fast enough, he can stack life points faster. Finally, there is the mission scroll. This kind of mission scroll is extremely precious because the tasks inside are not given by ordinary NPCs, but by the gods. If the tasks are completed, it is possible to receive the blessings of the gods. The blessings of the gods are at least attribute enhancements, and it is said that the good ones can obtain permanent characteristics. Unfolding the mission scroll, Lin Chen was shocked to see the task inside. A drought demon is sealed below the newbie village. If the drought demon is released, it will bring disaster to all living beings. Task requirements. Kill all NPCs in the newbie village and destroy the altar, so that all adventurers from other worlds can only be born in the main city and can never enter the newbie village again. Task penalty? None. Task reward? Unknown. Seeing this task, Lin Chen's face became extremely gloomy. This task is simply outrageous. In his previous life, Lin Chen had also encountered all kinds of strange tasks. But today's task? Destroying the newbie village? Is this a task? Are they sure they're not asking him to go and die? In his previous life, there were players who tried to provoke NPCs, but even the small barkeeper in the tavern could deal over a thousand damage with just a wave of his hand. As for the village chief and the blacksmith in the newbie village, their attributes are probably even more outrageous. Lin Chen did not immediately accept this task. Although there is no penalty, he still wanted to think it over. Exiting the dungeon, there were many players gathered at the entrance. We need a powerful priest. Who has enough healing power? Come quickly. There are powerful double CS in the team. The output is definitely enough. Double CS, referring to archers and mages. One for sustained damage, the other for high burst damage. It's been so long, besides the snow emperor, are there no other players who have cleared the dungeon? I want to buy equipment, I have money to spend. Lin Chen glanced at these people, but didn't pay much attention. This is newbie village 10086, and there aren't many real game masters here. Most of them are probably gathered in the more advanced newbie villages. Leaving the dungeon, Lin Chen headed in another direction. According to Lin Chen's calculations, the higher the level of the boss, the richer the rewards for killing 10 bosses given by the village chief. In the newbie village, there is also a rather special boss. That is the bard that Zhou Zhou encountered. It is said that his true form is a yellow skin demon, but due to good luck, he transformed into a human form. However, his demonic nature has not changed, and it seems that he is plotting something in the newbie village. There were not too many detailed strategies in his previous life, and Lin Chen only knew this much. At this moment, Lin Chen's eyes slightly changed, and the longbow in his hand instantly slashed behind him. Yes, it's not drawing the bow and shooting arrows, but using the thunderous bow as a blade to strike out. This kind of attack has little killing power, but it can deal with unexpected crises. Clang. Clang. 
A dagger struck Lin Chen's thunderous bow, sparking a series of sparks. It's you again. Lin Chen frowned. This person was the assassin who had tried to steal his boss before. The nickname is in a hidden state, but the appearance is not so easy to disguise. The assassin player did not speak, and the dagger in his hand spun 180 degrees before stabbing towards Lin Chen again. Lin Chen leaned back and put on the black iron level tray ant set for himself. As soon as the tray ant set was put on, Lin Chen's resistance was increased, and his health points were significantly boosted. At the same time, Lin Chen rolled sideways to avoid the assassin player's attack. However, just as he dodged the attack, Lin Chen was slightly surprised because the assassin player had disappeared. It wasn't stealth. Lin Chen could feel the assassin player right behind him. Without hesitation, he turned around. However, he still couldn't see anything. If there were onlookers, they would notice that the assassin had always been behind Lin Chen, precisely in his blind spot. This made it impossible for Lin Chen to see him no matter what. Shadow Concealment Step? Lin Chen's expression darkened. Shadow Concealment Step was not a skill but a technique. The method was to move in a way that obstructed the opponent's vision, as if hiding within the enemy's shadow. Hence the name Shadow Concealment Step. Upon hearing Lin Chen mention the technique he used, the assassin player was slightly surprised. However, in that instant, Lin Chen had already made his move. Swish. An arrow shot through the air. This time, Lin Chen didn't turn around but instead used his leg to draw his longbow and shot an arrow in the opposite direction. The assassin player had combat skills, but as a reborn player, Lin Chen also had some unique combat skills. Lin Chen's move was unexpected, and combined with the assassin player's surprise, he was hit by Lin Chen's arrow without noticing. Minus 1352. The assassin player was instantly killed by the arrow, but unfortunately, he didn't drop any equipment this time. This assassin player is targeting me. Lin Chen muttered to himself. He had thought that his encounter with the assassin player was just a minor friction, but he hadn't expected the assassin player to ambush him without a word. In the resurrection altar of the novice village, the expression of the shadow killer became serious. Fast reaction speed, high damage, impressive combat skills, and even knows the shadow concealment step. Snow Emperor, whoever you are, killing me twice, there will come a day when I will kill you back. If Lin Chen had heard these words, he would have definitely retorted. The first time was when he wanted to snatch the boss, and Lin Chen had struck him down. This time, he had initiated the attack himself. However, Lin Chen was unaware of these details. He had now found the minstrel in the novice village. He was well dressed, with a goatee, looking somewhat comical. Minstrel, level 15. Health points? Attack? Skills? Note, this is a humanoid boss wandering near the novice village. Perhaps you can gain unexpected benefits from him. This note led many players to believe that the minstrel had a quest or was selling something valuable. However, that was not the case. This was a humanoid boss with some intelligence, albeit only at the black iron level. However, all of his skills were quite peculiar. When he was first defeated, it took several thousand players from the novice village to take him down. This time, Lin Chen wanted to use him to relive some of his past experiences. Just as Lin Chen had answered Garen before, walking it was just the most basic skill of an archer. Previously, when Lin Chen used the thunderous bow to block the assassin player's ambush in close combat, it was also a kind of skill. Lin Chen hid behind a large tree and drew his bow. After the energy arrow was formed, he began to rotate the bowstring, twisting it into a long spiral. The direction Lin Chen's arrow was aimed at was not the minstrel's direction but the left side. Swish. The arrow pierced through the air. In the distance, the shadow killer, who was lurking in the depths, furrowed his brow. He guessed that Lin Chen might be targeting the minstrel, but the direction of the arrow was wrong. However, what happened next left the shadow killer dumbfounded. The arrow shot by Lin Chen actually turned in midair and accurately hit the minstrel standing in the distance. Minus 925. A huge damage number appeared, and the wandering poet suffered a sudden attack, feeling a bit confused because Lin Chen was behind the big tree, not exposing himself at all. This is one of the archer's shooting skills, the twisting string arrow technique. By rotating the bowstring, the feathered arrow spins and flies out. By controlling the strength and angle, the feathered arrow can be made to curve. Not only that, the feathered arrow spins rapidly in the air, so when it hits the enemy, it has a high penetration effect, causing greater damage. Swish! Another arrow. Found you. The wandering poet saw Lin Chen shoot again, Although he didn't see Lin Chen's position, he saw the direction of Lin Chen's feathered arrow flying. He leaped into the air, ready to charge towards Lin Chen. Swish. However, while still in mid-air, the feathered arrow had already hit him. The tremendous impact force of the twisting string arrow technique caused the wandering poet's body to be pushed back more than a meter in the air. 
This was followed by a second feathered arrow, a third feathered arrow. The successive feathered arrows all carried strong impact force. Then, the shadow killer witnessed a scene that left him dumbfounded. The wandering poet was hit by Lin Chen and couldn't fall from the air. Just as the wandering poet was starting to descend, Lin Chen shattered his illusion with an arrow, pushing him back once again. Moreover, the feathered arrow's position was cunning, as it not only pushed back the wandering poet, but also carried him a little higher into the air. This, the shadow killer was an extremely calm assassin, but now seeing Lin Chen's actions, he was also shocked and didn't know what to say. However, the powerful combat experience made the shadow killer realize that achieving what Lin Chen did was difficult, very, very difficult. Because when the first arrow hit the wandering poet, the landing point of the third arrow had to be considered. Otherwise, it would be impossible to achieve such consecutive knockbacks. Furthermore, in the twilight of the gods, after the opponent is knocked back, they will suffer consecutive damage. However, usually only warrior class professions have the ability to knock back enemies, and then follow up with other skills to deal consecutive damage. But Lin Chen, an archer, unexpectedly achieved such outrageous consecutive damage. Roar! The wandering poet roared in anger, and his body rapidly expanded, transforming from the original wandering poet into a being over three meters tall, covered in brown fur, a yellow skin. At the same time, the wandering poet's attribute panel also changed. Furious yellow skin, black iron level 15, health 10125000 slash 1253000, attack 813, skills, yellow mountain illusion, shapeshifting, domineering body, frenzy, soul absorption, soul control. Lin Shen had never fought this yellow skin before, but he still knew a little about its skills. There's no need to say much about domineering body and frenzy, they are standard boss skills, almost every boss in the main city has these two skills. Domineering body, immune to all control, except for curse and suppression type special skills. Frenzy, sacrificing a certain amount of resistance, to greatly increase output. Some powerful bosses can increase their output tenfold while in a frenzy state. Yellow Mountain Illusion is an illusion type skill, related to one's mental fortitude. With strong mental fortitude, the impact of skills received will be reduced. Soul Absorption and Soul Control are the truly outrageous skills of this yellow skin. Soul Absorption can forcibly strip a certain amount of soul from the opponent, causing the affected enemy unit to enter a weakened state and continuously lose health. The most outrageous part is that this continuous health loss lasts for 24 hours. As long as this yellow skin is not killed, it will continue to lose health for 24 hours, and in order to avoid death, it can only stay inside a resurrection altar, using its recovery properties to stay alive. As for soul control, it's even more outrageous, with a chance to control the enemy unit's soul, thereby manipulating its combat. The duration of this soul control is also 24 hours. Absolutely outrageous. However, since Lin Chen had taken action, it was to kill the yellow skin. The yellow skin monster was suspended in mid-air, and without using its tyrant form, it was impossible for it to come down. Normal bosses usually go berserk and release two skills when their health is low, and then make a last-ditch counterattack. But this yellow skin monster was different. It was a humanoid monster and usually smarter than normal wild boss monsters. Its level of intelligence was no less than that of an ordinary adult. In the past, early game players treated NPCs as simple AI programs, but they suffered a lot from this. The Twilight of the Gods was not just a game. Tyrant Form Just as Lin Chen had expected, when the yellow skin monster's health dropped to 1 million, it immediately used its tyrant form without hesitation. In this state, the knockback effect of the feather arrows no longer existed, and it regained control upon landing. Just as it landed, it raised its hand to release a skill towards Lin Chen. However, it then lowered its hand again. The reason was simple, the casting distance was not enough. Most monsters, even bosses, had a casting distance similar to that of an archer's basic attack. However, due to the skill basic attack amplification, Lin Chen's basic attack distance was 10% longer than that of a normal archer. It was precisely because of this distance that Lin Chen accurately controlled the casting distance, restricting the yellow skin monster's attack range, causing it to raise its hand and then lower it. This kind of operation by Lin Chen had already been seen in the PC version of the game. Some top players in the PC version could also increase their damage output by manipulating attack distances. However, Lin Chen's movement speed was still his weak point, and there was a significant difference in movement speed between him and the yellow skin monster. Therefore, in just two seconds, the yellow skinned monster had already closed in on Lin Chen. Lin Chen's eyes narrowed slightly because the yellow skinned monster had raised its hand to release a skill. In its tyrant form, Lin Chen was unable to interrupt the monster's casting. 
Most importantly, soul absorption was a targeted skill that could not be dodged through positioning. Not far away, Shadow Killer had a smile on his face. Are you finally going to be defeated? But in the next moment, his smile froze on his face. This was because Lin Chen instantly switched to his main weapon, a shield, completing the entire set of Black Iron Treant armor. After changing his weapon, Lin Chen's resistance and health were both increased. Moreover, the set bonus of the Black Iron Treant armor was even more outrageous than that of the Elite Treant armor. It could restore 200 health points per second, and on top of that, it reflected 20% of the damage. In addition, there was a third set effect, which increased 10% tenacity. The soul absorption skill of the yellow skinned monster had a weakening effect, but with stronger tenacity, it could reduce the effect to a certain extent. Minus 2254. A bright red number appeared above Lin Chen's head. Minus 102. Minus 102. This was followed by a rapid loss of health. Lin Chen switched back to his main weapon and continued to attack. Without the black iron armor's main weapon, the health regeneration decreased from 200 to 100 per second. In addition to Lin Chen's recovery skill, he could restore a total of 150 health points per second. Furthermore, the Black Iron Treant armor itself had an equipment-attached health regeneration effect. Therefore, the actual health regeneration per second was 180 points, completely withstanding the soul absorption skill. However, the weakening effect was still outrageous. Lin Chen's attack speed decreased from 3. 63 to 2. 41, almost by a third. This was because Lin Chen had switched weapons. Seeing the recovery numbers popping up on Lin Chen's body, Shadow Killer was once again stunned. He was recovering over a hundred health points per second. Moreover, the damage from the yellow skinned monster's soul absorption just now didn't even take away a tenth of Lin Chen's health. I'll help you. Shadow Killer, for some reason, didn't continue to watch the show. Instead, he appeared behind the yellow skinned monster and kicked it in the back, then leaped up and instantly attacked its throat. Minus 215. Bleeding. Minus 25. Minus 25. The sudden attack by the Shadow Killer caught Lin Chen by surprise. However, with over 900,000 health points remaining, it didn't seem like the Shadow Killer was trying to steal the boss. We'll talk later, I'll back off after reducing the boss's health to 10%, so you don't have to worry about me stealing the boss, said the Shadow Killer. Lin Chen was slightly surprised. Had this assassin player been scared off by his quick response? Regardless, Lin Chen didn't dwell on it. If the assassin player was willing to help him draw aggro, then things were basically under control. The boss's invincibility time was limited, and although Lin Chen had forgotten how long the boss's invincibility lasted, as one of the bosses in the newbie village, it shouldn't be too outrageous. After being ambushed by the assassin player, the yellow skin boss roared in anger and swiped a claw at the assassin. The assassin player seemed to have anticipated this, dodging the attack and then slashing at the boss's wrist with a dagger, dealing 121 damage. This time, the damage was relatively low and there was no bleeding effect. Seizing the opportunity, Lin Chen unleashed a flurry of feathered arrows. Three arrows in one second. Each arrow carried high damage, targeting the weak point at the back of the boss's head. Damn it! The boss roared, and in the next instant, a dark light burst from him, and then... The yellow skin boss in front of Lin Chen disappeared, replaced by a graceful and alluring beauty in a thin gauze dress with snow white skin and shapely legs. She beckoned to Lin Chen with a finger. Come and play with me, sir. Lin Chen furrowed his brow. He knew this was an illusion. If one's mind wasn't strong enough, they could easily be ensnared by it. To resist and break the illusion, there was a simple method, visualization. By visualizing the graceful beauty in front of him as the same grotesque yellow skin boss, he could perfectly explain the situation. As he looked at the graceful beauty again, he couldn't help but imagine the yellow skin boss posing in front of him. Ugh. Lin Chen almost couldn't hold back the urge to vomit. Just the thought of it made his stomach churn. The graceful beauty noticed his reaction and paused. Does this guy like men? Then the illusion changed. A young man was playing basketball in front of Lin Chen, his movements skilled and fluid, with occasional undulating motions. Ugh. Lin Chen felt that the yellow skinned boss was humiliating him. Whoosh. An arrow pierced the air, dealing 1028 damage and shattering the illusion. However, to Lin Chen's surprise, the Shadow Killer had already broken the illusion before him. With a swift step, the Shadow Killer slid almost to the ground between the boss's legs and then stabbed out with a knife. A O W. The boss's legs instantly clamped shut, and he let out a pained cry. It was an attack with little damage but a lot of humiliation. Lin Chen knew that the Shadow Killer was helping him draw aggro, trying to delay the boss's invincibility time. Sure enough, after the pained cry, the boss turned and chased after the shadow killer. 
As he chased the shadow killer, Lin Chen maximized his attack speed without hesitation. Each arrow struck the back of the boss's head, dealing high critical damage. Roar! The boss roared in anger. He knew he had been played. Seeing his remaining invincibility time, he decisively activated his berserk skill, increasing his speed. The shadow killer's reaction was already fast, but the boss raised his hand and used a soul absorption, instantly killing the shadow killer. Lin Chen sighed. This was the third time the shadow killer had died today. Twice at his hands, and now the third time, sacrificing himself to save Lin Chen. After killing the shadow assassin, Huang Pizzi turned to Lin Chen and cast a soul control spell towards him. Lin Chen felt his soul stiffen, and a cold aura began to invade it. In the next moment, he gradually lost control of his body. In this critical moment, Lin Chen switched his equipment, changing his shocking thunder bow to a shield. If he couldn't withstand the next attack, he might be instantly killed. He also feared that Huang Pizzi would use the soul control spell to make him self-harm, so the shield was obviously the best choice. After controlling Lin Chen, Huang Pizzi immediately rushed towards him. Then, with a heavy blow, he struck Lin Chen's helmet. Critical hit. Minus 1512. A huge damage number appeared, followed by a storm-like attack on Lin Chen. Swish. Huang Pizzi clawed at Lin Chen's throat, causing another huge damage number to appear. Minus 1626. Bleeding. Minus 300. Minus 300. This attack caused Lin Chen to suffer bleeding damage. At this point, Lin Chen was already struggling to break free as quickly as possible. Even so, he had nearly lost 20,000 health points before narrowly escaping the soul control spell. After breaking free from the spell, Lin Chen kicked Huang Pizzi's knee, then performed a backflip to evade Huang Pizzi's attack. Twisting string arrow technique. Swish. At this moment, Huang Pizzi's invincibility finally ended, and Lin Chen's powerful twisting string arrow technique flew towards Huang Pizzi's throat. However, in a berserk state, Huang Pizzi's speed had increased significantly, and he managed to catch the feathered arrow with his palm. Despite his surprise, Lin Chen remained composed. Arrow after arrow flew out. Without invincibility, Huang Pizzi became much easier to deal with. Lin Chen continuously shot arrows using the twisting string arrow technique, and at first, Huang Pizzi was able to resist a bit. But as Lin Chen's attacks became more precise, even a slight mistake caused Huang Pizzi to repeatedly retreat from the tremendous impact of the twisting string arrow technique. Now's the time. A cold light flashed in Lin Chen's eyes as he released another arrow, hitting Huang Pizzi's left leg, causing him to lose balance and fall forward. Then, Lin Chen's second arrow struck Huang Pizzi's forehead, and the combined force briefly lifted Huang Pizzi into the air. This is the effect I wanted. A cold light flashed in Lin Chen's eyes. With Huang Pizzi now airborne, the following actions would be much easier. Without invincibility, Huang Pizzi was completely at a loss against Lin Chen's aerial techniques. Not far away, a player was walking towards them. He was currently live streaming and said with a smile, Brothers, you should all be farming the twisted jungle. You probably didn't know there's a bard over here, right? I guess this bard must have some incredible quest. If I can complete it, maybe I can be as powerful as the Snow Emperor. As he spoke, Brother Hu Jiancheng walked towards Lin Chen. However, as soon as he arrived, he was stunned. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Because the live stream was facing him, the viewers in the chat were a bit confused by Brother Hu Jiangqing's reaction. What did the streamer see? Could there be a real life battle happening in the wilderness? He he, the owner of a certain club here said he wants to transfer his business into the game, but it seems you need your own shop or territory to do that, otherwise you'll be punished. Streamer, show us what's happening. Is it a human animal? Who's acting so beastly? Brother Hu Jiangcheng swallowed a few mouthfuls of saliva, then turned the live stream camera towards Lin Chen. The chat room fell into a brief silence. After a moment. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Brother Hu Jiangcheng's live stream was filled with holy crap. What did I just see? That's the boss, and he's been shot by that archer and can't come down. I remember that archers have a hit judgment. I play as an archer, and now my arrows sometimes miss and can't hit the monsters. He. My mom asked me why I was kneeling to watch the live broadcast. She came to see and knelt with me. The live broadcast room instantly boiled over. They all saw Lin Shen using the twisting string arrow technique to keep Huang Pizzi floating indefinitely. Just as Hu Guzheng Cheng Fengu was getting excited during the live broadcast, the screen suddenly went black, and he died on the spot. And behind him, an assassin appeared. Lin Chen had actually noticed what was happening next to him. But he didn't say anything and continued to attack Huang Pizzi. After Shadow Kill dealt with the anchor, he didn't sneak again, but stood not far away, seemingly covering for Lin Chen. Eight minutes later. Ding, 
You have killed the hidden boss Furious Huang Pizzi in the newbie village, experience points plus 15,495. Ding, you have completed the first kill of Furious Huang Pizzi, about to make a server-wide announcement, do you want to hide your name? No. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to player Shuedi for completing the first kill of Furious Huang Pizzi, hereby announced, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. Server-wide announcement, Congratulations to player Shuedi for completing the first kill of Furious Huang Pizzi, hereby announced, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. Damn, another first kill? What kind of boss is this Furious Huang Pizzi? Is it in the main city? I don't know, there doesn't seem to be this boss in the newbie village. Shuedi is not on the top level list yet. I checked the 10th level players on the level list, and Shuedi is not there, he's still in the newbie village. Countless players started discussing. And at this time, Hu Gu Jiang Cheng Fun Gu, who had just walked out of the resurrection altar, also heard the system prompt. He took out his own live broadcast replay and was immediately stunned. Is that Shu Edi? Awesome, I have a video of Shu Edi soloing the boss. Thinking of this, Hu Gu Jiang Cheng Fun Gu had already forgotten about being killed. He quickly edited the video and posted it online. Title, Shu Edi Solo Kills the Hidden Boss in the Newbie Village, Super Exciting. As this video was posted on the forum of the Twilight of the Gods, it immediately surged to the top of the hot search. Most ordinary players were just watching the excitement, after all, they couldn't see any problems with Lin Chan's infinite floating technique. It's like ordinary people watching a nuclear bomb explosion, probably just to see the mushroom cloud, without being impressed by the technical content. But in just 5 minutes, this video was already on the big screens in the analysis rooms of various clubs, and various guilds and clubs were urgently holding meetings. Dream Chasing Club. Emergency meeting called by Chasing Dreams Yenchu offline. In the meeting room, three analysts and Li Haitao, the general manager, as well as several high-level archers, were present. Tang Mei, I think Xu Wedi should be using some kind of skill that can continuously knock up enemy units. Li Haitao was the first to speak. He was completely clueless about the game, so naturally he couldn't see the value of Lin Chen's technique. You know nothing. Chasing Dreams Yenchu angrily shouted, and in the company, call me boss. The three analysts trembled, and the opening time of Twilight of the Gods was too short, and they didn't have much control over the data. Boss, his way of pulling the bow is wrong. Look carefully, his arrows are spinning rapidly in the air, he must be using some kind of combat technique. What about you guys? Chasing Dreams Yenshu looked at the several high-level archers. One of them said solemnly, Boss, this is indeed a game technique. I've seen a hunter use this technique before. He can make a puppet float continuously in the air. According to his explanation, this requires precise prediction. The first arrow must consider the position of the third arrow, and even the fourth arrow, otherwise, if the first arrow goes wrong, the floating cannot be continued. At this point, the archer expert sighed and said, I've thought about using this technique in the game since the launch of the Twilight of the Gods, but I never expected someone to use it so skillfully. Hearing the explanation from the archer expert, Yushue nodded, just as I expected, this game is fully immersive, and many real-life combat techniques can be realized here. Even some combat techniques that couldn't be achieved in reality due to attribute enhancements may be accomplished in the game, Li Haitao said nonchalantly. Boss, even though he's skilled, he's only level 9. Compared to you, he's still far behind, Yushue said coldly, glancing at Li Haitao and then at the archers. How long would it take for you to practice this technique? Everyone fell silent, and after a while, the previously analyzed game expert said, with deliberate practice, about 5 years. What? Yushue was stunned. Five years? Boss, archery practice depends on talent. If someone has extraordinary talent, they might achieve it in three months, but such individuals are extremely rare, Li Haitao explained. Moreover, to achieve the kind of skilled continuous aerial boss combo like the Snow Emperor, we might not even be able to do it in ten years. Yushue said sternly, All right, I understand. After saying this, Yushue re-entered the game. It wasn't just the Dream Club. In Longwa, all major clubs were analyzing this video intensively. In the end, they all came to a terrifying conclusion, Lin Chen's operation was extraordinary, extremely extraordinary, and normal people simply couldn't perform such operations. Server-wide announcement, Dream Club invites Snow Emperor to join, with an annual salary of 1 billion, negotiable for other benefits. The server-wide announcement was similar to a global broadcast that everyone could hear. Since Lin Chen had disabled friend requests and non-friend private messages, it seemed that the server-wide announcement was the only way to reach him. However, at this stage, a server-wide announcement cost 10 gold coins. Despite Lin Chen having a considerable amount of gold coins, how many people could replicate his style? Yet, just as the server-wide announcement from the Dream Club had ended, 
Another server-wide announcement sounded. Server-wide announcement, Azura Guild invites Snow Emperor to join, with an annual salary of 1 billion and 10 million, and the position of vice president upon joining, negotiable for other benefits. Server-wide announcement, Azura Guild invites Snow Emperor to join, with an annual salary of 1 billion and 10 million, and the position of vice president upon joining, negotiable for other benefits. Server-wide announcement, Berserk Guild invites Snow Emperor to join, with an annual salary of 1 billion and 10 million, and the position of vice president upon joining, along with a luxurious villa as a gift, negotiable for other benefits. The consecutive server-wide announcements caused a sensation across the entire network. Damn, am I hearing this right? A starting salary of 1 billion a year? Is this even real money? It's not underworld currency, is it? Kneeling, kneeling. A level 9 player. What kind of ability and virtue does he have to make all the major clubs fight over him? Isn't this just a flash in the pan? Don't talk nonsense if you don't understand. Snow Emperor's unlimited aerial combo is something that some people might not achieve even in 10 years. The clubs aren't fools. If they're willing to offer this price, it's because Snow Emperor is worth it. Countless people were shocked, but at this moment, Lin Chen was checking the rewards from looting corpses. Ding, you have obtained 45 skill books. Ding, you have obtained 65 pieces of equipment. Ding, you have obtained plus 500 gold coins. Ding, you have completed the first kill of a hidden boss, gaining plus 10 free attribute points. Ding, you have obtained plus 1 mission scroll. Ding, you have obtained a mysterious key plus 1. Lin Chen smiled. These rewards were truly satisfying. This yellow skin guy used to be a wandering bard, and he had quite a few good things on him. I roughly glanced at the equipment and skill books of the yellow skin, and it seems that there are indeed some that can be learned. Just not many. There are a total of 45 skill books, and Lin Chen picked out three that are suitable for his profession. One of them increases attack power, which is better than nothing. As for the second one, it increases movement speed, which is very useful for Lin Chen. His current weakness is movement speed. Sprint, 1 star. Effect, after casting, your movement speed increases by 0. 5 for 10 seconds. Cooldown, 5 minutes. Cost, 10 MP. Proficiency, 0 slash 100. Similar to this proficiency, using the skill once increases proficiency by 1 point. A 0. 5 increase in movement speed is somewhat insignificant for Lin Chen, especially since it is a fixed increase, not a percentage increase. In other words, learning this skill would not be very helpful and would also distract him. Sometimes, more skills are not necessarily better, because having too many skills may lead to hesitation or even getting stuck when using them. In a previous online game, there was a character who could learn over a hundred skills, and players couldn't even figure out how to configure them or which skill would be more suitable for certain situations. Therefore, Lin Chen decided to keep this skill and not learn it immediately. As for the third skill suitable for him to learn, Invincible Body, 1 star. Effect, you will enter an invincible state for 0. 5 seconds. Cooldown, 24 hours. Cost, 100 MP. Proficiency, 0 slash 10. This is definitely an amazing skill. Don't be fooled by the 0. 5 seconds of invincibility, this state will definitely improve over time. However, the headache for Lin Chen is the 100 points of mana consumption. He currently only has a total of 50 points of mana. In other words, after learning this skill, he would not be able to cast it at all. It's ridiculous. Should he use his free attribute points to increase mana? To be honest, Lin Chen is reluctant to do so. Using them to increase movement speed is acceptable, but increasing mana feels out of place. In the early stages of the game, mana has always been a pain for many players, especially for mages. Because mages heavily rely on skills, they naturally have higher requirements for spell power and mana. However, there are very few equipment items that can increase mana. Just now, after killing the yellow skin, Lin Chen received 10 free attribute points, but he did not directly allocate them to attack speed. His current attack speed of 3. 63 is already sufficient for the time being. His current weaknesses are movement speed and he needs mana. Even if he can't use the invincible body skill right now, he can still increase its proficiency first. But without enough mana, he can't even do that. It's a headache. However, this hesitation is only temporary. Lin Chen ultimately allocated the attribute points to increase his mana. He can improve his attack speed and movement speed later, but increasing mana is essential because not only can he use the invincible body skill, but he will also have other skills that require MP in the future. Therefore, mana is indispensable. Lin Chen allocated all 10 of his free attribute points to increase his mana to 100. Then, without hesitation, he used invincible body, increasing his proficiency by 1 point. 
At the same time, Lin Chen's gaze fell on the assassin player not far away. At this moment, Shadow Killer stepped forward. Let me introduce myself. My name is Shadow Killer, an external member of the Dragon Nation's War Department. Lin Chen was astonished. Shadow Killer. This was a renowned god-tier assassin in his previous life. Yes, he was a skilled assassin with god-tier talent. Apart from his exceptional talent, Shadow Killer came from a special department of the Dragon Nation's War Department. It was said that he was once a notorious mercenary who had experienced countless battles, large and small, before being recruited and rising through the ranks. His combat skills were also very rich, and with his god-tier talent, he became one of the strongest assassins. He actually had the chance to become the strongest assassin, but unfortunately he got a saint-level hidden profession, which lowered his status. If his hidden profession was also divine level, then with his skills, he could definitely become the strongest assassin. What's the matter? Lin Chen asked calmly. Shadow Killer asked solemnly, Shui Di, our war department wants to form a special operations team in the game and would like to invite you to join. Lin Chen knew about this special operations team. In the previous life, during the Great Disaster, the Dragon Country's special operations team became a strong force against the Aeliot star system. It was precisely because of the existence of this special operations team that Lin Chen and most of the upper middle class were able to live relatively stable lives. I still need to consider it, Lin Chen did not outright refuse, he had high hopes for this special operations team. But if he were to join, he would have to be in the management of this special operations team, or even be the leader. Otherwise, he had no intention of joining this special operations team. Aren't you going to ask about the benefits? Shadow Killer thought Lin Chen was refusing, so he couldn't help but ask again. Lin Chen smiled and shook his head, no need, I still have some things to take care of. And besides, now is not the time for me to negotiate with you. He had not revealed much at the moment, perhaps he could gain the attention of others. But to truly control the real power within the war department, that was far from enough. Alright, I can tell you that the treatment in the special operations team is much better than that of the clubs and guilds. Hmm, Lin Chen waved his hand to indicate he understood. Shadow Killer turned to leave, but Lin Chen stopped him. Wait. Shadow Killer turned back in surprise. What? Changed your mind? Lin Chen shook his head. I understand that you wanted to snatch the boss earlier. Wild bosses are meant to be snatched. But then you wanted to kill me. That's where you went wrong. Shadow Killer's eyes narrowed. What do you want to do? Nothing. Just giving you a free ride back to the village. Swish. Lin Chen shot an arrow. Shadow Killer instinctively raised his hand to retaliate. But seeing the flying arrow. He ultimately put down his dagger and was taken away by Lin Chen's two arrows. Before his death, he said, are we even now? Lin Chen did not respond, after killing Shadow Killer, he took out the mission scroll he obtained from Huang Pizzi. This new mission scroll was quite interesting. In ancient times, the son of the Yellow Emperor turned into a drought demon after his death. He fought for the Yellow Emperor, resisting Chi Yu, but was sealed beneath the newbie village. Mission requirement, release the sealed son of the Yellow Emperor. Mission penalty, all fire attribute attacks you receive in the future will double in damage. Mission reward, unknown. This mission was in direct opposition to the mission scroll he obtained from killing the nine-headed snake by. One was to destroy the newbie village, in order to prevent the drought demon from coming out. And this mission scroll was to release the drought demon. Not only that, Lin Chen also found a loophole. The mission scroll dropped by the nine-headed snake by did not explicitly specify sealing or reinforcing the seal of the drought demon. The mission requirement was to kill the newbie village NPCs and destroy the resurrection altar. And the mission here was to release the drought demon, the mission requirements did not conflict. In other words, Lin Chen could complete both of these missions at the same time. However, both of these missions were quite absurd. Moreover, based on Lin Chen's understanding of the game, there was likely a third mission scroll. And the requirement of the third mission scroll was most likely to kill the drought demon. If that was the case, then he could carry out three missions at the same time. First, destroy the newbie village, then release the drought demon, and finally kill the drought demon. Of course, this third mission was Lin Chen's own speculation. At present, he could not complete any of the missions, so he temporarily did not plan to accept them. He would wait until he completed the promotion mission of the old village chief. Hunting the ten bosses of the newbie village, he had already hunted and killed the nine-headed snake by, the twisted tree king, and Huang Pizzi. Next is to hunt down some other bosses. There are bosses for monsters from level 3 to 10. If Lin Chen goes hunting like this, he can hunt down 6 more. However, still in the spirit of hunting down higher level bosses as much as possible, Lin Chen does not plan to brush those small bosses. He wants to brush some hidden bosses in the newbie village, but with his current attributes, it's still a drop in the bucket. 
Therefore, he needs to level up to level 10 first, and also upgrade his talent, the Hand of Divine Punishment, to 3 stars. Currently, he is not far from reaching level 10 in terms of experience points, but there is still a considerable distance to reach 3 stars for the Hand of Divine Punishment. 100,000 basic attacks, that will take quite a long time. Still at the respawn point of the level 10 Twisted Treant. There are not many players here, this is not the leveling spot for level 9 players, and most players who reach level 10 go to try to brush the instance. Swish. The feathered arrow pierced through the air, critical hit damage. Minus 2288. A huge damage number appeared, this ordinary twisted treant couldn't even withstand one basic attack from Lin Chen and fell into his hands. Lightning leaped out. More than 10 twisted treants were pulled over. There was no suspense, one arrow, one twisted treant, and the twisted treants that were attracted over were quickly dealt with. This high frequency of monster spawning speed may be good for ordinary people, but for Lin Chen, it's not quite enough. The reason is simple. He needs to stack life limit through basic attacks. With one arrow killing them instantly, he has no way to do more basic attacks. After brushing the twisted treants for more than 10 minutes, Lin Chen's health did not increase much, but the experience points met the conditions for leveling up. Ding, you have reached level 10, free attribute points plus 5. Ding, you have met the level to leave the newbie village, you can leave the newbie village after receiving the out of village mission from the old village chief. Lin Chen ignored the out of village mission. He put all 5 of the free attribute points into movement speed. With enough movement speed, he can more easily pull monsters. If he needs to do the task of hunting down the newbie village NPCs in the future, movement speed is still very necessary. With the addition of 5 free attribute points, Lin Chen's movement speed increased by 0. 5, a somewhat insignificant increase in movement speed. Next, he will consider hunting down the fourth boss. And, Lin Chen already has his own ideas. The hidden bosses in the newbie village are not just the bard. In the next action, it is possible to hunt down the remaining seven bosses in one go and complete the old village chief's task. That is, the village chief's contest. In the newbie village, one the blacksmith has coveted the position of village chief for a long time, and has been working hard to overthrow the old village chief. In the newbie village, he secretly recruits players. Lin Chen had Zhou Zhou do the tasks of the blacksmith shop, including accepting the blacksmith shop's recruitment. The final task of the blacksmith shop is to help Wang the blacksmith defeat the old village chief. Supporting the birth of a new village chief in the newbie village, the reward for this task will be very generous. It is precisely because of this task that Lin Chen sees the feasibility of completing the task of destroying the newbie village. Whether it is helping the old village chief to overthrow the forces of Wang the blacksmith, or helping Wang the blacksmith to overthrow the forces of the old village chief, the newbie village will undergo a major reshuffle, reducing many NPCs. Especially, if both sides end up in a stalemate, that would be even more interesting. He can completely reap the benefits. However, he has accepted the follow-up task of hunting down 10 bosses from the old village chief. In order to complete this task, it seems that Wang the blacksmith is the one who will have to die. However, before that, he needs to mooch off Wang the blacksmith. Back in the newbie village, Lin Chen first went to the tavern and bought two bottles of the most expensive liquor, then went to the blacksmith shop. Wang the blacksmith saw the liquor in Lin Chen's hand and asked with a smile, Adventurer, what do you want to do? Lin Chen placed two bottles of strong liquor in front of Wang the blacksmith. I heard that Wang the blacksmith is the strongest blacksmith in the world. I want to ask Wang the blacksmith to forge the strongest weapon in the world for me, said Lin Chen, praising Wang the blacksmith, who immediately became somewhat proud. Hey, keep it low-key, keep it low-key. Knowing is enough, there's no need to say it out loud, said Wang the blacksmith calmly collecting the two bottles of strong liquor. To forge a weapon, it definitely requires money. To get the strongest weapon, it depends on whether the gold coins you give are enough, said Wang the blacksmith. Lin Chen took out all the gold coins he had and threw them in front of Wang the blacksmith. Is this enough? Wang the blacksmith's eyes widened. This was still the newbie village, and after so many years of blacksmithing, it was the first time he had seen so many gold coins. It's enough, it's enough. However, having only gold coins is not enough. I also need 10 pieces of bronze level equipment, 50 pieces of black iron level equipment, and 200 pieces of elite level equipment as raw materials, said Wang the blacksmith. Ding, Wang the blacksmith has assigned you a task. Task requirements, 10 pieces of bronze level equipment, 50 pieces of black iron level equipment, 200 pieces of elite level equipment. Task penalty, your paid gold coins and strong liquor will not be refunded. Task reward, you will receive a no wearing requirement golden level longbow. Lin Chen's eyes lit up. Originally, he thought it was only a silver level reward, 
but he didn't expect it to be a golden level reward, which was impressive. Okay, I will definitely collect these things as soon as possible. For other players, collecting so much equipment would be absolutely more difficult than reaching the sky. But for Lin Chen, it was just a matter of clearing the twisted tray and hell difficulty a few more times. After accepting the task, Lin Chen once again headed to the twisted jungle. Without any hesitation, he directly chose the hell difficulty and began his solo journey. Two and a half hours later, Lin Chen looked at the equipment in his backpack and a satisfied smile appeared on his face. He had completed the task of Wang the blacksmith, a golden level weapon. And it was said that this weapon was also a customized one. With this no wearing requirement customized weapon, coupled with his divine punishment talent, his future growth speed could definitely be described as terrifying. One the blacksmith, I have already collected the things you need. Lin Chen returned to the blacksmith's shop once again. Wang the blacksmith was very surprised. He looked at Lin Chen meaningfully and showed a thoughtful expression. Okay, give me the things, and you can come back to pick up the weapon in 10 hours. Lin Chen handed over all the required equipment to Wang the blacksmith. Ding, you have completed Wang the blacksmith's task, experience points plus 9085. Since you have not left the newbie village, you cannot obtain experience points, and the experience points are void. Lin Chen didn't think much of it. He had known this in his previous life. Adventurer, I see that you have extraordinary talent. If you can find three more things, I might be able to help you upgrade the golden level weapon to platinum level, said Wang the blacksmith. Lin Chen was very surprised. The golden level weapon had already far surpassed the current stage players, let alone the platinum level. However, he probably guessed what the next task would be. I wonder what these things are, Lin Chen asked. My apprentice, Elvis, stole a precious ore. I have already sent two other apprentices to pursue him. If you can assist my two apprentices in retrieving it, I am willing to use the ore to forge your weapon, said Wang the blacksmith. Ding, Wang the blacksmith has assigned you a task, retrieve the stolen ice flame ore. Task requirements, retrieve the ice flame ore, or in the battle to assist in besieging Elvis, inflict damage exceeding 20% of Elvis's health. Task penalty, none. Task reward, unknown. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow. As expected, the confrontation task between Wang the blacksmith and the old village chief had begun. This so-called apprentice betrayal was actually a person arranged by the old village chief to be by Wang the blacksmith's side, but was discovered by Wang the blacksmith and fled after stealing the ore. On the surface, Wang the blacksmith and the old village chief had not yet fallen out, so Elvis could only escape into the wilderness. If other players were lucky, it was possible to receive a mission from the old village chief to protect Elvis. All right, blacksmith Wang, I will do my best. Do you know where Elvis is? My two apprentices chased into the eastern mine. Elvis must be hiding in some corner of the mine. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow. The eastern mine. It seemed to be the territory of the level 8 monster, the stone beetle. In his past life, Lin Chen had not heard of any strategies for the stone beetle mine. There might be some, but they hadn't been revealed. The hidden map of the twilight of the gods, hidden bosses, and secret realms, caves, and so on, Lin Chen knew some of them, but only a small part. After all, most people kept their opportunities to themselves and were not willing to disclose their strategies. The strategies Lin Chen knew were mostly published by guilds or official financial corporations after squeezing out the benefits. Otherwise, it was something like the yellow skinned and twisted tree people, once activated, there would be a server-wide announcement, and then people would find out who activated the strategy. Alright, I will now go to the mine to find Elvis. Coming out of the newbie village, Lin Chen went to the mine. At that moment, a server-wide announcement sounded. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player dream of smoke and snow for completing the first kill of the water arrow turtle king. We hereby announce this and hope that all players will continue to work hard. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player dream of smoke and snow for completing the first kill of the water arrow turtle king. We hereby announce this and hope that all players will continue to work hard. Just as the server-wide announcement of Dream of Smoke and Snow's first kill had just ended, another server-wide announcement appeared. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player Mad Blade Fury for being the first to obtain a hidden profession. We hereby announce this and hope that all players will continue to work hard. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player Mad Blade Fury for being the first to obtain a hidden profession. We hereby announce this and hope that all players will continue to work hard. Lin Chen sighed. It seemed that some things from his past life had not changed. Madblade Fury had quickly obtained a hidden profession. It was a pity. Madblade Fury had good talent, game understanding, and technical skills, but unfortunately, he had made a hasty choice of profession, leading to being overshadowed by others in the later stages of the game. Newbie Village. Mine. 
This was an abandoned mine because it had not been managed for many years, and it had become the home of the stone beetles. As soon as Lin Chen arrived, he saw dozens of stone beetles wandering outside the mine. Stone beetle, normal level 8. Health, 1200 slash 1200. Attack, 52. Skills, armor break, stone shield. Two very simple skills, but these two skills made many ordinary players suffer. Armor break could wear down the durability of weapons. In the early stages when weapons were extremely scarce, the stone beetle's skill was very troublesome. Swish. Minus 1200. Lin Chen shot an arrow, directly killing a stone beetle. After collecting equipment in the twisted jungle, his own health had already exceeded 50,000. Plus, the black iron trance set brought over 10,000 health, so his total health was now over 60,000. Even without considering the attack power of the thunderous bow, the real damage brought by the health was enough to kill the stone beetles instantly. In less than 20 seconds, Lin Chen had solved all the stone beetles. As new stone beetles respawned, Lin Chen completely ignored them and entered the mine. According to Lin Chen's calculations, there should be three NPCs inside the mine, or even more. Is it you? Just as he entered, a surprised voice sounded. Lin Chen also looked at the person who spoke with some surprise. That assassin player, Shadow Kill. What? Here to grind monsters? Due to the consecutive level drops, the current Shadow Kill was only level 5. With his attributes and combat skills, it was easy for him to fight level 8 stone beetles. No, I have taken on a mission. Old village chiefs? Lin Chen's eyes narrowed, the old village chief asked you to come here to assist Elvis? Shadow was somewhat surprised, you also took on this task? No, I took on the opposite task from you, but what is your task? Lin Chen asked, my task is to obtain the ice flame demon mine from Elvis and bring it back. If possible, I need to assist Elvis in killing the two NPCs chasing him. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow and smiled. My task is to assist those two NPCs in killing Elvis and then retrieve the Ice Flame Demon Mine. Shadow was somewhat astonished upon hearing this. Opposing tasks? In previous games, it was rare for players to have opposing tasks. It is an opposing task, but we should still have a win-win solution. Lin Chen already had an idea in mind. What win-win solution? Kill all three NPCs together. Lin Chen smiled. Upon hearing this, Shadow was surprised. Isn't that a bit too risky? As long as we handle it properly, it is completely possible, and we are not two against three. We will first help Elvis kill the two NPCs, and then turn around to kill Elvis. Shadow was somewhat astonished, but had to admit that Lin Chen's idea was somewhat crazy. Having witnessed Lin Chen's skills, Shadow knew that Lin Chen's method was completely feasible. All right, then let's find Elvis first. Lin Chen sent a team invitation to Shadow. I'll help you level up first. Experience points were distributed, and Lin Chen was still level 91. There was no way around it, level 91 was the limit. After that, Lin Chen began to kill monsters in seconds. One arrow, one stone beetle. And because of the lightning jump, some stone beetles were killed by the lightning jump before Lin Chen even made a move. Although Lin Chen had experienced penalties for bringing low-level players due to his high level, he couldn't resist his fast monster-killing speed. In just 10 minutes, Shadow reached level 6. Another 15 minutes, and Shadow reached level 7. Next, it only took 10 minutes for Shadow to reach level 8. Because Lin Chen had already killed elite level stone beetles, the experience points naturally increased. Shuetti, your damage is the most outrageous I've ever seen among all the people I've met. Have you awakened a talent? Yes, Lin Chen nodded. Shadow tactfully did not ask what Lin Chen's talent was, as that would be crossing a boundary. Talent is everyone's secret. Even though Lin Chen had been reborn, he had only heard about many people's talents. Or perhaps he only knew their level roughly, but had no idea about the effects of their talents. For example, Shadow. Lin Chen knew that he had a divine level talent, but they had no idea what the attributes of his talent were. At this moment, both Lin Chen and Shadow heard a reprimanding voice coming from deep inside the cave. Elvis, you heartless scoundrel, the master has been so good to you, and yet you dare to steal the master's ore. Lin Chen and Shadow cautiously approached. In front of them, Lin Chen saw the three NPCs. Elvis was a slightly short young man, while the other two were strong and burly men. Elvis, level 10. HP, attack, skills? Note, he was originally the old village chief's informant planted next to Wang the blacksmith, and he carries something very valuable. The attributes of the other two NPCs were similar to Elvis. Their HP, attack, and skills were all marked with question marks. The difference was that their notes said they were Wang the blacksmith's apprentices, and helping them would bring unexpected benefits. If it were an ordinary player, they would definitely choose to help these two NPCs. But Lin Chen did not. Although he already had a plan, 
he still wanted to wait and see if there were any new developments. The Twilight of the Gods could not be treated with a simple game. To treat this place as a parallel world, to treat NPCs as real people. Only in this way can you obtain more rewards. Ying Sha followed Lin Chen, still watching from a distance without speaking. Wang the blacksmith is ambitious. As a villager of the newbie village, I will definitely inform the village chief of his ambition and have the village chief kill Wang the blacksmith. Although Elvis's body was small, his eyes were exceptionally firm. He actually wants to use the ice flame demon mind to release a boss that surpasses the newbie village's limits. That will surely bring disaster to the newbie village. Hearing this, Wang the blacksmith's two apprentices snorted, enough, it's not your place to meddle in our master's affairs. The old village chief is incompetent, our master is the only choice for village chief. The two sides argued endlessly. Indeed. Wang the blacksmith was deceiving himself. Lin Chen's eyes became subtle. He didn't take the ice flame demon mind to improve his weapon quality as he claimed. He wanted to release a certain boss. What hidden boss could there be in the newbie village? Could it be the drought demon? Before Lin Chen could think further, Elvis and Wang the blacksmith's two apprentices were already engaged in battle. The three were evenly matched in strength, but due to the difference in numbers, Elvis soon fell into a disadvantage. Swish! An arrow pierced through the air. Lin Chen took action. His arrow cut through the sky, and a sword struck Wang San's head. Minus 2512. A huge critical hit damage number appeared. At the same time, a huge damage number also appeared above Lin Chen's head. Minus 1256. Counter attack. Lin Chen's eyes narrowed. His current lifesteal was not enough, and facing a monster with counterattack, he definitely couldn't hold on. The opponent was at least a level 10 boss, and even with inferior attributes, it wouldn't be worse than the twisted Trey Ant King, perhaps even higher. Suddenly ambushed, Wang San's cold gaze turned towards Lin Chen. Adventurer? You were sent by the old village chief to support this traitor Elvis, right? In that case, you can all die. With those words, Wang San raised his greatsword and struck down. Swish! Lin Chen acted quickly, an arrow broke through the air, interrupting Wang San's attack rhythm. However, the 50% counterattack effect of Wang San made Lin Chen's scalp tingle. This counterattack was extremely abnormal in the early stages of the game. Although Lin Chen's equipment also had a counterattack effect, it was only 10%. The difference between the two was obvious. Ying Sha also knew about the opponent's counterattack, which was a headache for him as an assassin. How do we fight? Ying Sha asked in a deep voice. Distract, Lin Chen replied coldly. Although the counterattack had a clear impact on him, there was still room for maneuver. After all, their main task was to assist Elvis in battle. Wang San and Wang Si both have high counterattack armor, but their health is not high. Elvis's voice sounded, as he raised his hand, two dark and ink-like lights flew into Lin Chen's body. Ding, you have received Elvis's blessing, reducing the damage you take by 10%. Lin Chen's eyes lit up, this blessing was truly a timely help. He immediately switched to the jungle longbow. The jungle longbow could add 500 points to his health and had a 2% lifesteal effect. When facing opponents with counterattack, lifesteal became a crucial attribute. Are you strong in counterattack? As long as my lifesteal is stronger than yours, you can only stare helplessly. Although Lin Chen's main weapon did not belong to the Trey Ant set, his base health regeneration was still as high as 180 points per second. Adding the lifesteal from the jungle longbow, and factoring in Elvis's blessing reducing damage by 10%, he might be able to engage in a tug of war with Wang San and Wang Si. Swish! Another high critical hit damage appeared. Lin Chen's health dropped by over a thousand. His body began to continuously regenerate health. Ying Sha stood there, still waiting, not acting rashly. As an assassin, when encountering an unfavorable battle environment, one must remain calm and seek out the perfect opportunity to strike again. Kill this kid first, Wang Si roared and charged towards Lin Chen, twisting the bowstring technique. Lin Chen used the powerful impact of the twisting bowstring technique to forcefully repel Wang Si. The counterattack continued to gradually reduce Lin Chen's health. The reason was simple, his health was decreasing rapidly. Each arrow, even if it wasn't a critical hit, would reduce Lin Chen's health by about 600 points. However, at this moment, Lin Chen was not the main damage dealer, but rather focused on crowd control. Archers can be the main damage dealers, but sometimes when the situation is out of control, they have to focus on crowd control. Just like now, Lin Chen continuously used his twisting bowstring technique to interrupt the attack rhythm of Wang San and Wang Si, disrupting their skill casting. He was handling two opponents at once, creating an excellent environment for Elvis's output. Seeing Lin Chen controlling the situation in a 1v2, Shadow Killer's heart was already somewhat numb. 
If at first he thought that Lin Chen could kill him because of his attributes, relying on his top-notch combat skills, it was possible for him to compete with Lin Chen. But now, recent events made Shadow Killer deeply realize one thing, Lin Chen's combat skills surpassed his own. In Shadow Killer's mind, he also had some speculations about Lin Chen's identity. Looking at the Dragon Kingdom, the only group that could surpass them in combat skills was the ancient martial artists. These people were similar to the martial arts masters of the past, and he even knew that some of them had already cultivated internal energy, which was extremely terrifying. Their combat skills were also extremely powerful, and in their combat department, there were several instructors who were ancient martial artists. They could single-handedly suppress a special forces team. Now, in Shadow Killer's mind, Lin Chen was such an overwhelmingly powerful ancient martial artist. The battle continued. Wang San and Wang Si, restricted by Lin Chen's incredible crowd control, were rapidly losing health. Not only that, Lin Chen was deliberately maintaining his health, keeping his life points at a relatively safe level. Because in Lin Chen's calculations, after killing Wang San and Wang Si, he still had to kill Elvis. Finally, Wang San and Wang Si's health dropped to below 10%, but they still didn't use their ultimate defense, which meant they probably didn't have it. So, the law from the previous world was most likely true. That is, the level 10 monsters and NPCs in the newbie village did not have the ultimate defense and berserk skills. However, at this time, Elvis's health had only dropped by 30%, which made Lin Chen quite dissatisfied. He began to maneuver towards the back of Elvis, knowing that Wang San and Wang Si's dying counterattack would definitely target him. Sure enough, when their health dropped to 5%, Wang San and Wang Si began to madly charge towards Lin Chen with the determination to kill him. Lin Chen rolled behind Elvis like a donkey, avoiding their attacks. Elvis didn't think much of it, assuming that Lin Chen was just protecting himself. Facing the low health Wang San and Wang Si, Elvis also showed no fear, and the three of them fought again. Lin Chen disbanded the team with Shadow Killer, because he was afraid that teaming up would raise suspicions from Wang the blacksmith or the old village chief. It was better to be cautious in such matters. Just as Wang San was about to be killed, Lin Chen's arrow interrupted Elvis's attack. Sorry, missed the shot, Lin Chen explained, then the second arrow was already released. Twisting the bowstring technique. Critical hit. Minus 2518. Ding, you have killed the newbie village boss Wang San. A server wide announcement is about to be made. Do you want to hide your name? Hide. Lin Shin didn't want Wang the blacksmith to know that he had killed his disciple, otherwise, the gold coins he had previously paid would be in vain. Server wide announcement. Congratulations to the player hiding the nickname for killing Wang San. This announcement is made, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player hiding the nickname for killing Wang San, this announcement is made, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. When this server-wide announcement came out, many people were confused. What's going on? Wang San? That definitely sounds like a lackey's name. Before they could recover from their shock, another system prompt sounded. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player with the hidden nickname for achieving the first kill of Wang Si, hereby announcing to all players, hoping for everyone to continue their efforts. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player with the hidden nickname for achieving the first kill of Wang Si, hereby announcing to all players, hoping for everyone to continue their efforts. Wang San, Wang Si, damn, aren't these just two lackeys? How could they be designated as bosses and have a server-wide announcement? Wait, I think I know who Wang San and Wang Si are, they are the two apprentices of the village blacksmith. Damn, it seems true, it was Wang Si who helped me repair the durability of my weapon when I was fighting the stone beetle. Wang San and Wang Si are not unknown figures in the newbie village. Many players go to the blacksmith's shop to repair their weapon durability. The main ones responsible for repairing weapon durability are Wang San and Wang Si. This is really unbelievable, Wang San and Wang Si are bosses? Newbie village, blacksmith's shop. Wang the blacksmith looked grim. He naturally heard the server-wide announcement. Who on earth is it? To be able to defeat Wang San and Wang Si, could it be that the old village chief has sent a skilled person over? Lin Chen had to disband the team because of the server-wide announcement. If in a team, it's easy to reveal one's hand. Ying Sha. Lin Chen called out to Ying Sha. Earlier, Lin Chen deliberately shot an arrow at Alphys to see if Alphys also had a counterattack attribute. The answer was no. Stab. Ying Sha was well prepared and went for the throat. Minus 195. Bleeding, minus 26. Minus 26. Alphys's expression changed. What are you doing? Swish. A sharp arrow was Lin Chen's response to Alphys. Critical hit. Minus 2526. A huge damage number appeared. 
Lin Chen's attacks followed one after another. Alphys was both shocked and angry. He never expected that the adventurer who had just helped him in battle would suddenly attack him without warning. Ding, you have been cursed by Alphys, receiving plus 10% damage. Lin Chen remained composed, the arrows kept flying accurately, interrupting Alphys' attacks. During the battle with Wang San and Wang Si, Lin Chen had already grasped Alphys' fighting rhythm. Now, Lin Chen forcefully interrupted Alphys' attack rhythm. A three-arrow attack frequency per second left Alphys powerless to retaliate. No counterattack. No invincibility or frenzy. Alphys was just a sitting duck in front of Lin Chen. Swish. Lin Chen shot another arrow. This arrow finally sent Alphys flying. Then, it was an endless floating state. Seeing Lin Chen use this incredible floating technique again, Ying Sha was speechless. Lin Chen's fighting skills were truly abnormal. Ying Sha, you finish him off, remember, use a hidden nickname, Lin Chen said. He definitely couldn't kill Alphys himself, otherwise, when submitting the task of killing 10 newbie village bosses, he might be suspected by the village chief. Okay. Ying Sha's understanding of the game wasn't too high. He wasn't too clear about Lin Chen's purpose in doing this. But he chose to trust Lin Chen. After Lin Chen used the continuous damage of the floating arrow technique to cripple Alphys, Ying Sha made his move. Five consecutive critical hits, each causing bleeding, took down Alphys. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player with the hidden nickname for achieving the first kill of Alphys, hereby announcing to all players, hoping for everyone to continue their efforts. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player with the hidden nickname for achieving the first kill of Alphys, hereby announcing to all players, hoping for everyone to continue their efforts. Newbie Village, Village Chief's Courtyard. After hearing this prompt, the old village chief's expression suddenly changed. When he heard that Wang San and Wang Si had been killed, he was still somewhat excited inside. But this little excitement lasted less than 10 minutes, and then he heard the server-wide announcement that his subordinate, Elvis, had been killed. Loot the corpse. Lin Chen walked to Elvis's side and immediately found the ice flame magic ore. I want this. Shadow Killer frowned, after all, it was his mission item. You can't take this back, and even if I take it, it's not for completing the mission, Lin Chen explained, because the next action would still require Shadow Killer's cooperation. You can have everything else on Elvis's body, he said, and Shadow Killer's eyes lit up at the words. He immediately came over to loot the corpse. When the looting was over, his expression improved somewhat. At this point, Lin Chen was also looting the corpses of King 3 and King 4. Ding! You have obtained a bronze level or lower weapon repair essence plus one. Ding, you have obtained 12 pieces of equipment. Ding, you have obtained plus five gold coins. Ding, you have obtained a special item, corpse gas collection bottle. Lin Chen collected everything first before looking at Shadow Killer. Now that all three NPCs are dead, you go back and tell the old village chief that you encountered King 3 and King 4 on the way and, with the help of your guild, killed them. Hearing this, Shadow Killer was somewhat surprised. Will the old village chief believe that? He has to believe it, even if he doesn't, because he has no evidence to prove that you are lying. What about you? Lin Chen smiled and said, As for me, my answer is that I only saw King 3 and King 4 being killed by you, and I didn't see Elvis. Hearing this, Shadow Killer felt like he was being put on the spot. If the blacksmith and the old village chief compare notes, won't I be exposed? And if the old village chief asks who killed Elvis, what should I say? Just say you don't know. You hadn't even entered the mine when Elvis died. Shadow Killer fell silent, and after a while, he asked, Can you tell me why you did this? For a bigger mission, Lin Chen said firmly, even considering not completing the task scroll that the old village chief had given him to hunt down 10 bosses, in order to complete the mission as much as possible. After discussing the wording with Shadow Killer, Lin Chen finally smiled. After Shadow Killer left, Lin Chen took out the corpse gas collection bottle. Corpse gas collection bottle. Special item. Effect, after killing humanoid monsters, adventurers, and NPCs, you can collect corpse gas. If the corpse gas collection bottle is full, you may receive an extraordinary mission. Progress, 46-100. Lin Chen raised his eyebrows and collected the corpse gas from King 3, King 4, and the others, increasing the progress from 46 to 49. He only needed 50 more corpse gases for the bottle to be full. However, Lin Chen was not in a hurry at all. If he couldn't collect so much corpse gas later, he would have to target those lovely players. Looking at the time, Lin Chen returned to the novice village and entered the blacksmith's shop. Blacksmith Wang, I'm really sorry, I haven't found Elvis yet, but I heard the news that he was killed. Lin Chen pretended to be confused, as if this matter had nothing to do with him. The blacksmith Wang looked meaningfully at Lin Chen. Snow Emperor, in our novice village, besides you, who else has the ability to kill Elvis and my two apprentices? 
This time, the blacksmith did not address Lin Chen as an adventurer, but directly called him by his game nickname. Lin Chen knew that the blacksmith was suspicious of him. Blacksmith Wang, I have no reason to do so. There are hidden dragons and crouching tigers in the novice village. I was ambushed by an assassin before, and my partner was killed in an instant. Hearing this, blacksmith Wang frowned, staring at Lin Chen as if trying to see if he was lying. However, he couldn't see anything. It's a pity for my two apprentices. It's even more of a pity for the ice flame magic ore. If you can help me find the ice flame magic ore, I can give you a platinum level necklace. Ding, blacksmith Wang has issued a task to you. Mission requirement, find a piece of ice flame ore. Mission penalty, none. Mission reward, platinum level necklace plus one. Lin Chen raised his eyebrows. Wang the blacksmith seemed to be in a hurry. He was willing to offer such generous conditions for that piece of ice flame magic ore. At the current stage, a golden level weapon was already quite powerful, and a platinum level one could potentially disrupt the game balance. Alright, I will do my best, Lin Chen accepted the mission, but for now, he was definitely not going to give it. Snow Emperor, I await your good news. After completing these tasks, Lin Chen went offline to have a meal. This afternoon was the time for his sister's surgery. Although the early game time was precious, Lin Chen still went to the hospital after eating. Watching his sister being pushed into the operating room, Lin Chen clenched his fists. Sister, you must be okay. Although Lin Chen had already paid the surgery fee, the doctors had previously told him that brain surgery carried a high risk, with a certain probability of failure. Even if the surgery was successful, there was still a significant chance of her ending up in a vegetative state. As long as she could survive, even if she became a vegetable, Lin Chen would accept it. Because even a vegetable could enter the twilight of the gods. By raising his strength in the twilight of the gods, when the great catastrophe arrived in five years, the twilight of the gods would merge with reality. His strength in the game could also be manifested, so even if his sister became a vegetable, she could still recover. He anxiously waited outside the operating room. After about two hours, the door of the operating room was finally opened. A doctor in a white coat walked out with a worried look on his face. Lin Chen's heart skipped a beat, and he immediately rushed over. Doctor, how is my sister? The doctor sighed, making Lin Chen's heart hang in his throat. The surgery failed, and the cerebral hemorrhage has spread to the cerebellum. There is nothing more we can do. Lin Chen staggered, almost falling to the ground. How could this happen? No, there must be a way. Lin Chen was emotional. After being reborn, he had dreamed of changing everything. But now, he couldn't even save his own sister. The doctor shook his head, we have done our best. Although a large amount of blood clots were removed, the blood clots that entered the cerebellum have eroded it. The best outcome would still be a vegetative state, and she could die at any time. Lin Chen felt a chill in his heart. Can I see my sister? Go in, but remember to control your emotions, the doctor sighed. Lin Chen entered the operating room. There were several medical staff members doing postoperative work inside. Looking at his sister on the hospital bed, Lin Chen's fingers were trembling slightly. In the end, can't change anything at all? Lin Chen gritted his teeth. He had experienced countless life and death situations in his previous life and had long been resilient. But today, seeing his sister about to leave him again, this despair and helplessness made him unable to suppress the grief in his heart, and tears welled up in his eyes. Why? Why? Damn it! Why are you doing this to me? Lin Chen clenched his fists, hating his own helplessness. She may still have a chance. At this moment, a young voice sounded. Then, a young Taoist priest, who looked only 17 or 18, appeared at the door of the operating room. Lin Chen was excited and turned to look at him. Save her, please save my sister. Lin Chen turned around excitedly, as if he had caught the last straw. I also don't have full confidence, the young Taoist said. What about your master? Does he have any? Lin Chen was emotional guessing that there must be a master behind the young Taoist. My master is dead, the young Taoist shook his head. Lin Chen gritted his teeth, okay, please save my sister. If you can save her, I will definitely repay your great kindness. The young Taoist smiled, meeting his fate, let me try. He walked to the sickbed and looked at Lin Nang lying on it. A silver light appeared on the palm of his hand. Lin Chen was surprised. A master of internal energy? There were ancient martial artists in the Dragon Kingdom, Lin Chen knew from his past life. The technique the young Taoist was displaying was very similar to that of the legendary internal energy masters. The young Taoist raised his hand and gently touched Lin Meng's forehead with the silver light on his palm. The light gradually penetrated into Lin Meng's head, and her complexion began to improve. Lin Chen was pleasantly surprised. After a while, the young Taoist stopped. He wiped the sweat from his forehead and said, Your sister is no longer in danger, 
but she will remain in a vegetative state. With a sigh, the young Taoist said, It seems that my Taoist practice is not enough. How should I address you, Taoist? Lin Chen was very grateful. Even though his sister was in a vegetative state, her condition was much better than before. I am Zhang Yi, with the Taoist name Yeshin, the young Taoist replied. Lin Chen's mouth twitched. Zhang Taoist, thank you for saving my sister. I still have 100,000 yuan in my account, and I will give it all to you. Zhang Yi shook his head, that's too much. Give me 10,000 yuan, and I can buy a game warehouse. A game warehouse? Zhang Daoist also plays Twilight of the Gods? Zhang Yi nodded, yes, I observe the stars at night and have discovered opportunities within Twilight of the Gods. Perhaps it can help me break through the constraints and reach the legendary realm. Lin Chen was surprised that Zhang Yi could calculate such things and thought it might be beneficial to befriend him. However, he couldn't let too many people know about his situation in the game at the moment, as it could easily lead to trouble. In the past, there were cases of high-level players being kidnapped or even killed offline. His game attributes had not yet manifested, so he had to be cautious. You have done me and my sister a great favor. 100,000 is not enough. Zhang Daoist, keep some money with you for your convenience in the future. Lin Shen handed the bank card to Zhang Yi and said, the password is 157988. Zhang Yi smiled confidently, all right, thank you. After exchanging a few words with Zhang Yi, Lin Chen left. Although his sister was no longer in danger, she still needed to recuperate in the hospital for a few days to recover as soon as possible. After arranging his sister's affairs, Lin Chen returned to his rented house and entered the game again. This time, he was delayed for more than three hours, slowing down his game progress. However, Lin Chen didn't mind. The confrontation between Wang the blacksmith and the old village chief was about to become more intense. Unlike wild monsters, the NPCs in the novice village would not respawn after death. Lin Chen had already killed five bosses and was considering how to proceed with the old village chief's follow-up mission. With his strength, he could continue to hunt NPCs. However, he didn't plan to do so, as it could easily backfire and attract the attention of the old village chief, making it impossible for him to complete the follow-up mission. But at the moment, he couldn't bear to let go of the old village chief's task. After much thought, Lin Chen ultimately chose to start hunting bosses from level 5 monsters. From level 5 to level 9, there were 5 bosses to hunt. Completing this task might reduce the mission rewards, but it was the safest approach. With a plan in mind, Lin Chen began hunting in the area of level 5 monsters. He continued until level 9, killing 5 bosses in the novice village. Including the bosses he had previously killed, Lin Chen had now killed 10 bosses in the novice village and could go to the old village chief to submit the task. In the courtyard of the old village chief's house in the novice village, there were many players submitting their departure tasks. At this point in time, most ordinary players had already reached level 10. If it weren't for some still exploring the twisted jungle, there would have been even more people gathered here. After they left, Lin Chen approached the old village chief. Old village chief, I have killed 10 bosses. Lin Chen submitted the task. The old village chief nodded in surprise, not bad, Shuedi, I knew I didn't misjudge you. Ding, you have completed the old village chief's task. Task rewards, gold coins plus 20, free attribute points plus 20, luck plus 1, eye of purity plus 1. Eye of purity, special equipment, wear requirement, none. Effect, able to see through the darkness, illusions, and have a large visual range even in the mist. Durability, 100. Lin Chen's eyes lit up. This equipment did not indicate a level and belonged to special equipment. With this effect, it was definitely a must-have skill for archers. Currently, the game's night still had a certain visibility. But after the great disaster, the visibility would be greatly reduced, that was the real darkness. Some powerful adventurers were killed by monsters from the Alate star system in the dark because their night vision was not enough. Lin Chen put on the Eye of Purity and felt the world suddenly become exceptionally clear. 500 meters away, a mosquito was flying and Lin Chen could clearly see the patterns on its wings. This feeling was amazing. Archers had very high requirements for accuracy, and the Eye of Purity matched Lin Chen very well. Not to mention the current stage, even in the late game, or even in the era of the Great Disaster, the Eye of Purity was an extraordinary piece of equipment. Adventurer, did you kill Wang San and Wang Si? There was a different meaning in the old village chief's eyes. Lin Chen guessed that he would be discovered after submitting the task, so he did not deny it. Yes. The old village chief's gaze became more subtle. Do you know that Wang San and Wang Si are both disciples of Wang the blacksmith? You killed them, and if Wang the blacksmith finds out, he will definitely retaliate against you. Lin Chen pretended to be frightened, old village chief, what should I do? Should I not do village tasks anymore, and you let me leave the newbie village now? 
The old village chief waved his hand and smiled, you don't need to worry. Although one the blacksmith is powerful, in this newbie village, I still have the final say. At this point, the old village chief continued, but Wang the blacksmith is ambitious, and we must be cautious. I heard that he has been getting close to the old drunkard at the tavern, and that old drunkard often goes to the wilderness to help him find ore. Lin Chen raised his eyebrows, it seemed like a new task was coming. Old village chief, what do I need to do? The old village chief showed a look of teaching a promising youth, it's simple, cut off his left arm and right arm, go and kill the old drunkard. Ding, the old village chief has issued a task to you. Task requirement, kill the old drunkard. Task penalty, none. Task reward, unknown. Lin Chen was worried, old village chief, with my current strength, is it too difficult to kill the old drunkard? The old village chief nodded, that old drunkard indeed has some tricks, but he is often addicted to alcohol. If you can poison his wine barrel, maybe you will have an unexpected effect. Hearing this, Lin Chen was a bit embarrassed, to be honest, village chief, I don't have any poison. The old village chief hesitated for a moment and took out a small bottle. This is the mandrake potion I have collected for a long time. It is colorless and tasteless. As long as you put it in the old drunkard's wine, he definitely won't notice it. Once poisoned, the old drunkard's combat power will be reduced by at least half. Lin Chen took the mandrake potion and smiled, okay, I will definitely not disappoint you and kill the old drunkard. With that, Lin Chen was ready to leave immediately. But at that moment, the old village chief suddenly stopped him. Shu Eddie. Once again, he called out his name instead of addressing him as an adventurer. You killed Wang San and Wang Si, do you know who killed Aelfoss? Lin Chen raised his eyebrows. Sure enough, the old village chief suspected him. I don't know. Shortly after I and Ningxia killed Wang San and Wang Si, I heard the sound of Aelfoss being killed. Oh, I see. The old village chief showed a meaningful smile. Lin Chen knew that his few words would definitely not gain the trust of the old village chief. However, this was not important. Even if the old village chief had suspicions, they would only be about his dealings with Wang the blacksmith. After all, the only one who could threaten his position as the novice village chief was Wang the blacksmith. As for Lin Chen, no matter how powerful he was, he couldn't stay in the novice village forever. But what he didn't know was that Lin Chen had other options. After leaving the novice village, Lin Chen sent a message to Shadow Kill. They had added each other as friends during their previous transaction. It was then that Lin Chen noticed that Garen had sent him over 10 messages. Snow Emperor, I'm willing to offer 2 billion. Just come, and you'll be the guild leader of the Floating Tower Guild. Snow Emperor, are you there? When will you come to the main city and take me with you? The price is negotiable. Snow Emperor. Lin Chen had been busy with his own affairs, so his messages were set to do not disturb. Nevertheless, Garen was his first partner. Lin Chen replied with a message, do not disturb. Busy. Then he went to the location sent by Shadow Kill. At that moment, Shadow Kill was challenging a level 10 twisted Treant. When he saw Lin Chen arrive and defeat the Treant, he walked over. Shadow Kill, what's the follow-up task the old village chief gave you? Shadow Kill knew that he was now tied to Lin Chen, so he spoke frankly. The old village chief asked me to protect the old drunkard at the tavern. Hearing this, Lin Chen's eyes narrowed. Today, the old village chief also gave me a task to kill the old drunkard. How could this be? Shadow Kill was puzzled. Protecting and killing at the same time was clearly unreasonable. However, Lin Chen already had a guess in his mind. It was obvious that the old village chief was trying to frame and trap them. The reason probably had to do with the mandrake potion. If his guess was correct, the potion didn't belong to the old village chief, but was stolen from Wang the blacksmith. The plan was for Lin Chen to poison and kill the old drunkard, and for Shadow Kill to rescue him. As long as Shadow Kill could delay him, the old drunkard might escape. Your task's rewards and penalties must be quite heavy, right? Lin Chen asked. Shadow Kill nodded, yes. We killed Wang 3 and Wang 4 together before. The old village chief knows we're together, so he gave you this task. It's a plot. Shadow Kill pondered for a moment and also realized something, then asked, from what you're saying, the old village chief's order for me to kill is fake, and for me to rescue is real? Lin Chen nodded, that's right. The old village chief wants to win people's hearts. How so? He gave me a poison to use on the old drunkard. If my guess is correct, this poison should be unique to Wan the blacksmith. If I poison him, and you rescue him, it will create conflict between the old drunkard and Wang the blacksmith. Shadow Kill was surprised, instigating discord? It seems so. My task has no punishment, and the reward is unknown. And your task has high rewards and high penalties. The old village chief will definitely think I'll help you. Shadow Kill took a deep breath, very surprised. I never expected the old village chief of this novice village to be so cunning. 
Lin Shen smiled, in this game, NPCs are not ordinary AI. What are you going to do? Shadow Kill asked. Fulfill the old village chief's plan, Lin Shen said with a smile. I've said it's a plot. If I kill the old drunkard, I'll harm you. Moreover, it's obvious that the old village chief has more influence in the novice village. If the old drunkard dies, this storyline might end. Shadow Kill sensed something keenly, but he didn't care. If Lin Shen helped him complete this task, he could leave the novice village. As for what Lin Shen planned to do next, it had nothing to do with him. I'll take you to level 10, and then we'll find the old drunkard, Lin Shen sent a team invitation. He was originally planning to brush the wild monsters to increase his health, but he couldn't continue to gain experience points after reaching level 10 without leaving the newbie village. So he decided to help Shadow Kill. With Lin Chen's guidance, Shadow Kill leveled up quickly. In less than half an hour, he had reached level 10. Let's go find the old drunkard. Lin Chen walked towards the direction of the mine, searching for the location of the mine, with a high probability of finding it near the mine. However, after searching around, they couldn't find the old drunkard. Where did this person go? Shadow Kill frowned. Lin Chen also frowned, feeling like someone was watching him. Come out, you've been following us for so long, Lin Chen looked around, confident in his intuition that there must be someone nearby. Shadow Kill was surprised that there were people around them, but he hadn't noticed anyone. Ha, huh, it's really true that talents emerge in every generation. You're so young and already so powerful, a loud laugh came, followed by an old man with a wine gourd stepping forward. Old drunkard, level 12. Health? Attack? Skills? Note, the innkeeper of the newbie village seems to be looking for something near the mine. Maybe you can help with something. If an ordinary player encounters him, they might really receive a quest from the old drunkard. Lin Shen looked at the old drunkard, who also looked at Lin Shen with his bleary eyes. Shu Eddie, you've become quite famous in our newbie village recently, but you're already level 10, why haven't you gone to the main city? Lin Shen smiled, well, it's not that I don't want to go, but the old village chief has given me too much. What? Did the old village chief send you to kill me? Lin Shen raised an eyebrow, it seems you already know, since that's the case, let me see the skills of my seniors. As he spoke, Lin Chen immediately shot an arrow. Swish. The arrow whizzed through the air. The old drunkard squinted his eyes, did a backflip, and easily avoided Lin Chen's arrow. Hey, don't be so hot-tempered, let's talk things over. The old drunkard looked at Lin Chen with a smile. What the old village chief can give you, I may not be unable to give. As he spoke, the old drunkard placed his wine jug in front of Lin Chen. Have a drink, leave the newbie village, and all the grudges here will have nothing to do with you. Ding, the old drunkard has issued a quest to you. Quest requirement, drink a cup of wine and leave the newbie village immediately. Quest penalty, none. Quest reward, plus 50 free attribute points. Lin Chen and Shadow Kill looked at each other, and both saw the shock in each other's eyes. The reason was simple. The reward given by the old drunkard was indeed too generous. From a certain perspective, it even exceeded their imagination. Others need to complete the village chief's quest to leave the newbie village, but they only need to take a sip of wine. Not only that, they could also receive such a generous reward. 50 free attribute points were equivalent to leveling up 10 times. As for your quest penalty, you don't need to worry. After drinking my wine, you will be teleported out of the newbie village. The old village chief won't be able to penalize you for the quest. Lin Shen knew that what the old drunkard said was true. The quest was simple, and the reward was generous. But he hesitated. The reason was simple. If he obtained the quests from those two scrolls, he would receive the blessings of the gods, and even the worst result would probably be better than this. Shadow Kill hesitated slightly and accepted the quest. He had not planned to continue participating. Now that there was such a good opportunity to end things, he had no reason to refuse. After drinking the wine, Shadow Kill left the newbie village. The old drunkard looked at Lin Chen with a smile, what about you? Lin Chen did not answer, but instead drew his bow and shot an arrow. Swish. The arrow whizzed through the air. The old drunk's eyes flashed with a cold light. What did the old village chief give you to make you do this for him? As he spoke, the old drunk spat out a mouthful of strong liquor. The liquor turned into a flying sword in midair and flew in front of Lin Chen in the blink of an eye. Lin Chen's longbow struck the flying sword as he rolled to the side. The sequence of movements was smooth and flawless. At the same time, he drew his bow and shot an arrow. The battle began. Lin Chen knew very little about the old drunk, his attributes, his skills, Lin Chen didn't know any of it. When he completed the mission earlier, Lin Chen received 20 free attribute points, all of which he added to his movement speed. This increased his movement speed by 2 points. His attack speed was already sufficient at this stage. In fact, because his damage was too high, an attack speed of over 3 points couldn't be fully utilized. 
movement speed became an attribute that Lin Chen needed to focus on developing next. As long as his movement speed was sufficient, his ability to pull would be greatly enhanced. Swish, swish, Lin Chen's attacks continued, he didn't blindly pursue damage, but instead strived to prevent the old drunk from dealing damage. However, the old drunk's combat experience was richer than Lin Chen had imagined. He splashed alcohol from his jug and then threw a match. The flames engulfed Lin Chen. Lin Chen couldn't avoid it. Minus 921. Minus 921. Minus 921. The burning damage continued, and Lin Chen felt his scalp tingling, because the flames had burned for a full 8 seconds. Over 7,000 health points disappeared just like that. Lin Chen distanced himself and simultaneously drew his bow to shoot. He wanted to knock the old drunk into the air, only then could he quickly reduce the old drunk's health through continuous attacks. The old drunk noticed Lin Chen's intention and used his jug to intercept Lin Chen's arrows, then unexpectedly threw the jug towards Lin Chen. Lin Chen was startled and immediately dodged. He had already distanced himself as much as possible, but his movement speed was still not enough. The jug exploded 5 meters in front of him. Boom! There was a loud noise. Lin Chen was blasted away by the huge impact of the exploding jug. Minus 8520. A huge damage number appeared above Lin Chen's head, and his health bar suddenly dropped. Before Lin Chen could land, the old drunk appeared as a shadow under him. Bang! The old drunk's fist struck Lin Chen's stomach from below, sending him flying into the air. Minus 1029. Because he was knocked into the air, Lin Chen couldn't attack, but he didn't just sit and wait for death. He instantly switched to his main weapon, and the complete black iron tray ant set appeared on him. The old drunk didn't stop because Lin Chen switched weapons. He leaped up and actually jumped to the same height as Lin Chen. Then, he unleashed a rapid combination of punches on Lin Chen. Minus 915. Minus 899. Minus 932. A series of damage numbers appeared above Lin Chen's head. Just as Lin Chen was about to land, the old drunk grabbed Lin Chen's collar and slammed him to the ground. Bang! The ground cracked. Minus 1858. Another huge damage number appeared. Under this series of damage, Lin Chen's health dropped by a third. At this moment, he rolled to the side like a donkey. He had been in the newbie village for so long, but this was the first time he had been in such a sorry state. Swish! As he rolled, he switched weapons, and the moment he landed, he shot an arrow. The old drunk's combat skills were not simple, and his skill releases were also very precise. If not taken seriously, he could really be at risk. With this in mind, Lin Chen's feather arrows broke through the air again. Swish! Swish swish swish! The feather arrows continued to fly out, each arrow's angle was extremely cunning. Each of his arrows was aimed at the old drunk's eyes. The old drunk naturally noticed and, at some point, had a jug in his hand, constantly blocking Lin Chen's arrows. Just hiding, are you? Lin Chen's eyes narrowed slightly as he pulled the bowstring with his fingers. Two energy feather arrows appeared on the longbow. Swish! The twin arrows shot out together. This is also a kind of combat skill. It's easy to lose accuracy with twin arrow shots, but that doesn't phase Lin Chen. With his superb archery skills, Lin Chen's attacks became sharper and more precise. The advantage of twin arrow shots is not to increase the hit rate, but to prevent opponents from simply blocking the feather arrows. As long as Lin Chen is given an opportunity, he can perform aerial combos. Now's the time. The old drunkard was accidentally hit by Lin Chen's feather arrow, causing him to lose his balance. Lin Chen seized this fleeting opportunity, twisted the bowstring, and the tremendous impact made the old drunkard briefly float in the air. Then, he continued to float. The old drunkard's attempt to come down seemed unlikely. However, Lin Chen underestimated the old drunkard's resilience. Seizing the brief gap in Lin Chen's attack, the old drunkard took a swig of strong liquor. Soon, a scent of alcohol filled the air. Ding, you have been affected by alcohol, reducing reaction speed by 20% and attack speed by 20%. Lin Chen frowned, but his attacks continued. This impact was not enough to disrupt his aerial rhythm. It's my turn. The old drunkard threw his gourd again. With the experience of being blown away before, Lin Chen was not going to fall for the same trick again. Swish. The feather arrow hit the gourd, knocking it open. Bang. A loud noise, a powerful impact made Lin Chen stagger, but it didn't cause much damage. Seizing this opportunity, the old drunkard landed on the ground and tapped the gourd. A large snake emerged from the gourd. The snake was entirely blue and charged towards Lin Chen. Blue Flower Python, Black Iron Level 10. HP, 125980-125980. Attack, 412. 
Skills, Entangle, Poison Arrow, Dragon Tail, Poison Mist, Red Eye Beam. Lin Chen's expression changed slightly. He was surprised to find such a formidable creature inside the old drunkard's gourd. Despite his surprise, Lin Chen did not slacken his attack and shot towards the blue flower python. Minus 1321. Lin Chen's damage was increasing, but the blue flower python was not to be underestimated. It immediately used the red eye beam. Lin Chen rolled to dodge, but the red eye beam followed closely behind. Due to insufficient movement speed, Lin Chen was eventually hit by the red eye beam. Minus 1528. Lin Chen frowned and immediately retaliated. However, his feather arrows were still in the air, and the blue flower python opened its mouth and roared at him. At the same time, poison mist sprayed from its mouth. It was impossible for Lin Chen to evade this widespread poison mist attack. Minus 426. Minus 426. Minus 426. Lin Chen began to continuously lose health in the poison mist, and the rate of loss was unbearable. Without a priest and lacking any detoxification skills, Lin Chen could only endure it. Swish. Lin Chen began to counterattack frantically, unleashing a torrent of feather arrows. Each arrow was aimed at the vital points of the blue flower python. But in the next moment, Lin Chen felt a crisis and dared not stay still, rolling away. Just as he rolled away, the old drunkard appeared in his previous position. Seeing that Lin Chen had evaded his attack, the old drunkard was not too surprised. He smashed his gourd towards Lin Chen's head. Lin Chen had no chance to counterattack and could only stagger to avoid their attacks. Boom! A loud noise. The gourd smashed a large pit in the ground. After avoiding the old drunkard's attack, the blue flower python's dragon tail had already arrived. Bang! Minus 1352. Lin Chen was sent flying by the huge snake tail, losing over a thousand health points again. As soon as he landed, Lin Chen's feather arrows flew out again. It was still a twin arrow shot, but this time the difficulty was even greater. Because Lin Chen had to simultaneously attack the rapidly moving blue python and the old drunkard. Both are bosses, and their damage values are extremely impressive. As he watched his own decreasing health, Lin Chen's gaze became sharp. The pure eyes were fully activated, allowing him to see everything around him in great detail. Swish! The feathered arrows pierced through the air. Lin Chen's simultaneous release of two arrows was equally astonishing in accuracy. Each arrow carried an unparalleled might. Although the impact was not as strong as the twisting string arrow technique, the attack frequency was faster. The advantage of the twisting string arrow technique lies in its high damage, stronger impact, and penetration. Simultaneous arrow release, and even more arrows being shot together, had the advantage of hitting multiple targets but would reduce the damage. However, when combined with the rapid fire arrow technique, the effect would be completely different. The rapid fire arrow technique refers to continuously attacking the same target, and it is the simplest form of archery. But when combined with the simultaneous arrow release, the effect would be completely different. A person relying on feathered arrows to simultaneously suppress two bosses would surely leave others in awe. But Lin Chen was as comfortable as a fish in water. He had suffered a bit from not understanding the old drunkard's skills before. But now, the old drunkard's tricks were completely ineffective in front of Lin Chen. As long as he made any move to release those skills, Lin Chen's feathered arrows would accurately interrupt them. The next step was a gamble, betting that the old drunkard did not have the skills of domination and frenzy. As long as he lacked these skills, Lin Chen could use this absolute suppression to wear down the old drunkard and the blue python. The old drunkard also saw through Lin Chen's intentions and even maneuvered behind the blue python, attempting to use it to disrupt Lin Chen's attack rhythm. As long as he had the opportunity to release his skills, he was confident in killing Lin Chen in the following attacks. But how could Lin Chen give him that chance? The twisting string arrow technique combined with the rapid fire arrow technique was executed. In addition to its high attack and strong penetration, the twisting string arrow technique had a very important advantage, it could bend. Swish. The old drunkard hiding behind the blue python was hit by Lin Chen's arrow. His face was full of disbelief. Lin Chen's attack had already exceeded his imagination. The blue python swayed its body and charged towards Lin Chen. He knew it was trying to use its entanglement skill. If he was controlled by the blue python's entanglement, the following battle would be predictable. Therefore, Lin Chen would not give the blue python a chance. It was still the rapid fire arrow technique, but this time Lin Chen's target was the eyes of the blue python and the old drunkard. This kind of targeted attack required extremely high precision for an archer. And with Lin Chen using simultaneous arrow release and the rapid fire arrow technique, the requirement was even higher. Without the pure eyes, this would have been somewhat difficult for Lin Chen. But now, relying on the pure eyes, it was much easier for him to achieve this. 
Simultaneous arrow release, targeting the two eyes of the blue python, followed by the twisting string arrow technique, allowed his attack to reach an unbelievable level. The old drunkard's plan to attack from behind the blue python was completely suppressed by Lin Chen's continuous attacks. Is this still a human? The old drunkard's expression turned dark. He patted his waist, and a talisman appeared in his hand. Lin Chen was surprised that an NPC had such an item at this stage. Almost instantly, Lin Chen's feathered arrows flew towards the talisman in the old drunkard's hand. But the old drunkard had already activated the talisman, and a golden light spread out. Both the old drunkard and the blue python were covered in a golden glow. Lin Chen's feathered arrows hit the old drunkard. Minus 1420. When this damage number appeared, the old drunkard was dumbfounded. How could this be? Your attack is real damage. The talisman he had just used could greatly increase his defense. But the fact that Lin Chen's attack still caused such an outrageous amount of damage indicated that it was real damage. Lin Chen was originally worried whether the talisman was for attack or restraint. It turned out to be for defense. This had little impact on him. Under Lin Chen's complete suppression, the blood volume of the old drunkard and the blue snake quickly dropped to 10%. The old drunkard looked like he was ready to fight back, but at that moment, Lin Chen stopped. Senior, I don't want to kill you. How about we make a deal? Lin Chen smiled. The old drunkard looked at him suspiciously. Just for 50 free attribute points? You don't even do the tasks of the old village chief. Lin Chen nodded and said, I also think the old village chief is not worthy. The position of the village chief should belong to Wang the blacksmith. But as an adventurer, I need to consider myself, so I only need 50 free attribute points to let you go. After a moment of silence, the old drunkard agreed. Lin Chen accepted the task and didn't kill the old drunkard, at least for now. He still had the old village chief's task to consider, but maybe there would be better options later. In addition, Lin Chen had another consideration. He wanted the old village chief and Wang the blacksmith to both suffer. The old drunkard was obviously a strong supporter of Wang the blacksmith. If he was killed, the already weak Wang the blacksmith would be even more passive. It would be difficult to achieve the situation he wanted, where both sides suffered. By taking 50 free attribute points, he wouldn't disrupt the balance between Wang the blacksmith and the old village chief, allowing them to continue their struggle. After sending away the old drunkard, Lin Chen gained 50 free attribute points. He opened the attribute page. Nickname, Snow Emperor. Level, 10, 0 slash 133100. Occupation, Archer. HP, 71450 slash 71450. MP, 100 slash 100. Attack, 309. Magic Power, 58. Armor, 368. Magic Resistance, 295. Attack Speed, 3. 63. Movement Speed, 5. 7. Physical Penetration, 0%. Magic Penetration, 0%. Special Attributes, 15% Critical Strike, 10% Counter Damage. Free Attributes, 50. Luck, Hidden. Talent, Hand of Divine Punishment, Super God Level. Skills, Rapid Fire, 2 Stars, Basic Attack Amplification, 3 Stars, Lightning Leap, 2 Stars, Revival, 3 Stars, Invincible Golden Body, 1 Star. Equipment, Thundering Bow, Silver, Tray and Set, Black Iron, Eye of Purity, Special. As a level 10 player, Lin Chen's attributes could definitely be described as abnormal. Especially his skills, apart from the basic rapid fire skill, the other skills he currently possessed were all very powerful at this stage. And because Lin Chen had chosen them carefully, the help they provided him was very obvious. Not only that, he now had 50 free attribute points. He could choose to increase attack speed or movement speed. The time spent traveling in the beginner's village was not much, but after reaching the main city, Traveling sometimes wasted a lot of time, especially during periods without amount to help. Moreover, with faster movement speed, he could be more formidable in attack and maneuvering. After a brief thought, Lin Chen did not rush to use the points, but instead saved them to allocate based on future battles. In the next period of time, let the plot develop, and he needed to improve his health as much as possible before Wang the blacksmith finished making the golden longbow. Not only that, there was also the skill of revival to consider. Lin Chen can also obtain more skill books through the upcoming battles. Players have been leaving one after another, and the newbie village 10086 is now somewhat deserted. Subsequent players will fill the vacancies in the newbie village, but the situation at newbie village 10086 is quite awkward. Most of the new players who fill the vacancies are in relatively advanced newbie villages. Therefore, even in the level 10 twisted jungle instance, Lin Chen only sees two or three scattered teams. Brother, want to team up? 
We have a super strong shield warrior with an elite level tree man set here, definitely able to clear the instance. Lin Chen smiled and said, no, thanks. With that, he walked straight into the instance. Instance difficulty, hell level. He had already cleared this instance several times before, so now it was like a fish in water for Lin Chen. The main purpose of clearing this instance was to increase his health points and to collect skill books. Because the skill withered wood in spring requires sacrificing skill books to upgrade. Although the rewards for clearing the instance now are far less than the first time, it still has four bosses after all. In the blink of an eye, five hours had passed. Lin Chen's health points had increased from the original 70,000 to over 100,000. In five hours, he had increased his health points by 30,000. This increase was quite terrifying. In addition to the increase in health points, Lin Chen's withered wood in spring had also been upgraded from two stars to three stars. However, to upgrade from three stars to four stars, he would need to sacrifice a thousand skill books, which would be quite a challenge even at Lin Chen's monster clearing speed. Not only that, with his health points surpassing a hundred thousand, his revival skill had also been upgraded to four stars. Originally restoring 50 health points per second, it now directly restored 500 health points per second. With this recovery speed, ordinary players standing still probably wouldn't be able to deplete Lin Chen's health points. Back at the newbie village, the blacksmith Wang had not finished forging the golden level longbow. Lin Chen chose to log off and have a meal. It seems that when my sister recovers, I'll have to buy a nutrition warehouse. Lin Chen thought to himself, although the time spent offline for meals wasn't long, it was still a kind of influence. How, following your strategy, I obtained a very powerful silver level greatsword, Lin Chen smiled, knowing that how it achieved the level of a silver level weapon with his three passive skills, which was completely within Lin Chen's expectations. Next, you can head to the main city, Lin Chen said, the most suitable main city for a warrior's development should be Black Wind City. But fatty, remember, after heading to the main city, don't change jobs easily, even if it's a hidden profession, it's best to ask me first. Okay. After briefly explaining to Hao, Lin Chen quickly finished his meal. After the meal, he re-entered the game. Upon returning to the newbie village, Lin Chen headed straight to the blacksmith's shop. When the blacksmith Wang saw Lin Chen's arrival, a meaningful smile appeared on his face. The old drunkard told me about your situation, the blacksmith Wang said, startling Lin Chen with his first words. Since you already know, I won't hide it from you. I want to kill the old village chief. Are you willing to help me? I am, Lin Chen smiled. The blacksmith Wang nodded, in that case, you can head to the cliff to the south. The old drunkard will take you to the secret base of the old village chief, and you can help him kill the guards there. Ding, the blacksmith Wang has issued a task to you. Task requirement, kill the guards of the old village chief in the secret base. Task penalty, unknown. Task reward, unknown. Lin Chen frowned, the fact that the task penalty was unknown was quite troublesome. Was it possible that the blacksmith Wang would retaliate if the task failed? There was a real possibility. Accept the task. After a brief hesitation, Lin Chen accepted the task. The plot task had already reached this point, and he had no reason to stop now. The blacksmith Wang smiled satisfactorily and took out a golden longbow from the shop. Your golden level longbow, I have already finished it for you. Nine union longbow, gold tier. Wearing requirement, none. Effect 1, attack plus 500. Effect 2, attack speed plus 1. Effect 3, critical hit plus 20%. Effect 4, life steal plus 5%. Effect 5, HP plus 2000. Effect 6, restore 100 HP per second. Durability, 100. Lin Chan's eyes lit up. It is indeed a custom-made longbow. These attributes are highly compatible with him. The increase in attack power and HP is somewhat redundant, but the other four attributes are almost perfect. Thank you. Lin Chen took the nine union longbow. The old drunkard is waiting for you at the cliff to the south. Go quickly. Lin Chen nodded. With this gold tier longbow, his combat power has undoubtedly reached a new level. South of the newbie village, at the cliff. The cliff here is unfathomably deep. In the previous life, some players believed that there might be opportunities below the cliff. They wanted to jump off the cliff to seek opportunities, but the result was often fatal. After some attempts, they eventually gave up on this futile approach. When Lin Chen arrived at the cliff, he saw a familiar figure. It wasn't the old drunkard. It was the old village chief. At the sight of the old village chief, Lin Chen felt a sudden jolt in his heart. Xu Wedi? The old village chief was slightly surprised to see Lin Chen here. Obviously, he did not expect Lin Chen to appear here. Lin Chen forced himself to remain calm. Old village chief, I heard that you fought with the old drunkard, and he escaped. 
Lin Chen nodded, I'm ashamed to say that the blue snake released by the old drunkard disrupted my attack rhythm. The old village chief nodded, that was my negligence. I originally thought that you could successfully poison it, and the blue snake wouldn't be released. I see. Lin Chen nodded and took the initiative to ask, why are you here, old village chief? Is there anything I can help you with? The old village chief actually wanted to ask Lin Chen why he was here, but being asked by Lin Chen caught him off guard. There is an extremely powerful monster sealed beneath our newbie village, and I am responsible for guarding it. Recently, I have sensed a force stirring, trying to break the seal of that monster, so I came specifically to take a look. Lin Chen pretended to be surprised, is that so? Alas, it's a long story. In order to seal this monster, countless predecessors paid the price of their lives. But now, there are people who want to release it. Lin Chen nodded, I see. Those who want to release this monster are simply ambitious and should be severely punished. The old village chief nodded and said, Yes. Xu Edi, I have great confidence in you. If my speculation is correct, those thieves should be looking for the ice flame demon mine. The old village chief looked very serious. Once they find the ice flame demon mine, the consequences will be unimaginable. If you are willing to help me, please go to the mine and stop the old drunkard from finding the ice flame demon mine. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow, all right, I will do my best. With that, he turned and headed towards the direction of the mine. The old drunkard was not here. Why? Because the old village chief was here, so he hid. Or, was this all a calculated move from the beginning? Wang the blacksmith didn't fully trust him. Sending him here was to lure the old drunkard away and give him the opportunity to find the ice flame demon mine. Thinking about this, it was truly terrifying. Lin Shen could only hope that he was overthinking it, otherwise, his current situation would not be optimistic. The old village chief was suspicious of him. He originally thought that by letting the old drunkard go, he would gain Wang the blacksmith's trust. Even the subsequent contact with Wang the blacksmith made Lin Shen feel that Wang the blacksmith should have some trust in him. But if today, his encounter with the old village chief was really a calculated move by Wang the blacksmith, then it would be truly terrifying. Before reaching the mine, the old drunkard suddenly appeared. Shu Edi. The old drunkard looked at Lin Chen, I was waiting for you at the cliff. But the old village chief suddenly arrived, so I had to hide, Lin Chen breathed a sigh of relief. What do we do next? Find the ice flame demon mine, the old drunkard said seriously. There are three ice flame demon mines in the newbie village, but the first one is missing. There are two more, they should be nearby, Lin Chen nodded. This ice flame demon mine would reward a platinum level necklace. It was impossible for Lin Chen not to be tempted. But giving up everything he had planned for a platinum level necklace was not what he wanted. Lin Chen and the old drunkard started searching here. Judging from the current situation, there was probably a hidden instance in the mine. However, Lin Chen didn't know how to activate this hidden instance from his memory. But there must be a way. For example, he could try to find clues from the stone beetle king. After all, the monsters in the mine were stone beetles. Thinking of this, Lin Chen started to hunt the stone beetles. He could only increase his health points and not gain experience points, which he was used to. Leveling up was an easy task for him. He wanted to maximize the value of the newbie village and also increase his health points as much as possible. Ding, due to your large number of stone beetle kills, you have alerted the stone beetle king hidden deep in the mine, and it will arrive at the battlefield in 5 minutes. Lin Chen felt a bit excited. This ice flame demon mine was probably related to the stone beetle king. 5 minutes later. A giant, dark red shelled stone beetle king, black iron, level 8, with 81520-81520 health points and an attack of 215, approached him. Skills, rockfall, stone shield, terrifying roar, stone ballistic, petrified skin. Lin Chen only glanced at the stone beetle's attributes and then began a storm of attacks. Critical hit. Minus 4918. Lin Chen's first arrow dealt critical damage, which was exceptionally high. Moreover, with the Nine Union Longbow's blessing, his attack speed reached 4. 63, dealing 20,000 damage per second. The Stone Beetle King only had a little over 80,000 health points and couldn't withstand the attack for even 5 seconds before being killed. Ding, you have killed the Stone Beetle King, experience points plus 859, but as you have not left the newbie village, you cannot gain experience points. Lin Shen didn't mind and looted the corpse directly. Ding, you have obtained 3 pieces of equipment. Ding, you have obtained a skill book. Ding, you have obtained the Stone Beetle King's I plus 1. Ding, you have obtained 1 gold coin. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow as he looked at the Stone Beetle King's eye, suddenly thinking of a place that seemed to match this eye perfectly. Deep in the mine, Lin Chen arrived in front of a stone wall, where there was an inconspicuous groove in the corner. 
Upon closer inspection, it matched the stone beetle king's eye perfectly. Lin Chen placed the stone beetle king's eye on it, and the stone wall immediately began to rotate, forming a hidden instance portal. Ding, you have opened the hidden instance, lost princess. Ding, you have opened the hidden instance, a server-wide announcement will be made, do you want to hide your name? Hide. With these matters in the newbie village still unsettled, Lin Chen had to consider the thoughts of the old village chief and the others. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player hiding the name for opening the hidden instance lost princess, free attribute points plus 5, hoping all players will continue to work hard. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow and entered the portal. The options for the instance appeared in front of him. Hell level. Without any hesitation, Lin Chen chose the hell level as usual. This difficulty is almost impossible for most ordinary players to complete. Enter the instance. Lin Chen is still deep in the mine. The mine is dim, and Lin Chen sees one small zombie after another appearing in front of him. Damn it! There are undead creatures in the newbie village. Undead creatures usually appear more in the mid-game, and in the early stages, undead creatures occasionally appear, but they are relatively high-level instances. Small Zombie, Elite Level 8. HP, 10800-10800. Attack, 95. Skills, Charge, Tough Skin, Bite. The attributes are not weak. Lin Chen acts without hesitation. The tough skin of the small zombie is just a decoration for Lin Chen. After all, his damage is real. Minus 2250. A huge damage number appears. This is without a critical hit. Enough to describe it as terrifying. With Lin Chen's high output, the small zombies are killed by Lin Chen before they can get close. More and more small zombies appear, but Lin Chen is still pulling and fighting. As long as the damage is sufficient, these small zombies are just decorations. Lin Chen passed the first level without any pressure. In the next second level, in addition to small zombies, there are also some green-haired zombies, whose attributes have been greatly improved. But they still cannot stop Lin Chen's progress. In the third level, Lin Chen finally arrived here, which is like a twisted jungle. There are four black iron level bosses here. Purple-haired zombie, black iron level 8. HP, 158200-158200. Attack, 512. Skills, charge, tough skin, bite, spin kill, corpse gas. Lin Chen frowned slightly. The HP of this purple-haired zombie is okay, but its other attributes and skills are quite ordinary. Just as Lin Chen was thinking this, the four purple-haired zombies simultaneously released the corpse gas. A large amount of corpse gas gathered towards Lin Chen. Ding, you are affected by the corpse gas, your body begins to stiffen, movement speed reduced by 50%, attack speed reduced by 50%. At the same time, damage numbers appeared above Lin Chen's head. Minus 299. Minus 299. This damage number appeared very frequently, 4 times per second. This caused Lin Chen's HP to decrease by 1200 every second. Even with healing, Lin Chen's HP was still decreasing at a rate of several hundred per second. Swish. Lin Chen took action, he was not someone who would just sit and wait for death. Bang. An arrow hit the head. Critical hit. Minus 4548. His feather arrow had just been released, and the four zombies had already taken action. All charging straight at him. Lin Chen instinctively wanted to dodge. Unfortunately, with a 50% reduction in movement speed, he was already powerless to dodge the charging zombies. Bang! Minus 1280. Minus 1283. Damage numbers appeared above Lin Chen's head. After waiting for the skills to end, Lin Chen began to counterattack frantically. Every time, Lin Chen's attacks were critical hits. With 5% lifesteal, Lin Chen could recover over 400 HP every second. In addition to the recovery from Resurgence, Trey Anset, and Ninefold Longbow, Lin Chen's HP recovery per second had reached over 1100. Resurgence 500, Incomplete Trey Anset 130, Ninefold Longbow 100, Lifesteal over 400. This kind of healing was quite terrifying. Even when facing the attacks of four Black Iron bosses at the same time, he could barely hold the situation. A smile appeared on Lin Chen's face. As long as he could hold the situation, the next battle would be much easier. But the attacks of the purple-haired zombies made Lin Chen's face change suddenly. Because the purple-haired zombies launched a bite. Although he tried to dodge desperately and used feather arrows to interrupt their attacks, with both movement speed and attack speed severely impaired, he could only control two purple-haired zombies at most at the same time. He couldn't handle everything. The result was being bitten by the purple-haired zombies. Minus 1958. Minus 299. Minus 299. Lin Chen became somewhat withdrawn, and the tearing bite also caused poisoning, 
which could stack with the toxic effect of the corpse gas. Now, a double poisoning buff was affecting him, causing his health to decrease even faster. There was no other way, Lin Chen could only fight quickly. Finally, the first purple-haired zombie fell. Lin Chen breathed a sigh of relief because with the death of a purple-haired zombie, the level of corpse gas would decrease, and the damage he suffered per second would also decrease. Next came the second, then the third. When the last purple-haired zombie fell, Lin Chen finally sat down. Damn it! Without detoxification skills, without the ability to remove negative buffs, this was a real problem. This was where the importance of a priest came into play. Even if Lin Chen had an ordinary priest by his side to help detoxify and remove negative buffs, this battle would have been much easier. This was only a black iron level boss. If he were to face those world bosses later, the pressure would be even greater. When his health was restored to full, Lin Chen locked his gaze ahead. The layout here was very similar to the twisted jungle, so in the final stage, there should be a bronze level boss. Entering the final stage, Lin Chen immediately looked over. In front of this stage, there were two crystal coffins. Inside the crystal coffin on the left lay a mummy, while the one on the right was empty. Lin Chen frowned. Swish. In the next moment, Lin Chen turned around and shot an arrow. A fierce-looking zombie appeared behind him, its claws less than a centimeter away from him. Fortunately, Lin Chen's arrow technique was quick, and the huge impact force carried by the arrow sent the zombie flying. At the same time, Lin Chen continued to increase the distance and shoot arrows. He also began to examine the attributes of this zombie. Ice Flame Corpse King, Bronze Level 10. Health 1091320 slash 1100000. Attack 1560. Skills Charge, Ice and Fire, Freezing Spell, Flame Incineration, Shadow of the Corpse, Ice and Fire Wheel. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow and did not hesitate, continuing to attack. The Ice Flame Corpse King was very fast. Lin Chen's arrows had just been shot, and it had already moved away from its original position. Moreover, as a zombie, the Ice Flame Corpse King's reaction speed was much faster than Lin Chen had imagined. Its agility also exceeded Lin Chen's expectations. However, this was not enough to leave Lin Chen helpless. Now that his attack speed was not affected, four arrows per second were enough to block all the Ice Flame Corpse King's movements. Moreover, Lin Chen's attacks were very precise, making it impossible for the Ice Flame Corpse King to avoid them. The Ice Flame Corpse King knew that it was impossible to avoid Lin Chen's attacks and simply stopped dodging. After taking a hit, it rushed towards Lin Chen at extreme speed. At the same time, it raised its hand, and a ball of fire appeared in its palm. Immediately after, something extremely unexpected happened to Lin Chen. As the Ice Flame Corpse King raised its hand, fire also appeared on its body. Ding, you are affected by flame burn and will continue to lose health. Minus 915. Minus 915. Lin Chen felt his scalp tingle. This locking skill directly caused continuous health loss, making him feel a lot of pressure. Especially since the opponent was a bronze boss, all its attributes were quite impressive. Swish. Lin Chen had no way to remove the burn, so he can only increase his output and try to kill the Ice Flame Corpse King in the shortest time possible. The Ice Flame Corpse King was too agile, Lin Chen's four arrows could only hit two, or even just one. And because it was difficult to target its weak points, the probability of a critical hit was also greatly reduced. After dodging Lin Chen's arrows, the Ice Flame Corpse King raised both hands. Lin Chen's expression changed. Ding, you are affected by ice and fire, and will continue to lose health. Minus 1598. Minus 1598. Lin Chen? What kind of monster is this? With all sorts of negative effects, it's simply inhumane. Two lock skills, both causing continuous damage, leaving him with no room for maneuver. At this rate, it's going to be very difficult to clear the instance. Lin Chen's expression wasn't too good. His attributes were already abnormal, and if he couldn't clear this, Lin Chen wouldn't be able to accept it. Thinking of this, Lin Chen's feather arrow attacks became more cunning. Anticipating the movement. This is the basic skill of an archer, but the gap between the ceiling and ordinary players is very obvious. Under Lin Chen's focused anticipation attack, the Ice Flame Corpse King finally couldn't hold on. It's now. Lin Chen seized a fleeting opportunity to send the Ice Flame Corpse King flying. Then came a continuous aerial combo, dealing high damage. You have no chance now. Lin Chen's eyes were extremely serious, he wouldn't allow himself to fail. In a completely focused state, the outcome was already determined. The reason being, Lin Chen captured every detail of the Ice Flame Corpse King. Lin Chen had eliminated any possibility of the Ice Flame Corpse King landing. Even while ensuring the Ice Flame Corpse King remained airborne, Lin Chen also interrupted its skill release. It could be said that he had stretched the attack to the extreme. Ding, 
You have killed the Ice Flame Corpse King, experience plus 10,850, as you have not left the newbie village, you cannot obtain experience points. Ding, you have completed the first clear of the Lost Princess, a global announcement is about to be made, do you want to hide your name? Hide. Ding, congratulations to the player who hid their name for completing the first clear of the Lost Princess, hereby announcing, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. Ding, congratulations to the player who hid their name for completing the first clear of the Lost Princess, hereby announcing, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. The Lost Princess. Hidden instance in the new B village. At this stage, most of the first batch of players to enter the game have already gone to the main city. Therefore, this level 8 instance did not attract much attention. No one would think that such a small level 8 instance could yield anything good. Stone Peak City. Galen opened his friend list. He had been keeping an eye on Lin Chen. It had been quite some time since he reached level 10. With Lin Chen's abilities, he shouldn't have taken this long to level up. So the most likely explanation was, Lin Chen hadn't left the newbie village at all. He really wanted to ask Lin Chen what was going on, but in the end, he didn't. Not only that, other clubs that were paying attention to Lin Chen also noticed this issue. Lin Chen was still in the newbie village. Could it be because of something offline? Delaying game progress? It's a pity, good talent, but after delaying for so long, even if he wants to catch up later, he will only be a mid-level player. Seeing the information about Lin Chen reported by his subordinates, Dream of Snow shook her head with some disappointment. Level 10, not leaving the newbie village, most likely delayed by something offline. Not only Dream of Snow, but most clubs paying attention to Lin Chen thought the same way. After all, Lin Chen's talent and attributes were there, and the current situation couldn't be explained if it wasn't because of something offline. They didn't know that Lin Chen wasn't delayed by something offline, he was currently undertaking a terrifying plot quest. If this plot quest was completed, it would change the situation in the newbie village. Ding, first clear instance rewards being settled. Ding, you have obtained 31 skill books. Ding, you have obtained 42 pieces of equipment. Ding, you have obtained plus 120 gold coins. Ding, you have obtained plus 20 free attribute points. Ding, you have obtained one ice fire magic ore. Sure enough, a smile appeared on Lin Chen's face. The second ice fire magic ore was finally in his hands. Just as Lin Chen was checking the rewards, ahead of him, the ice attribute power began to peel off from the body of the ice flame corpse king. Finally, the power of the ice attribute actually landed on the mummy in the crystal coffin. When the mummy in the crystal coffin received the power of the ice attribute, its body began to recover quickly. Lin Chen frowned, could there be a hidden boss in this hidden instance? Hidden boss refers to a new boss that appears after clearing the instance due to certain special reasons. In this situation, he could choose to leave the instance directly, after all, he had already received the rewards for clearing the instance. But Lin Chen was also bold and skilled, he wanted to see what this hidden boss was. Bang! With a loud noise, the crystal coffin exploded, and a fair-skinned, delicate-faced woman with long silver-white hair appeared in front of him. Lin Chen's gaze fell on the woman. Princess Leona? HP? Attack? Skills? Lin Chen's expression changed, this person was all question marks. Moreover, in the Twilight of the Gods, titles like Princess, Prince, and General were generally not easy to provoke. Adventurer, did you save me? Lin Chen nodded subconsciously, sort of. Hearing this, Princess Leona remained calm, she looked at Lin Chen for a moment and said, You saved me, I can give you two things, but you can only choose one to take with you. Lin Chen's eyes lit up. Was this triggering a hidden reward? The first thing is that you can become a Viscount of our Star Kingdom and get a piece of land of your own. Lin Chen took a deep breath. The heart of a lord? In the early stages of the game, it was almost impossible to obtain something like the heart of a lord. Moreover, Princess Leona also mentioned the title of Viscount, which meant nobility. Having a noble status in the kingdom would bring him many benefits. But Lin Chen suppressed his excitement and asked, What's the second thing? Leona took out a light blue jade pendant. This is an equipment passed down from the era of the god's fall, which can give the wearer an 80% immunity to control effects. Lin Chen's eyes lit up. An 80% immunity to control effects was already very powerful. What is your choice? Lin Chen hesitated for a moment and chose the Jade Pendant. I want the Jade Pendant. Based on his past life experience, it wouldn't be difficult for him to obtain the heart of a lord and establish a territory. Viscount was also the second lowest rank among the nobles. Not only that, the Star Kingdom was still good in the early stages of the game, but in the later stages, it would be somewhat lacking. But this Jade Pendant was amazing. An 80% immunity to control effects, no matter at what stage, this effect was very powerful. Princess Leona looked at Lin Chen with some surprise, 
as if she hadn't expected Lin Chen to choose an equipment. So, the Viscount and the territory of our kingdom are not as good as an equipment? Lin Chen shook his head, it's not that being a Viscount is not good, nor that the territory is not good, and it's not that your star kingdom is not good. It's just that everyone has their own preferences. Princess Leona smiled helplessly and gave the jade pendant to Lin Chen. Purification jade pendant, special equipment. Requirements for wearing, can be worn by the active transferer, cannot be dropped, cannot be taken, cannot be worn by others without active gifting. Effect, 80% immunity to control, knockback, slow, curse, poison, burn, freeze, paralysis, and other negative buffs. Durability, 100. A satisfied smile appeared on Lin Chen's face. This effect was quite powerful. Even during a major disaster, this attribute could be described as explosive. Wearing the purification jade pendant, Lin Chen felt much better. This was truly an unexpected joy. Next was to check the equipment and skills. Unfortunately, he didn't have any equipment or skills to wear. The only useful things were the free attribute points and the ice flame magic ore. However, according to the old drunkard's idea, there should be two more ice flame demon ores here, but only one has appeared now. That means there is still one left. Leaving the instance, Lin Chen entered the instance again. But this time, something unexpected happened to Lin Chen. The instance surprisingly did not have a hell level difficulty. Because I rescued Princess Leona, the hell level difficulty disappeared? Without thinking much, Lin Chen chose the nightmare level difficulty instance. In less than 20 minutes, Lin Chen cleared the lost princess instance at nightmare level. However, the ice flame demon or did not appear. Could it be that I was wrong from the beginning? There is only one ice flame demon or here. Lin Chen thought to himself. No, the old drunkard had no reason to lie to him about this. Could it be that there are two hidden instances in this mine? The probability of this is very low. Since it's not two hidden instances, there is another possibility. Drop rate. The ice flame demon or may be here, but due to the drop rate, it did not drop when he cleared the instance at the first difficulty level. Thinking of this, Lin Chen entered the lost princess instance again. The battles he needed to participate in next were quite stressful. Even if he didn't find the last ice flame demon or here, he could consider it as grinding for health points. This grind was repeated five times. It has to be said that Lin Chen's judgment was correct. On his fifth attempt, he finally saw in the clearance rewards, ding, you obtain ice flame demon or plus one. Lin Chen's face showed a satisfied smile. Now he had all three ice flame demon ores from the newbie village in his hands. Whether he could break the seal next would depend on him. Moreover, because of the continuous grind in the Lost Princess instance, Lin Chen's health points had already exceeded 120,000. Coupled with the Nine Union Longbow, his combat power had also increased significantly. Coming out of the mine, Lin Chen did not go to find the old drunkard or Wang the blacksmith. He went straight to the cliff. As Lin Chen expected, the old village chief was still there. It seemed that he knew the next battlefield would be here, so he personally guarded this place. Snow Emperor, why are you here again? Lin Chen did not answer this question, but directly took out an ice flame demon or. Seeing the ice flame demon or in Lin Chen's hand, the old village chief, who had been calm, suddenly changed his expression. He showed a smile to Lin Chen and said, Snow Emperor, you found the ice flame demon or, this is really great. Old village chief, what exactly is this ice flame demon or? Both you and Wang the blacksmith are looking for it. Hearing this, the old village chief smiled, this is a very important or, it is very useful for us. Snow Emperor, give it to me, and I will give you an unexpected benefit. Lin Chen narrowed his eyes, this unexpected benefit from the old village chief made him hesitate. Specifically? Lin Chen looked at the old village chief. The old village chief's face darkened slightly. He could see that Lin Chen wanted to negotiate with him. A gold level ring. Lin Chen shook his head. I heard that Wang the blacksmith's offer is a platinum level necklace. The old village chief's face darkened, he is a blacksmith, and his equipment is indeed not as good as his but if you are willing to give me this ice flame or, I can give you a sacred level talent awakening stone, almost all talents can be awakened by the sacred level talent awakening stone. Lin Chen pondered for a moment. He didn't need the sacred level talent awakening stone, but Zhou Zhou and Monkey both had sacred level talents. Giving them this awakening stone would allow them to awaken their talents as soon as possible and become stronger. Not enough, two pieces. Lin Chen now had the initiative and naturally could not give up like this. Snow Emperor, I only have one, and this is the best thing you can get in the newbie village. Lin Chen remained non-committal, then two gold level rings. The old village chief's face darkened. Lin Chen's price had already made him somewhat angry. Shuedi, if the ice flame demon or falls into the hands of Wang the blacksmith, the newbie village will be in ruins, 
and it will be a disaster for you adventurers as well. I am willing to pay the price to stop this disaster. Lin Shin sighed, Elder Village Chief, I really want to help you, but I am an adventurer, and all I want is profit. I'm sorry. After saying this, Lin Shen turned to leave. Stop. The Elder Village Chief's expression turned fierce, and a murderous intent burst from him. What? Does the Elder Village Chief want to kill me? Kill me, losing a level doesn't matter to me. Hearing this, the Elder Village Chief's momentum subsided. Yes, Lin Chen is an adventurer. Even if he could kill Lin Chen here, the outcome would only be Lin Chen losing a level. When he returns to the newbie village, Lin Chen can still hand the Ice Flame Demon or to Wang the blacksmith. All right, I agree to your request. Lin Chen's face showed a satisfied smile as he completed the transaction with the Elder Village Chief. Heavy Thunder Ring, Gold Level. Requirement for wearing, level 10, Archer. Effect 1, Attack plus 350. Effect 2, Critical Hit plus 30%. Effect 3, Armor Penetration plus 15%. Effect 4, 5% chance to paralyze the opponent. Effect 5, 5% chance to deal double critical hit damage. Effect 6, 5% chance to trigger a ranged lightning bombardment. Durability, 100. Two rings. The attributes are the same. Lin Chen frowned slightly. Among these attributes, three of them are special effects attributes. However, the probabilities are relatively low. Fortunately, the attributes of the two rings are the same, which can effectively deal significant damage for Lin Chen. Removing two rings from the Trayan set resulted in a decrease of 20 points in Lin Chen's recovery and a decrease of over a thousand in his health points. However, with the full set of 10 pieces of the Trayan set, it is still manageable for Lin Chen at the moment. Elder Village Chief, it was a pleasant cooperation. Lin Chen said with a smile. However, the elder village chief's expression was not too good. After all, no one would be too happy to be extorted like this. Two gold level rings, and they are only level 10. They are useful for Lin Chen at the current stage, but ultimately, they are just transitional equipment. If it weren't for the upcoming confrontation with Wang the blacksmith and the elder village chief, he wouldn't have needed the equipment, and it might have been better to exchange for free attribute points. Although he thought so in his heart, Lin Chen stepped back to the newbie village. Blacksmith shop. When Wang the blacksmith saw Lin Chen's arrival, his expression turned somewhat fierce. Xu Eddie, what are you here for? Hearing Wang the blacksmith's fiery tone, Lin Chen knew that Wang the blacksmith must have known something. Wang the blacksmith, didn't you ask me to find the ice flame demon or? I'm here now to submit the task. Is this your attitude? Wang the blacksmith sneered, Xu Eddie, are you still pretending in front of me? The old drunkard saw you trade the ice flame demon or with the elder village chief. What do you have to give me now? Lin Shen sighed, Wang the blacksmith, there is more than one piece of ice flame demon or. With that, Lin Shen pretended to be disappointed and shook his head, since Wang the blacksmith doesn't want the ice flame demon or, then I'll leave. As he said this, Lin Shen turned to leave. Wang the blacksmith's expression changed, and he moved to block Lin Shen's path. He changed his attitude and said to Lin Shen with a pleasant expression, Xu Eddie, I was just joking with you. From what you just said, do you still have Ice Flame Demon or in your hands? Lin Shen nodded, yes, I do have another piece of Ice Flame Demon or in my hands, but now I think it might be better to give it all to the Elder Village Chief. At least the Elder Village Chief won't treat me with your attitude. Hearing this, Wang the blacksmith became anxious. Xu Eddie, let's discuss this. We had such a pleasant cooperation before, there's no reason to make it unpleasant over such a small matter. Lin Shen stopped in his tracks. Wan the blacksmith, I won't hide it from you, the conditions offered by the elder village chief are quite generous. Upon hearing this, Wan the blacksmith knew that Lin Chen might make a big demand. Xu Wedi, my platinum level necklace is not bad either. Not bad is not bad, Lin Chen hesitated, but it's still just transitional equipment. The old village chief even took out a sacred level awakening stone. How about giving me a sacred level awakening stone too? Wan the blacksmith's face changed, as he didn't have any sacred level awakening stone. Shu Eddie, I indeed don't have a sacred level awakening stone, but I can help you upgrade the nine union longbow to platinum level and add a platinum level necklace, Lin Chen raised his eyebrows. A platinum level main weapon plus a platinum level necklace would undoubtedly greatly enhance his combat power. However, there would still be a problem. If he changed the necklace, then the Trayant set would be reduced to only nine pieces, and the set effect would no longer exist. It's a pity to use platinum level equipment as transitional equipment. How about giving me a set of golden archer equipment? A set? One the blacksmith's face changed drastically. Shu Eddie, the set is not cheap. In the entire newbie village, the best is the bronze level set, which is the limit of what I can do. Lin Chen was slightly disappointed, 
but it was also within his expectations. Bronze level, not even silver. Show me the set attributes. One, the blacksmith took a deep breath. When did a player bargain with him like this? But he had no choice because the ice flame or was something he must have. Okay. Wang the blacksmith led Lin Chen into the house, where Lin Chen saw three sets of bronze level equipment. This set is the suitable bronze level set for archers, the Qingfeng set. Lin Chen's gaze fell on the Qingfeng set, and the set's attributes appeared before him. Qingfeng set. Effect 1, attack speed plus 3. 2. Effect 2, movement speed plus 5. 9. Effect 3, critical hit plus 35%. Effect 4, attack plus 1800. Set special effect 1, your basic attacks can stack attack speed, stacking 0. 5 attack speed per basic attack, up to 6 stacks. Set special effect 2, your basic attacks can stack movement speed, stacking 0. 5 movement speed per basic attack, up to 6 stacks. Lin Chen frowned. This equipment was not what he wanted. Although attack speed and movement speed seemed important, he needed lifesteal. Otherwise, if Wang the blacksmith used that counter damage equipment, he would be very passive. Shuedi, how is it? Wang the blacksmith asked. Not what I need, Lin Chen said. How could that be? Wang the blacksmith pretended to be surprised. Archers need attack speed, movement speed, critical hit, and attack power the most, and this set has them all. Lin Chen smiled without commenting. Indeed, it had everything, but no life steal. That was the most troublesome. At this stage, having counter damage, Lin Chen without life steal would die faster with faster attack speed. Wang the blacksmith's counter damage set would counter this Qingfeng set. This was premeditated. I don't lack attack speed and critical hit now, I like life steal. Life steal, this special attribute, couldn't be added with free attribute points. It could only be obtained through equipment or skills. Wang the blacksmith narrowed his eyes. An archer wanting lifesteal seemed to be for increasing fault tolerance, but to be honest, lifesteal was definitely not as fault tolerant as attack speed and movement speed. As long as these two attributes increased, there would be no fear at all. However, there was a premise. That was, the opponent didn't have counter damage. Lin Chen asking for lifesteal equipment as soon as he opened his mouth made the answer imminent. Looking at the entire newbie village, apart from the twisted tray and having a slightly inexpensive counter damage attribute, only Wang the blacksmith had it. Shuedi, lifesteal is a special attribute, and I do have it, but the set doesn't, and only three pieces of bronze equipment have lifesteal. Lin Chen's expression changed slightly. It seemed that Wang the blacksmith had guessed some of his intentions. Well, Lin Chen sighed, in that case, I'll go find the old village chief. The blacksmith Wang's eyes narrowed slightly, releasing an invisible aura. Lin Chen felt the temperature rising around him. Ding, you are affected by high temperature. Minus 18. Minus 18. Not much damage was done, but Wang's attitude made Lin Chen very unhappy. Blacksmith Wang, are you going to make a move? With these words, Lin Chen shrugged. Well, I definitely can't beat you, so go ahead and kill me. Wang's expression darkened. He naturally knew that killing Lin Chen would only result in a level drop. And this was the newbie village. If he killed Lin Chen here, it would definitely give the old village chief a reason to cause trouble for him. Snow Emperor, I do have a special equipment that can absorb blood. I believe you won't refuse. Oh, Lin Chen was somewhat surprised. What kind of equipment could make Wang so confident? Wang took out a necklace from his pocket. Bloodthirsty necklace, special. Wear requirement, none. Effect, restores 1% of own health with each basic attack. Durability, 100. Lin Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. It had to be said, Wang was right. This was an equipment he couldn't refuse. 1% health recovery. It seemed low, but it could withstand Lin Chen's high health. All right, this piece of ice flame magic or is yours? Lin Chen said. No, Wang shook his head. To obtain this equipment, in addition to the ice flame magic or, I also need a thousand other pieces of equipment. Lin Chen's expression changed slightly. This was a bit of an outrageous demand. Blacksmith Wang, Lin Chen's voice lowered a bit, isn't your request a bit excessive? Not excessive, I believe you will agree. Lin Chen smiled without commenting. Wang guessed right. All right, as you wish, but I don't have them now, it will take some time. No problem, I'll wait for you. Lin Chen agreed because it was something he could easily do. He had accumulated a lot of equipment while running dungeons. His plan was to increase his health as much as possible by running dungeons. Ideally, he wanted to upgrade the Hand of Divine Punishment to 3 stars, which would greatly increase his damage. After leaving the newbie village, Lin Chen started working overtime in the Twisted Jungle. Jade City. Upon seeing the message from his subordinates, Zhu Meng Yenyu's expression couldn't help but look strange. It's been so long, still at level 10, it seems there's no hope. 
Zhu Meng Yanyu replied to a message, No need to pay attention to Snow Emperor anymore, even if he logs in now, he won't be able to catch up with me. Do we still need to recruit him? Zhu Meng Yanyu hesitated for a moment, Recruitment is possible, but the annual salary is reduced to 1 million. If he agrees, fine, if not, forget it. In the game, one step slow is always slow, no need to care about him. Not only Zhu Meng Yanyu, but also other clubs' attention to Lin Chen had decreased. After all, the early stage of Twilight of the Gods was very important. Lin Chen being stuck at level 10 for so long inevitably made them wonder about his value. Garen, on the other hand, had been paying attention to Lin Chen all along, and even sent a few caring messages to Lin Chen during that time. Unfortunately, he didn't get any replies. There were also bloggers who posted online, saying that Lin Chen was nothing special. Snow Emperor, I believe everyone still remembers the consecutive global announcements and the invitations from major clubs with annual salaries of over a hundred million, which made his popularity soar. But now, a day has passed, and while other players are making great progress, Snow Emperor is still stuck at level 10. According to my estimation, he is just a flash in the pan. After entering the main city, with bosses having skills like invincibility and frenzy, his infinite aerial techniques won't work. As for those who say Snow Emperor has been offline due to personal matters, I think it's nonsense. Who would give up a hundred million annual salary to mess around offline? After this blogger's analysis came out, many people agreed with his views. In fact, in the eyes of professional players, this blogger's words are full of loopholes. However, most ordinary players do not understand the game enough, so they may think that this blogger is right. But professional players are not going to play for an unfamiliar person. However, others did not play. When Garen saw this post, he couldn't bear it. He immediately opened a new post to refute. First of all, about that blogger called Game Brother, please use your brain before speaking. Snow Emperor, with his floating skills, can't he even defeat ordinary monsters if he can't defeat the boss? And, have you seen the live video of Brother Hu Jung Chang? What damage does Snow Emperor have? Is he stuck at level 10? Garen's response immediately caused quite a stir. After all, Garen is the deputy leader of the Fudo Guild, and he has made a name for himself in the main city with the elite level Trey set. Therefore, there are still quite a few players who know Garen. His post had just been out for 15 minutes when Game Brother already released a new post. What surprised me was that a professional player would actually praise Snow Emperor. I don't deny that Snow Emperor's floating skills are very powerful, but so what? His damage values in the newbie village are already absurd, relying on free attributes or equipment, it's almost impossible to have such insane damage. So, I speculate that Snow Emperor probably has a special item that increases damage, which some people have obtained in the early stages of the game. But special items often have time limits. I think Snow Emperor's special item's time is up, and his damage has returned to normal, which is why everyone is now indifferent. Game Brother and Garen started to argue with each other, and both have a certain fan base. Their argument has caused quite a stir online, even making it to the top 10 hot searches. At this moment, Lin Chen, as the key figure in this event, is happily clearing the twisted jungle. Clearing it once, twice, three times. Here, we have to thank one of the benefits of the newbie village, unlimited backpack space. Otherwise, Lin Chen's backpack would have been full a long time ago. Lin Chen didn't even calculate how many times he had cleared the hell level difficulty of the twisted jungle. He just knew that he had been clearing it all along. Finally. Ding, your Divine Punishment Hand has been upgraded to 3 stars. Divine Punishment Hand, Super God Level 3 Star Effect 1, each basic attack deals 3% of your own health as true damage. Effect 2, each basic attack permanently increases health by 3 points. Proficiency, 0 slash 1000000000. Lin Chen's face showed a satisfied smile. Divine Punishment Hand has finally been upgraded. At the same time, his health has also exceeded 220,000. Now, according to the effect of Divine Punishment Hand, he can deal 6,600 true damage with each basic attack. And each basic attack can permanently increase his health by 3 points. After upgrading Divine Punishment Hand, Lin Chen didn't stop. He cleared the dungeon again and received a large number of rewards. Lin Chen checked his equipment and found that he already had over 1,100 pieces. He had met the requirements of Master Blacksmith's task. He returned to the newbie village and found the Master Blacksmith. Master Blacksmith, I've brought what you wanted. The Master Blacksmith was slightly surprised, apparently not expecting Lin Chen to come so quickly. Lin Chen took out the equipment and ice flame ore. Seeing these things, the Master Blacksmith also took out the bloodthirsty necklace. They exchanged items. Lin Chen's face showed a satisfied smile. With this bloodthirsty necklace, coupled with the control immunity of the purification jade pendant, Lin Chen's pressure suddenly decreased a lot. 
Immunity to control, lifesteal, plus his current attributes and skills, he felt that even if he were to fight the old village chief, he would have the power to fight. Snow Emperor, you have already obtained what you wanted. Shouldn't you leave now? Lin Chen raised an eyebrow. I won't hide it from you, I've offended several guilds in the main city. If I go there, I'll probably be killed and won't be able to leave the main city. Hearing this, Wang the blacksmith's face darkened. The old drunkard scolded, Shuedi, don't push your luck. The matters of the newbie village are not for you to meddle in. Lin Chen smirked, I value benefits, as long as the benefits are sufficient, even the old village chief will be at my disposal. Wang the blacksmith stared at Lin Chen. He had high hopes for Lin Chen's strength. Unfortunately, Lin Chen had been acting unpredictably recently, making it hard for him to trust. Moreover, he always felt that Lin Chen was the variable. In order to ensure nothing went wrong, he hoped that Lin Chen would leave the newbie village. But if Lin Chen was willing to sincerely help him, the benefits he could gain would be enormous. Alright, Wang the blacksmith nodded, Xu Wedi, if you really want to help me, then go and destroy the resurrection altar now. Lin Chen's expression changed. If he destroyed the resurrection altar now, his retreat would be cut off. In other words, without a resurrection altar in the newbie village, if he was killed, he would be forced to resurrect in the main city. The risk was too great. Even though Lin Chen's withered spring had already reached three stars, his invincible golden body had not yet cooled down. He couldn't do this. Wang the blacksmith, I can't go and destroy the resurrection altar now. That would cut off my own path. Wait until the old village chief dies, then destroy the resurrection altar, how about that? Wang the blacksmith sneered, clearly, he had even greater doubts about Lin Chen. Xu Wedi, the way you are, makes it hard for me to trust you. How about this, you go to the cliff and fight the old village chief. With a resurrection altar, even if you die, you can still resurrect. As for leveling up, I believe it's an easy task for you. Lin Chen narrowed his eyes. Wang the blacksmith was forcing him to take a side. Ding, Wang the blacksmith has assigned a task to you. Task requirement, go to the cliff and battle the old village chief. Task penalty, unknown. Task reward, unknown. If he accepted this task to attack the old village chief, it would mean completely breaking ties with the old village chief. From Wang the blacksmith's perspective, Lin Chen could only choose to stand with him. Wang the blacksmith looked smug. In his view, Lin Chen couldn't possibly accept this task. But Lin Chen's next response left him dumbfounded. All right, I accept this task. Wang the blacksmith was stunned for a moment, oh? Then I hope you can successfully kill the old village chief. If you manage to kill the old village chief alone, I will give you a growth weapon for archers. Lin Chen's eyes lit up. This kind of growth weapon was the most insane. Because only a growth weapon had no limits. It could surpass artifacts and achieve the legendary super artifact. Alright, I'll go now. Lin Chen also wanted to see for himself what this old village chief of the newbie village was really like. They say the old village chief of the newbie village is the biggest boss, this time he could find out for himself. At the cliff. When Lin Chen arrived here, he didn't know when, but a pavilion had already been set up, and the old village chief was sitting inside the pavilion drinking tea. Seeing Lin Chen arrive, he took out a cup and poured a cup of tea for Lin Chen. Xu Wedi, come and have a drink? Whoosh. In response to the old village chief, a feather arrow was shot. The feather arrow accurately hit the teacup in the old village chief's hand. The old village chief sighed, Xu Wedi, you have disappointed me. I didn't expect you to end up siding with Wang the blacksmith in the end. Lin Chen's expression was indifferent. Old village chief, there's no need for unnecessary words, let's get started. As soon as the words fell, Lin Chen took the first shot. The feather arrow broke through the air and flew towards the old village chief's forehead. The old village chief smiled and made no move. Lin Chen's feather arrow actually stopped in front of him, turning into an ice sculpture, and finally shattered with a bang. Lin Chen's expression changed abruptly, but the attack didn't stop. Twisting string arrow technique. The high-speed rotating feather arrow finally wasn't frozen by the old village chief. But the penetrative feather arrow was continuously deflected by the old village chief's fingers. Then, the old village chief casually threw a feather arrow towards Lin Chen, and the speed of the arrow was extremely fast. In the blink of an eye, the feather arrow was already close to Lin Chen. Lin Chen narrowly avoided the arrows with a risky roll. The old village chief's methods were terrifying. Lin Chen's eyes flashed with a cold light. Martial artist? The old village chief's actions now corresponded to a relatively special profession. Do you understand now? The old village chief grinned. In the next instant, he disappeared from the original spot. Lin Chen immediately dodged, but the old village chief's speed was too fast. His dodge was unsuccessful, and the old village chief grabbed his arm and threw him over his shoulder. Bang! Lin Chen smashed into the ground, cracking it. 
minus 5,128. A huge damage number appeared. Lin Chen felt his scalp tingle. He wanted to run, but the old village chief had already grabbed his legs and hung him upside down. Bang! In the moment Lin Chen was hanging upside down, the old village chief's knee struck his spine. Crack! Minus 10,256. Lin Chen felt like his bones were about to fall apart. It was fortunate that this was a game, and everything was digitized. Otherwise, Lin Chen would probably be paralyzed by now. But then, the old village chief demonstrated what it meant to achieve one's goals by any means necessary. The old village chief struck down with a hand chop between Lin Chen's legs. Lin Chen instinctively tightened his legs, then used the old village chief's hand chop to flip over, leaping up and sitting on the old village chief's shoulders. His experience from countless battles in his past life allowed Lin Chen to immediately reverse his grip on the bow, pulling the bowstring around the old village chief's neck and pulling back. The old village chief was unable to breathe, his face turning red. But his reaction speed was also astonishingly fast. He used a move to grab between Lin Chen's legs. Lin Chen's expression changed. This old village chief was really ruthless. Lin Chen suspected that the old village chief had been attacked like this before, so he wanted to use these methods against him. But it had to be said, the old village chief's methods were very effective. Lin Chen had to dodge. The old village chief quickly got up and rushed forward. String twisting arrow technique. Lin Chen shot an arrow at close range. Minus 6612. Lin Chen was shocked because only real damage was effective. This was unbelievable. In other words, his close range string twisting arrow didn't break through the defense, which was terrifying. The old village chief was also somewhat surprised. It seemed that he hadn't expected Lin Chen's attack to cause such high damage. Despite his surprise, the old village chief's movements were not slow at all. He resisted Lin Chen's arrow and then punched Lin Chen into the air. Then he jumped up and performed a combination of punches. Wait. This combination of punches was so similar to the old drunkard's combination of punches. Could it be that the old drunkard was working for the old village chief? This possibility couldn't be ruled out. But Lin Chen didn't have the mood to think about it now. Because before he could land, the old village chief grabbed his head and violently slammed it against his knee. This was the fighting style of a martial artist? The old village chief's fighting skills completely subverted his imagination. Now Lin Chen was completely powerless in the hands of the old village chief, almost like a toy, with no ability to defend himself. He was almost completely controlled and knocked away. Bang! Once again, he was ruthlessly slammed to the ground, and Lin Chen's health bar plummeted. His 220,000 health points were now less than a third. But the old village chief didn't give Lin Chen a chance to react. He raised his hand, and Lin Chen was frozen. Then, the old village chief struck the frozen Lin Chen. Boom! A huge damage number floated above Lin Chen's head. Minus 59,280. Nearly 60,000 damage instantly killed Lin Chen. He was killed before he could even use his last-ditch effort. Because his blood volume was higher than 10%, he was killed instantly, so the spring of withered trees was not triggered. Newbie Village. In the Resurrection Altar. Lin Chen came out. His level dropped from level 10 to level 9. This result dumbfounded the few players who were still paying attention to him. Especially Garen. He had been arguing with the game director online, supporting Lin Chen. But now, the news of Lin Chen's resurgence did not come, and instead he dropped a level. Lin Chen dropped a level. Who would be the happiest? No doubt. The game director. Previously, he and Garen had been arguing, each with their own reasons, which meant he did not gain the upper hand. But now it's different. Lin Chen dropped a level. There's something to work with now. In just 10 minutes, the game director posted, at Garen, what else do you have to say now? Your praised snow emperor has dropped a level. He hasn't leveled up for so long. Now he's dropped a level, which just proves what I said before. The snow emperor was just lucky to get some special items in the newbie village, and even his infinite levitation is not a skill, but the result of special items. This level drop can fully prove that the snow emperor has fallen behind everyone, and is not even as good as the majority of ordinary players. The game director's words immediately gained the support of many ordinary players, and even some high-level players thought the game director made sense. When Garen saw the game director's post, he was itching with anger. To be honest, he still believed in Lin Chen's strength, because Lin Chen had helped him level up. Those moves were not something an ordinary player could do. But now, he really didn't know how to refute it. Not leveling up for a long time, and now dropping a level, even if he wanted to defend, he didn't know where to start. But he still didn't back down. He simply posted, everyone makes mistakes, I guess the snow emperor must have had something offline that delayed him for a while. After logging in, in order to catch up, he forcefully fought higher level monsters, 
which led to accidentally dropping a level. Garen's obvious sophistry only brought ridicule from many people. The Bodhi Club. As soon as Garen's post went out, he received a private message. Don't bother with the Snow Emperor's affairs, and don't post all that nonsense online, it will only make others think our family has intelligence issues. Seeing this message, Garen was immediately unhappy. Sis, do you also think the Snow Emperor is not good? Whether he's good or not, isn't the fact there? Garen was momentarily speechless, but he still insisted, I believe the Snow Emperor will only have a temporary setback, he will definitely rise again. Lin Chen didn't know, because he dropped a level, it caused such a stir. Coming out of the resurrection altar, the old drunkard looked at Lin Chen and said, Not bad, you actually took down the old village chief's over 6,000 health points. Lin Chen twitched his mouth, I never dreamed that the old village chief was actually a martial artist. Yes, he is a martial artist, and a dual element martial artist of ice and fire. Lin Chen waved his hand, alright, I'm going to level up. After saying this, he left the newbie village and headed to the twisted jungle. Entering the instance, Lin Chen's eyes became sharp. This time, when facing the old village chief, he did not wear the purification jade pendant. This time, he did not intend to really take down the old village chief's health points. It was more about testing the old village chief's skills and gaining the trust of Master Wang. Now, the Hand of Divine Punishment has reached three stars, and each basic attack can stack three points of health. But the same problem arose. The wild monsters in the twisted jungle couldn't withstand his attacks at all. They were killed in just a few hits, and the stacked health points were also very limited. After soloing the twisted jungle twice, Lin Chen smoothly reached level 10. Reaching level 10 again did not come with any free attribute point rewards. But it didn't matter. He didn't rush back to the newbie village, but instead stacked his HP to 250,000 before returning. With higher HP, he felt more confident. In the newbie village, at the blacksmith's shop, Lin Chen submitted the task of confronting the old village chief. Ding, you have completed the task of Wang the blacksmith, reward, plus 5 free attribute points. Lin Chen frowned. The reward seemed low, but he didn't say anything. Wang the blacksmith, the old village chief's strength exceeds my imagination. It's hard for me to compete with him alone, Lin Chen said. Wang the blacksmith nodded, the old village chief has dominated the newbie village for so long, he must have his unique strengths. Then how should I fight the old village chief? Lin Chen asked instinctively. I will confront the old village chief head on, you can assist from the side, Wang the blacksmith continued. But before that, I need you to go to the mine with the old drunkard, Ding, Wang the blacksmith has assigned a hidden task to you. Task requirement, kill the old drunkard. Task penalty, unknown. Task reward, unknown. Lin Chen raised his eyebrows. When he was attacked by the old village chief with a combination of punches, he felt that it was similar to the old drunkards. Therefore, he had his suspicions. Now it seemed that Wang the blacksmith also doubted the old drunkard. Okay, Lin Chen nodded. The old drunkard seemed unaware of Wang the blacksmith's thoughts and went to the mine with Lin Chen. At the entrance of the mine, the old drunkard looked at Lin Chen with a smile. Shuedi, did Wang the blacksmith ask you to kill me? Lin Chen was surprised that the old drunkard already knew. No need to be so surprised, Wang the blacksmith is suspicious by nature. He must have discovered something, which is why he asked you to come with me, Lin Chen smiled. Since you already know, why did you come? The old drunkard smiled, of course I had to come. Because I have to die, only then can you gain his full trust. Oh, Lin Chen raised his eyebrows, I have already gained one the blacksmith's trust by confronting the old village chief. No, you haven't gained his trust. Just then, a figure emerged from the mine. Seeing the person, Lin Chen was shocked because it was none other than the old village chief. Lin Chen felt that this small newbie village was almost turning into a game of wits. It seems that the old drunkard is really on your side, Lin Chen said with a wry smile. The old village chief nodded, yes, including the flaws, were intentionally left for Wang the blacksmith to discover. The purpose is for you to kill the old drunkard, thus gaining his complete trust. And then, undermine him at the critical moment? Lin Chen asked. Something like that. Do you remember the mandala potion I gave you? Put it in Wang the blacksmith's wine barrel and make him drink it. Then you will be the hero of this battle. Lin Chen fell silent. The old village chief seemed to sense Lin Chen's hesitation and continued, Shu you have been delayed in the newbie village for so long. By helping me, I will definitely reward you beyond the current stage. Lin Chen remained silent, appearing to be contemplating. But in reality, he already had an answer. Despite his lack of defense in the last battle with the old village chief, it was because he wasn't wearing the purification jade pendant. If he wore it, the old village chief wouldn't be able to control him continuously. And now, he had accumulated 80 free attribute points. 
If he allocated them all to his movement speed, it would reach a terrifying level. Okay, old village chief, I trust you, Lin Chen said seriously after hesitating for a while. The good things in Wang the blacksmith's hands are of limited help to me. I hope that the things in your hands can be more useful to me. As he spoke, Lin Chen's feathered arrow had already landed on the old drunkard. The old drunkard did not resist and quietly welcomed death. Not only him, but even his blue flower python did the same. Ding, you have completed the first kill of the blue snake, and are about to make a server-wide announcement. Do you want to hide your name? No. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to player Shuetti for completing the first kill of the blue snake. We hereby announce this and hope that all players will continue to work hard. Ding, you have completed the first kill of the old drunkard, and are about to make a server-wide announcement. Do you want to hide your name? No. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to player Shuetti for completing the first kill of the old drunkard. We hereby announce this and hope that all players will continue to work hard. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to player Shuetti for completing the first kill of the old drunkard. We hereby announce this and hope that all players will continue to work hard. Two consecutive server-wide announcements rang out, instantly igniting Garen's previously listless mood. Killing two bosses in a row, isn't that impressive? Shouldn't he go and refute the game director? At game director, what do you have to say now? Shuetti has completed the first kill of two bosses in a short time. I ask, who else can do that? In your words, from this point, it can be seen that what I said before, that Shuetti's previous level drop was just a mistake. The game director did not soften his stance just because Lin Chen suddenly killed two bosses. He responded shortly after Garen's post came out. Killing two bosses with no real value doesn't prove anything, and all signs indicate that Shuetti is still in the newbie village. Is it worth boasting about killing two bosses in the newbie village at this stage? Another round of clashes began online. But Lin Chen, the instigator, was completely unaware. After killing the blue snake and the old drunkard, he chose to loot the bodies. Ding, you have obtained skill book plus two. Ding, you have obtained equipment plus three. Ding, you have obtained special item, golden light talisman. Ding, you have obtained special item, wine gourd. Ding, you have obtained ten gold coins. The rewards were not particularly generous. Lin Chen looked at the skills and equipment, but none were better than his own. Then he looked at the Golden Light Talisman and Wine Gourd. Golden Light Talisman, Special Item. Effect, activating it will provide a Golden Light Shield, increasing magic resistance by 100 and armor by 300, lasting for 5 minutes. Note, Disposable Item. Wine Gourd, Special Item. Effect, collecting rare treasures and putting them inside will automatically brew special wine, including but not limited to providing free attribute points, temporary buffs, etc. Note, the more precious the treasures, the better the wine that can be brewed. Lin Chan's eyes lit up. The golden light talisman was quite ordinary for him, but the wine gourd seemed extraordinary. However, for now, Lin Chen couldn't figure out what specific treasures would produce what. And in the early stages of the game, rare treasures were not easy to come by. After collecting the items, Lin Chen smiled at the old village chief before returning to the new B village. Blacksmith's shop. Master Wang was forging iron. Seeing Lin Chen return, he smiled with satisfaction. Xu Wedi, you really didn't disappoint me. Ding, you have completed Master Wang's task. Task reward, Gentle Breeze set plus one. Lin Chen's eyes lit up. The Gentle Breeze set was very good for him, especially with the increased attack speed and movement speed. However, Lin Chen already had the Bloodthirsty Necklace, two golden rings, and the Ninefold Longbow. He needed to make a choice. The Ninefold Longbow definitely had to be kept as it had life-stealing and many powerful attributes. The Thunder Ring was average, so for the sake of attack speed and movement speed, he could temporarily not wear it. After a brief thought, Lin Chen took off one of the Thunder Rings and put on the Gentle Breeze set along with the remaining Thunder Ring, the Bloodthirsty Necklace, and the main weapon, the Ninefold Longbow. After putting on this set of equipment, Lin Chen's attributes underwent a tremendous change. Master Wang, when do we take action? Lin Chen asked directly. He has spent too much time in the newbie village and naturally needs to consider leaving as soon as possible. Wang Taijian smiled mysteriously, it's now. Lin Chen nodded and asked, how to fight? Wang Taijian smiled, I have had many secret battles with the old village chief before. This time, you are the variable. Oh, Lin Chen was somewhat surprised. What do you mean? If we fight head on, neither I nor the old village chief have the confidence to defeat each other. But if you help, it's not certain. I see. Lin Chen smiled, so, we go directly to the cliff to find the old village chief. Right. Before that, go to the tavern and buy two barrels of wine for me. Okay. 
Lin Chen was somewhat surprised that Wang Taijian really needed to drink. At the tavern, after buying the wine, he did not poison it as agreed with the old village chief. Regardless of who wins in this battle, Lin Chen hopes for a decisive victory, as only then can he reap the benefits. After Wang Taijian received the wine Lin Chen brought back, he first tested it with a silver needle. The old drunkard is still the old village chief's man. Even if he's dead, we still need to be careful. Lin Chen was somewhat astonished. Is this the absolute trust the old village chief mentioned? This silver needle test. It's said to not trust the old drunkard, but in reality, it's not trusting him. Let's go. After seeing that the silver needle did not change color, Wang Taijian finally showed a satisfied smile on his face. Let's go. Following Wang Taijian, Lin Chen arrived at the cliff. The old village chief was still drinking tea in the pavilion. Seeing Lin Chen and Wang Taijian's arrival, he smiled. Old Wang, we've known each other for so many years. Do we have to come to this? Wang Taijian snorted, old village chief, I don't want it to come to this either, but I advised you, and you didn't listen. I have no choice. Can I listen? You want to ruin our newbie village. You're the one trying to ruin our newbie village. Wang Tiejian's emotions were somewhat agitated as he shouted, I want to end it once and for all, and your method is to boil the frog in warm water. Our newbie village will definitely be finished. The old village chief sighed, at this point, you're still so stubborn. You're the stubborn one. Wang Taijian shouted. The old village chief shook his head, in that case, there's nothing more to say. As he spoke, a set of silver white armor appeared on the old village chief. Silver armor. This was already considered quite abnormal in the newbie village. However, Wang Taijian was even more abnormal because he was wearing a golden armor. It seems you have already crafted this set of Xian Gui armor. The old village chief looked somewhat serious. Wang Taijian nodded with a smile, yes, I have to thank Snow Emperor for helping me collect a large number of equipment. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to craft the Xian Gui armor today. It's a pity, there are only 10 pieces. If there were 13, I might not be your opponent. The old village chief was confident. Wang Taijian angrily rebuked, old village chief, at the brink of death, you still talk such big talk? As he spoke, Wang Taijian made the first move. With a spiked shield in hand, he charged towards the old village chief. Seeing this, the old village chief leaped up and actually jumped towards the cliff behind him. Above the cliff, there was a thin steel wire, and he landed steadily on it. Seeing this, Wang Taijian let go of the shield in his hand. Bang! The sharp-edged shield instantly cut the steel wire. The old village chief leaped up and, taking advantage of the gap in Wang Taijian's hand without a weapon, came at Wang Taijian. Wang Taijian's expression changed slightly. Snow Emperor. Lin Chen acted without hesitation. The twisted string arrow technique instantly broke through the air, carrying a powerful impact force towards the old village chief. The old village chief slapped away the feathered arrow and at the same time grabbed Wang Tiejian's collar, violently smashing him to the ground. Minus 3958. The old village chief's damage was still as high as ever. Even the blacksmith Wang, who already had a golden suit, still seemed inadequate in front of the old village chief. However, what surprised Lin Chen was that a huge damage number also appeared above the old village chief's head. Minus 2775. Counterattack. This counterattack effect was truly terrifying. The old village chief was not surprised, he had always emitted a green light. Plus 1000. Plus 1000. Similar to Lin Chen's resurrection skill, he could restore health. This was getting interesting. The old village chief's automatic health regeneration could restore a thousand health points per second. Wang, the blacksmith, was heavily armored, and they continued to fight. However, Wang did not seem to intend to engage in a prolonged battle. The shield flew back and charged at the old village chief once again. The old village chief wanted to create distance, but Wang had already used a taunt skill. After being taunted, the old village chief began to attack Wang uncontrollably. Minus 1598. The old village chief's regular attack damage was still very high. Despite the counterattack, with the old village chief's health regeneration effect, he could still handle the situation with ease. Wang, the blacksmith, clearly could not be so weak. His shield struck the old village chief. Minus 5285. Lin Chen was somewhat surprised. This level of damage from Wang, the blacksmith, was quite impressive even among combat professions. After the taunt ended, the old village chief's expression turned extremely sinister. Instead of retreating, he took a step forward, placed his foot against the shield, then leaped into the air and landed on top of Wang's head. In the next instant, frost gathered on the old village chief's palm. Bang! A palm strike enveloped in frost fiercely hit Wang's head. Minus 8,299. A huge damage number appeared. 
Shuwei, stop watching the show. Wang, the blacksmith, rotated his shield upwards, forcing the old village chief to step back. Swish, an arrow pierced through the air. Lin Chen's target was not the old village chief, but Wang, the blacksmith. Wang, the blacksmith, was hit by Lin Chen's arrow and angrily exclaimed, Shuwei, what are you doing? Lin Chen shrugged, Wang, it's not my fault. Blame the old village chief for giving you too much. This was actually just an excuse. The reason Lin Chen attacked Wang, the blacksmith, was because he knew that if the old village chief died, it would still be difficult to contend with Wang, the blacksmith's level of counterattack with his lifesteal. The counterattack attribute was already around 70%, and it couldn't be ruled out that Wang, the blacksmith, had hidden means. So, Lin Chen wanted to help the old village chief kill Wang, the blacksmith. Shuwei, even if you help the old village chief, my counterattack ability won't be of much use to you, Wang, the blacksmith, was still trying to win over Lin Chen. But Lin Chen remained indifferent and had no intention of wasting words. Arrows continued to pierce through the air. Wang, the blacksmith's health bar began to rapidly decrease. Even with a golden tear suit, he still couldn't resist Lin Chen's true damage. At the same time, Lin Chen was also rapidly losing health. Each regular attack caused him to lose over 4,000 health points due to the counterattack. But Lin Chen's bloodthirsty nature could only restore over 2,000. Even with the resurrection skill and the attributes of the ninefold longbow, the restoration barely exceeded 3,000. In this situation, the over 4,000 counterattack would continue to cause Lin Chen to lose health. The more regular attacks he made, the more damage he received. Therefore, Lin Chen did not act as the main force in output. He was just idling. That's right. Just idling. He didn't even deliberately interrupt Wang, the blacksmith's attacks because his goal was not to kill Wang, the blacksmith. He wanted Wang, the blacksmith, dead. He also needed the old village chief dead. If they both died, then no one in the newbie village could stop his progress. Currently, the battle intensity between Wang, the blacksmith, and the old village chief was very high. Both of them were top-tier figures in the newbie village. However, Lin Chen could still see that in terms of combat skills, Wang, the blacksmith, was far inferior to the old village chief. The old village chief tripped Wang, the blacksmith, and then grabbed his arm for a shoulder throw. After the shoulder throw, he immediately followed up with an elbow strike, a series of actions flowed smoothly, not even giving Wang, the blacksmith, much time to react. Blacksmith Wang and the old village chief's blood levels are both decreasing, but it's clear that blacksmith Wang's is dropping faster. After all, the old village chief is the one actively dealing damage, while blacksmith Wang is mainly relying on counterattacks at the moment. Lin Chen continues to idle on the side, also wanting to observe the old village chief's fighting skills. Learning and observing will make it easier to deal with the old village chief after blacksmith Wang is defeated. However, at this moment, blacksmith Wang's counterattack begins. Thunder appears on his armor, paralyzing the old village chief who is close to him. Taking advantage of this brief paralysis, blacksmith Wang strikes the old village chief's throat with the edge of his shield. Whirlwind 9 strikes. Blacksmith Wang's shield strikes down, and nine high-speed rotating shield shadows pierce through the old village chief's body. Minus 2958. Minus 2958. Minus 2958. A series of damage numbers appear. The old village chief tries to counterattack, but how could blacksmith Wang let go of this rare opportunity? He smashes his shield fiercely on the ground, creating a light barrier above the old village chief's head. Gravity Barrier Lin Chen narrows his eyes, under this gravity barrier, the old village chief's body slightly sinks. Seizing this fleeting opportunity, blacksmith Wang strikes again. He slaps his shield. Ambush of 10 10 spiked shields appear around the old village chief, continuously hitting and reducing his health. The old village chief's expression turns grim. The frost on his fists disappears, replaced by flames. Bang! The old village chief's punch hits one of the shields, the tremendous impact shattering it, and the explosion of flames splashes more than 10 meters away, staggering blacksmith Wang. Whoosh! The old village chief's body turns into an afterimage and instantly appears behind blacksmith Wang. Mountain opening fist. A punch is thrown, sending blacksmith Wang flying. Before he lands, the old village chief grabs his leg. 18 falls on the robe. Bang bang bang. The scene is unbearable. The old village chief subjects blacksmith Wang to a round of extremely brutal 18 falls, and each time, blacksmith Wang's face hits the ground, feeling quite refreshing. Lin Chen twitches at the corner of his mouth. He wonders if he will encounter a similar situation when he fights the old village chief later. At this moment, blacksmith Wang roars and activates his invincibility, immediately breaking free from all control. In that instant, his shield flies out of his hand. Space barrier, shattered. This shield actually tears open a rift in space. 
Snow Emperor, I'll remember you. The next time we meet, I will be your nightmare. Stop him. Lin Chen's expression changes drastically. Blacksmith Wang forcibly tears open the space barrier to escape. The old village chief reacts quickly, immediately blocking Blacksmith Wang's path. Sacrifice equipment to break the space barrier, old Wang, you're simply insane. Blacksmith Wang snorts, I've lost this round today. I hope you take care of yourself. Lin Chen's face darkens, he still can't understand how Blacksmith Wang managed to break the space barrier. Even sacrificing his set of golden equipment on his body shouldn't have allowed him to do this. Stop him. Lin Chen can't let Blacksmith Wang leave. He takes action again, this time with five arrows. This is the limit of what Lin Chen can do at this stage. He can't let Blacksmith Wang leave. But even in his invincible state, the old village chief can't stop Blacksmith Wang's reckless charge, let alone Lin Chen. Terrain Destruction Lin Chen's five arrows, while unable to repel Blacksmith Wang, can change the terrain. The feather arrows form a barrier, delaying Blacksmith Wang's escape. The old village chief's eyes lit up. Ice and fire divine fist. The old village chief fiercely punched the ground in front of Wang the blacksmith, creating a large pit. Although the berserk body was immune to knockback, control, deceleration, and other negative effects, it could not resist the terrain. With a pit in front of him, even with the berserk body activated, Wang could not fly over it. The old village chief used all his skills to prevent Wang from leaving. Wang had thought that activating the berserk body would guarantee his escape, but now he was feeling anxious. Rage. Savage Charge. Wang simultaneously activated two skills, increasing his speed suddenly. Berserk Body, Rage. Frozen Pulse Fist. The old village chief also activated his berserk body in rage, leaving no chance for Wang. Lin Chen's arrows continued to block Wang's movement. Once Wang's berserk body ended, he would be doomed. Moreover, the spatial crack was shrinking. If they delayed, Wang would be finished. Wang knew this and roared, floating nine strikes. He used the floating skill to try to rush into the spatial crack. However, the old village chief would not give him that chance. He leaped and collided with Wang. Both had their berserk bodies activated, and neither could push the other back. They remained in a stalemate for a few seconds before landing again. But in that time, the spatial crack had already closed. Lin Shen no longer hesitated to think about how Wang had created the spatial crack. He began to unleash his full power on Wang. Without the golden set, Lin Chen had lost his counterattack ability and was no longer afraid. The old village chief was the same. In less than a minute, Wang fell unwillingly. At the moment Wang fell, Lin Chen's arrows were released. This time, the target was the old village chief. The seamless attack left the old village chief astonished. Xu Eddie, what are you doing? Lin Chen's expression was serious. I am sending the old village chief to his death. The old village chief angrily roared, you are seeking death. He wanted to rush towards Lin Chen, but found that Lin Chen's movement speed was extraordinary. Lin Chen had accumulated 80 free attribute points, all of which he had invested in movement speed to deal with the old village chief, a martial artist with many small skills and terrifying combos. Among the ancient warriors, there was a group of people who liked the martial artist profession. Being approached by a martial artist was truly a skin-shedding experience. Lin Chen's 80 free attribute points had increased his movement speed by 8 points. Coupled with the stacking effect of the Qing Foam set's movement speed passive, the combined effect was terrifying. Moreover, due to the increase in his health points, Lin Chen's basic attack could now deal over 7,000 damage to the old village chief. With 5 arrows per second, the damage output was as high as 38,000 per second. Xu Eddy, if you kill me, you will destroy the newbie village. The old village chief's expression was sinister as he roared. Lin Chen did not respond, or rather, his response was a continuous barrage of arrows. Without the berserk body and rage skills, the old village chief was like a toy in front of Lin Chen. However, at that moment, the old village chief smirked coldly. Ninefold shadow step. In the next instant, the old village chief transformed into a residual image and appeared in front of Lin Chen. With another step, he was already behind Lin Chen. Lin Chen had anticipated this. As soon as the old village chief's figure appeared, his arrows were already released. However, in close combat, the old village chief easily dodged Lin Chen's arrows with a twist of his body. At the same time, he condensed a blue frost on his palm. Ding, you have been affected by frost, reducing attack speed by 14% and movement speed by 14%. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow. The old village chief's skill was a bit extreme. One should not underestimate that 14%. Lin Chen was currently wearing the purification jade pendant, which could reduce 80% of negative effects. In other words, the old village chief's skill would reduce attack speed and movement speed by 70%. No matter at which stage, it's all insane. Swish, swish, swish. 
Lin Chen released five arrows at once, while creating distance. The old village chief originally had the situation under control, but seeing Lin Chen swiftly creating distance left him completely dumbfounded. However, Lin Chen had only used two layers of his ninefold shadow step. Without hesitation, he took a step and once again appeared behind Lin Chen. Despite Lin Chen's attempt to react, his longbow swept out. But the old village chief's combat experience was too rich. As he dodged backwards, he grabbed Lin Chen's arm and executed a shoulder throw. Then, gathering his strength, he threw a punch towards Lin Chen's head. Lin Chen rolled to avoid the punch, leaving the old village chief even more shocked. Because a shoulder throw would cause dizziness, Lin Chen shouldn't have recovered so quickly and evaded his attack. Do you have equipment to reduce control effects on you? The old village chief asked in a deep voice. Lin Chen did not answer. He didn't like to talk during battles. The feathered arrows broke through the air and once again landed on the old village chief. The increase in attack speed and movement speed made Lin Chen's movements extremely smooth. The old village chief's reaction speed was not slow either. After Lin Chen created distance, he executed his fourth layer of the shadow step. Lin Chen felt his scalp tingle. Ninefold shadow step. If he could really execute nine displacements, that would be insane. Especially since the skill was in the hands of a martial artist. Each time he closed in, it posed a deadly threat to priests, mages, archers, summoners, and other fragile ranged professions. Explosive fist. The old village chief's fist struck fiercely at Lin Chen's chin, sending him flying. But as he prepared to continue his combo after sending Lin Chen flying, Lin Chen had already landed. So fast, he can even reduce the effects of being sent flying? The old village chief's pupils suddenly contracted, and he had a bad feeling. He currently had no advantage in movement speed, and had already used his invincibility and berserk. If the ninefold shadow step couldn't kill Lin Chen, then the outcome of the battle was already determined. Shu Eddy. We can discuss this again. Whatever you want, you can name your price, the old village chief felt a bit flustered. After all, he really didn't have the confidence to use the ninefold shadow step to kill Lin Chen. His healing was too outrageous. A basic attack restored around 3000 health, which was more insane than the new village boss who relied on the silver set, restoring 1000 health per second. Sure, Lin Chen's hands were constantly moving, but he said sure with his mouth. The old village chief was stunned for a moment, what do you want? Lin Chen pretended to think, but the speed of his feathered arrows was still unbelievably fast. Attack speed maxed out. How about this, 10 god level talent awakening stones, Lin Chen said. As soon as he heard this, the old village chief knew he was being played. Shu Eddie, if you force me, even if it means wasting this talisman, I will still kill you. As he spoke, a faint blue talisman appeared in the old village chief's hand. Lin Chen's expression changed drastically, and he turned and ran. The talisman was already terrifying. He might be able to handle a yellow-grade talisman, but the old village chief had taken out a blue-grade talisman. Even if he had the intention to resist, he didn't have the strength. It's too late to run now. The old village chief activated the blue-grade talisman in his hand. A biting cold air surged out from the talisman, freezing everything in its path into ice sculptures. Lin Chen's speed was at its maximum, but it was still not enough. In the blink of an eye, Lin Chen felt his legs stiffen, and he saw his legs freezing from the bottom up. In just a blink of an eye, Lin Chen had been completely frozen. Minus 9999. Minus 9999. After being frozen, Lin Chen's health bar began to plummet. But the old village chief had no intention of letting Lin Chen go. Flame piercing cloud palm. A palm imbued with intense flames struck the frozen Lin Chen. The power of both ice and fire exploded at that moment. Minus 98,510. Lin Chen's health bar was completely emptied, and he died on the spot. New village, resurrection altar. After Lin Chen resurrected, all the equipment on his body, except for a few items that did not require a certain level to wear, had dropped. This was because he had previously been wearing a level 10 Xingfeng set. Now that his level had dropped to 9, he naturally couldn't wear the equipment. Lin Chen resurrected at the resurrection altar. As soon as he resurrected, a number of NPCs had gathered outside the altar. There were waiters from the tavern, the owner of the potion shop, the owner of the tailor shop, and some other NPCs wandering in the newbie village. At first glance, there were 15 of them. When they saw Lin Chen resurrect, they didn't hesitate and immediately launched an attack. The tailor shop owner threw silver needles at Lin Chen, and he responded by leaping and releasing five arrows at once. The Nine Union Longbow did not have a level requirement, so Lin Chen was still using this golden grade longbow. The five feathered arrows hit five different NPCs, each causing nearly 8,000 damage. At the same time, a lightning jump was triggered. Three of the five arrows triggered the lightning jump, 
resulting in a series of damage numbers jumping from the NPC's heads. Flame incineration. The tavern waiter threw a jug at Lin Chen's feet, causing a burning effect and dealing damage. Lin Chen was continuously taking damage, but fortunately, he had a purification jade pendant, which made him 80% immune to negative buffs. Otherwise, he would have been losing 500 health points per second. Before Lin Chen could make a move, the owner of the potion shop acted, splashing a dark potion around him. You have been affected by the heavy injury potion, reducing recovery and life steal by 8%. Not only these two, but all the other NPCs also used their own means to attack Lin Chen. In less than a second, Lin Chen's health had dropped by 20,000 points. Damn it! Lin Chen cursed inwardly. He was a reborn player, yet here he was being bullied. It was a great humiliation. If you want to bully me, then let's play. Lin Chen's eyes turned cold, and after enduring a round of damage, he immediately released a maximum of five arrows. Among the archer's equipment, there was a type of bow called the splitting bow, which had relatively low accuracy requirements. But for Lin Chen, releasing five arrows at once and hitting all of them was unimaginable pressure. The arrows flew towards the five NPCs. This time, he discovered something interesting. The five arrow release could trigger the passive effect of the Hand of Divine Punishment five times. With his current three-star Hand of Divine Punishment, each five arrow release could permanently increase his health by 15 points. Not only that, the five arrow release had another issue, insufficient damage. Especially since these NPCs were all bosses with high defense. In this situation, the damage from the five arrow release was not high. However, the abnormality of Lin Chen's Hand of Divine Punishment talent was now being demonstrated. The passive effect caused 3% of the maximum health and true damage, unaffected by the 5 arrow release. Therefore, just this passive damage alone could deal huge damage. The village chief had not returned yet, but he was definitely on his way. Lin Chen had to deal with at least 5 NPCs before the village chief returned, otherwise it would be very difficult for him to break out of there. Releasing 5 arrows at once consumed a lot of energy. Lin Chen's current attributes could only support him releasing 5 arrows for no more than 15 minutes. Any longer, and the accuracy of the 5 arrow release would be affected. 15 minutes is enough, a cold light flashed in Lin Chen's eyes. Regardless of the stage of the game, being bullied was a great humiliation. Especially for Lin Chen, who was a reborn player. Therefore, even though the pressure was great, he still had no intention of stopping. Frost, freeze. The owner of the potion shop waved his staff and Frost appeared under Lin Chen's feet. Ding, you have been affected by freezing, attack speed reduced by 10%, movement speed reduced by 10%, duration 5 seconds. Lin Chen frowned slightly, the purification jade pendant was crucial. Otherwise, his situation today would be even more desperate. They seemed to have some understanding of Lin Chen's immunity abilities. When Lin Chen primarily targeted the 5 NPCs, they immediately distanced themselves to heal after losing a certain amount of health. In addition, 10 other NPCs increased their output intensity. A war of attrition? Lin Chen's eyes narrowed. His current attributes were very strong. The bloodthirsty necklace could restore over 2,000 health points with each basic attack, and volley of 5 arrows could restore over 10,000 health points. In addition, in the resurrection altar, Lin Chen could also heal, otherwise he would not be able to withstand their relentless attacks. However, the consumption of mental power for Volley of Five Arrows was huge, so Lin Chen immediately switched to a single arrow. This way, he would lose health faster, but the consumption of mental power would be significantly reduced. With Lin Chen's current abilities, as long as he did not deliberately dodge skills, he could even slowly recover the consumed mental power. However, using a single arrow without dodging skills meant that Lin Chen started losing health rapidly. He was losing almost 20,000 health points per second. With his health of over 200,000, he can only hold on for a dozen seconds. Can't hold on. Lin Chen used volley of five arrows again, increasing the recovery of his own health to delay his death. However, this approach was futile. The recovery did indeed increase significantly, but it was still not enough to compensate for the rate at which Lin Chen was losing health. Finally, after holding on for three minutes, Lin Chen fell. His level dropped from nine to eight. Thirty seconds later, Lin Chen revived from the resurrection altar. These people did not give him a chance to catch his breath at all, continuing to bombard him with skills. Lin Chen felt his scalp tingling. In this life and the next. Except for the time he was calculated and killed by Wu Shaodao, he had never felt so frustrated. Lin Chen still did not sit and wait for death, but continued to fight with all his might. He only hoped that the ninefold longbow and the bloodthirsty necklace would not drop. Currently, these were his three most crucial pieces of equipment. The ninefold longbow, the bloodthirsty necklace, and the purification jade pendant. 
The purification jade pendant could not be dropped, but there was a certain probability that the bloodthirsty necklace and the ninefold longbow could drop. Therefore, this time, Lin Chen persisted for three minutes. When he was about to be killed, Lin Chen put the ninefold longbow and the bloodthirsty necklace into his backpack. The probability of equipment dropping from the backpack was lower. Not only that, Lin Chen's backpack was full of items, so even if items were dropped, the probability of the ninefold longbow and the bloodthirsty ring dropping would be very low. Fortunately, Lin Chen did not drop any equipment this time. However, he had already dropped to level 7. Moreover, he had already seen the return of the old village chief. The battles he would face next would be even more severe. 30 seconds later, he revived. The old village chief looked coldly at Lin Chen. Shuedi, do you now understand the consequences of offending me? I can torture you until you can't leave the new bee village. The old village chief's voice was full of killing intent. Lin Chen snorted coldly, if you think you can do that, feel free to try. As soon as he finished speaking, Lin Chen took the initiative to attack. Despite only holding on for three minutes in the previous round, with the help of volley of five arrows, his maximum health had increased by over 8,000. These NPCs were difficult to deal with, but they also had their advantages. They wouldn't be killed as easily as other monsters, so they couldn't stack much health. In the next battle, Lin Chen's true damage increased by 150 points. However, this increase seemed insignificant in the face of the damage that easily exceeded a thousand from these NPCs. This time, with the participation of the old village chief, Lin Chen only held on for a minute before falling. The reason was simple. The old village chief used his ultimate skill to instantly kill Lin Chen when his health was above 10%, preventing Lin Chen from triggering the passive effect of Spring of the Withered Wood. However, it's this minute. Lin Chen still added 2,000 health points to himself. Currently, he can still maintain firing 5 arrows at once, and each basic attack can increase his health points by 15. In addition, with Lin Chen's current attack speed exceeding 4 points, he can stack 60 health points per second. Excluding factors such as being controlled, Lin Chen still increased his health points by 2,000 in this minute. The benefit of this is that the lifesteal from the bloodthirster is increased, and the true damage caused by basic attacks is increased by 60 points. At present, it seems to be better than nothing. But Lin Chen won't give up. He wants to accumulate small gains into large ones. He can revive indefinitely, but the old village chief and the others cannot. As for the old village chief destroying the resurrection altar, that is even more impossible. If the old village chief destroys the resurrection altar, then the newbie village will be ruined. His role as the village chief of the newbie village will no longer have any meaning. This is the main reason, and there is another reason. That is, if the resurrection altar is destroyed, Lin Chen will directly respawn in the main city when killed. Looking at the old village chief's formation now, it is obvious that he wants to prevent Lin Chen from leaving the newbie village. If it were another player, this account would probably be finished. But Lin Chen has the superhuman talent of the Hand of Divine Punishment. He won't back down, and he won't surrender. He wants to tough it out. Photo Club. Garen looked at the Snow Emperor in his friends list and was completely stunned, because he found that the Snow Emperor had dropped a level. And after dropping to level 9, in less than 15 minutes, he dropped continuously to level 6. This is obviously not normal. He didn't know what Lin Chen had encountered, but instinctively still sent a voice call to Lin Chen. However, at this time, Lin Chen was still in intense combat and naturally had no mood to deal with any voice calls. This time, Lin Chen persisted for a minute and a half, adding more than 3,000 health points. Because the old village chief's ultimate was on cooldown, it triggered Lin Chen's skill Withered Wood Rejuvenation. With the help of Withered Wood Rejuvenation, Lin Chen had another chance to catch his breath. If he were to go to a dungeon, he would probably only be able to stack a few thousand health points after clearing it. Now, it only takes one or two minutes for a few thousand health points to come. Garen saw that Lin Chen had dropped another level, and now he was only level 5 which made him even more worried. What on earth happened? Shouldn't players respawn at the resurrection altar after death? Unless, Garen thought of a very terrifying possibility, that is, the quenching spring. The snow emperor is being quenched. But in an instant, he felt it was unlikely. With the snow emperor's strength, who could quench his spring? Even if there was, who would dare? Whether it's the newbie village or the main city, those NPCs would not allow such a thing to happen. Killing in the newbie village or the main city would result in immediate infamy. To be precise, killing in the wild would result in infamy. Not to mention the main city. But in Lin Chen's current situation, other than being quenched by someone, he really couldn't think of a second possibility. Thinking of this, Garen immediately contacted the Photo Divine Wolf. Guild leader, do you think it's possible for players to be quenched at this stage? The Photo Divine Wolf was stunned for a moment, 
How is that possible? Even if a player's damage could quench the spring, it's simply impossible to actually quench it. Darren hesitated for a moment, but guild leader, the snow emperor has dropped four levels in less than ten minutes. Are you kidding me? The photo divine wolf found it hard to believe. Who could drop four levels in ten minutes? Even if it were intentional suicide, it would be very difficult to do. I'm not kidding, that's why I think he's being quenched. The Fudo Divine Wolf pondered for a moment and said, it shouldn't be quenching. At this stage, no one can do something as terrifying as quenching the spring. Then what's the situation? Garen asked. The Fudo Divine Wolf remained silent for a while before saying, I can only think of one possibility. That is, a hidden map or a special secret realm. In these places, it's possible that after death, you cannot respawn in the main city, which is also why the Snow Emperor has continuously dropped levels in a short period of time. Garen understood it well. Is there any way to help the Snow Emperor? Can't help. The Floating Tower Wolf replied decisively. We don't know where this special secret realm is, so we can't help. Garen sighed, well, I'll try contacting the Snow Emperor first. The Floating Tower Wolf hesitated to speak but eventually said, Young Master, I don't think you need to focus on the Snow Emperor anymore. He's falling behind us by too much and now he's continuously losing levels. The gap between us will only get bigger in the future. Garen frowned, I understand. He ended the voice call and then called Lin Chen. However, there was still no answer. Lin Chen was currently in intense battle and naturally had no mood to deal with other matters. And his level was continuously dropping under this kind of torture. Level 5, Level 4, Level 3. In less than 15 minutes, Lin Chen dropped from Level 5 to Level 1. This was the limit. Even if Lin Chen was killed again, he wouldn't continue to lose levels. Snow Emperor, do you yield? The old village chief looked at Lin Chen with a mocking expression. He had brought Lin Chen from level 10 to level 1 to show Lin Chen who was in charge in this newbie village. Lin Chen sneered, yield? Yield to your grandpa. As he finished speaking, Lin Chen's feather arrow pierced through the air. He was no longer able to sustain firing five arrows at once, but even with just one feather arrow, he was determined to resist. He had completely clashed with the old village chief. The old village chief tortured him. He stacked their health points, and in the end, who would have the last laugh? It was still unknown. Good, brave enough. Seeing that Lin Chen dared to resist, the old village chief grinned and once again engaged with Lin Chen. With just one feather arrow, Lin Chen's survival time had increased from 1 minute and 30 seconds to 1 minute and 40 seconds. Because in the recent battle, his health points had increased by over 10,000. The increase in health points meant that both damage and healing were increasing, and he could withstand for a longer time. The old village chief also noticed something was not quite right, because it seemed like Lin Chen's damage was increasing. Although the current increase was not enough to threaten them, it was still not a good sign. In the blink of an eye, half an hour had passed. Lin Chen's health points had increased by another 50,000. His total health points had reached 320,000. With each normal attack, he could deal 9,600 true damage, and his ability to withstand was increasing. The old village chief was starting to feel anxious. Lin Chen was already at level 1, and his level couldn't continue to drop. But Lin Chen's attributes were increasing, which was a very terrifying thing. Snow Emperor, do you want to continue fighting? The old village chief asked in a deep voice. Lin Chen looked coldly at the old village chief. What? Are you afraid? The old village chief's face looked very ugly and he gritted his teeth, Snow Emperor, you are an adventurer, and there should always be a reason for what you do. What do you want? Lin Chen couldn't tell the old village chief his true thoughts at this moment. Therefore, the only response to the old village chief was the cold feather arrow. You're asking for death. The battle began again. An hour later, Lin Chen's health points had increased by another 120,000. His total health points had surpassed 440,000. Now, with each normal attack, he could deal over 10,300 damage and also recover over 4,000 health points. The old village chief was feeling quite fearful. Finally, Lin Chen was killed once again. A golden longbow dropped. The old village chief's eyes lit up. Huh, Snow Emperor, your proud weapon has dropped. What are you going to do next? Lin Chen looked indifferent, and this time he directly took out the newbie longbow. The newbie longbow couldn't be dropped. Although the added attributes were minimal, for Lin Chen, it was enough. His attack speed was already at 3. 63, and without the 9 Union Longbow, his attack speed would decrease slightly, and he would lose 5% of life steal. It was a bit uncomfortable, but Lin Chan remained calm. As long as his health points continued to stack up, the victory in today's battle would ultimately be his. The rest is almost over, Lin Chen's eyes flashed with a cold light. Five arrows were released at once. Lin Chen once again used his strongest method. 
With five arrows released at once, each bloodsucking exceeded 20,000. Not only that, the five arrows released at once could cause over 10,000 damage to five NPCs. With a fast healing speed, Lin Chen was somewhat invincible. After all, with a recovery of 22,000 health points per second, plus the resurrection altar's healing, these NPCs could only take away over 20,000 of his health points per second. Therefore, he wouldn't be killed in a short time. In less than a minute, the five NPCs in the front couldn't hold on any longer. They retreated to heal, and new five NPCs took their place. Lin Shen didn't chase after those five NPCs, but directly attacked the new ones. In less than a minute, these five NPCs were also defeated. The last five NPCs came up, facing Lin Chen's terrifying damage, they were also helpless and unable to resist. The old village chief looked extremely sinister. Because Lin Chen, with the purifying jade pendant, was not afraid of him as a fighter. In order to save himself, the old village chief began to let other NPCs come up to resist the damage. But those NPCs' health hadn't fully recovered. Faced with Lin Chen's crazy output, they couldn't hold on at all. Ding, you have killed Amy Pharmacist, experience plus 12,652. Ding, you have completed the first kill of Amy Pharmacist, a server-wide announcement is about to be made, do you want to hide your name? Hide. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player hiding the nickname for completing the first kill of Amy Pharmacist. This announcement is hereby made, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. Server-wide announcement, Congratulations to the player hiding the nickname for completing the first kill of Amy Pharmacist. This announcement is hereby made, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. The server-wide announcement sounded, but it didn't cause much of a stir. Because there would be a first kill announcement for any level 10 or higher boss, and recently, many guilds had achieved first kills. However, when Garen saw this server-wide announcement, his eyes lit up. Because this server-wide announcement only had one name, indicating that the boss was killed by a single person. Recently, there had been players who hunted bosses alone, but most of them didn't hide their nicknames. Of course, if that was all, he wouldn't have thought much of it. What really surprised him was that in his friends list, Snow Emperor's level had suddenly jumped from level 1 to level 5. There was only one possibility, Lin Chen had killed Amy Pharmacist and gained a large amount of experience, thus receiving so many rewards at once. As for why Lin Chen hid his nickname, it was because he didn't know what the consequences would be for destroying the newbie village. So, he wanted to hide his nickname. He wasn't afraid of people, but rather that some NPCs in the Twilight of the Gods would find out. NPCs in the Twilight of the Gods couldn't be judged by common sense, who knows what kind of wrathful things they might do once they found out that he had destroyed the newbie village. Ding, you have killed the tavern waiter, a server-wide announcement is about to be made, do you want to hide your name? Ding, you have killed the newbie village hunter, a server-wide announcement is about to be made, do you want to hide your name? Ding, you have killed the seamstress, a server-wide announcement is about to be made, do you want to hide your name? Hide. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player hiding the nickname for completing the first kill of the tavern waiter. This announcement is hereby made, hoping that all players will continue to work hard. Throughout the twilight of the God's Dragon Country region, one server-wide announcement after another began to sound. If at first not many people paid attention to Lin Chen killing Amy Pharmacist, now, the continuous server-wide announcements had caused a commotion throughout the Twilight of the Gods. Damn! What's happening? Who is this great godly figure? Is he slaughtering the newbie village? I almost didn't notice, but all the people in these announcements are NPCs from the newbie village. Who is this great god who is so awesome, actually slaughtering the newbie village? This is something we never dared to imagine before. Futu Club! Garen's excited hands were trembling. Others didn't know who the fierce man slaughtering the new village was. But he knew. Shu Eddy. It's definitely Shu Eddy. Because Shu Eddy has now returned to level 10. There couldn't be such a coincidence. And now he can also understand why Shu Eddy was abused at the Quan Quan. Because it wasn't players who abused him, but these NPCs in the new village. Although Garen didn't know how Lin Chen managed to slaughter these NPCs in the new village, it couldn't change his excitement. New village. The old village chief saw his subordinates falling one by one, and roared in anger, Shu Eddy, you're crazy, what do you want to do? Lin Chen looked indifferent, didn't I say before? I'm sending the old village chief to his death. The old village chief's face turned purple with anger. Shu Eddy, you've gone too far. Even if we both perish today, I won't let you succeed. As soon as the words fell, the old village chief's aura became extremely violent. He didn't immediately attack Lin Chen. His attack was directed at the resurrection altar. Lin Chen's expression changed. Not good. 
If the old village chief destroyed the resurrection altar and then used a blue quality talisman, all his efforts could be completely ruined. Shu, Shu, Shu. Lin Chen dared not be negligent. Feathers flew out of his hand, all aimed at the old village chief's weak points. Tyrant body. Rage. The old village chief roared, his strength reaching its peak. Shu, Shu, Shu. Lin Chen struck again, standing in the resurrection altar, and was the first to destroy it. The moment he destroyed the altar, the entire twilight of the gods sounded the alarm. Alarm, alarm, someone maliciously destroyed the new village's resurrection altar. The altar has been destroyed, and all adventurers can no longer enter the new village. They will directly spawn in the main city, and those who die in the new village will also directly respawn in the main city. The continuous alarm left the players of Twilight of the Gods dumbfounded. It was the battle just now, the person who slaughtered the new village's NPCs, he destroyed the resurrection altar. What does he want to do? Destroying the resurrection altar means that level 1 players will spawn in the main city. Damn, those who just entered the game will suffer. Level 1 will spawn in the main city, but the weakest monsters in the main city seem to be level 10, what will they use to level up? The players of Twilight of the Gods were in an uproar. Many people cursed the person who destroyed the new village's resurrection altar. After resurrecting at the last resurrection altar, Lin Chen began to attack the old village chief frantically. The old village chief was furious, wishing to tear Lin Chen apart. But Lin Chen remained calm, having experienced many grand scenes in his past life. This kind of scene couldn't intimidate him. The old village chief's storm-like attacks fell on Lin Chen, although they took away a lot of his health. But at the same time, his own life points were also rapidly decreasing. Due to the purification jade pendant, he couldn't control Lin Chen to death, and the result was that he was killed by Lin Chen's powerful output. Ding, you have killed the old village chief of the new village. A server-wide announcement is about to be made. Do you want to hide your name? Hide. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player who hid their name for completing the first kill of the old village chief of the new village. This announcement is made, and we hope that all players will continue to work hard. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to the player who hid their name for completing the first kill of the old village chief of the new village. This announcement is made, and we hope that all players will continue to work hard. Another server-wide announcement. Those people had already started to criticize Lin Chen in various ways, especially the players in the new village. They had to commit suicide to leave the new village, because only after death could they leave the new village and spawn in the main city. Ding, you have destroyed the new village, red name value plus 1 million. Ding, you have completed the mission to destroy the new village, mission rewards, free attribute points plus 50, blessing of the gods plus 1. Lin Chen was dumbfounded when he saw his red name value. Killing a player gives you a certain amount of infamy points. I have 1 million infamy points. The higher the infamy points, the higher the punishment for death. Generally speaking, with just one infamy point, you will lose an extra level upon death and increase the drop rate by 1%. Moreover, if the infamy points exceed 10, you will be unable to enter the main city. Even if you resurrect in the main city, you will be immediately expelled. In other words, it is also impossible to change jobs or accept missions in the main city. Damn, how long will it take to reduce this infamy points? Infamous players can reduce their infamy points by killing monsters. Generally speaking, killing 100 ordinary monsters can reduce 1 infamy point, and killing 100 elite monsters can reduce 10 infamy points. As for bosses, even a black iron boss can reduce 10 points, but it needs to be soloed. Also, it cannot be lower than your own level. Because in the game, there is no reward for killing monsters lower than your own level, so naturally, you cannot reduce infamy points. 1 million. Even with his strength, it will be a long and arduous journey to reduce it. And he cannot die. Otherwise, he will have infamy points. Once dead, everything except for the undroppable equipment on him will drop. And it will be a clean drop with every death. The question is, how will he leave the newbie village? Actually, the other equipment is not a big deal. Even if it's a golden level 9 harmony longbow, Lin Chen doesn't care if it drops. But the bloodthirsty necklace. This is like a divine artifact for Lin Chen. If the bloodthirsty necklace drops, he doesn't know when he will be able to obtain another similar piece of equipment. Should he reduce his infamy points and then leave the newbie village? However, with his 1 million infamy points, even if he grinds dungeons until he's sick, he won't be able to reduce them. Finally, Lin Chen's gaze locked onto the blessings of the gods. Whether he can change his fate will depend on the blessings of the gods. In the game, the blessings of the gods are definitely a game-changing item. Use the blessings of the gods. Lin Chen eagerly activated the blessings of the gods. Ding, you have received the blessings of the gods. 
Due to your high infamy points, the blessing has changed. Ding, you have received the blessings of the Earth Mother. A dark red light beam descended from the sky, enveloping Lin Chen. Ding, you have gained the reincarnation of death. Lin Chen's eyes lit up as he immediately checked the description of the reincarnation of death. Reincarnation of death, one star. Effect, your basic attack has a zero. 5% chance to instantly kill the enemy unit. Cooldown, none. Cost, none. Proficiency, 0 out of 1000. Note, this proficiency is obtained by killing monsters, NPCs, and adventurers whose level is not lower than your own. Each kill earns one proficiency point. Lin Chen's mouth twitched. This was truly a blessing from the Earth Mother. It was just a one-star reincarnation of death, and it seemed to have a very simple effect. But even with such an effect, it was extraordinary. A zero. 5% effect may not be high, but what if the star level were to increase? Then the effect it could produce would be extraordinary. Especially in the later stages, when facing those world bosses, could he even instantly kill world bosses? Just thinking about it, Lin Chen felt a little excited. Adjusting his mood, Lin Chen began looting the corpses. There were 16 bosses waiting for him to loot here. Especially the old village chief. This was the super boss of the newbie village, and he didn't know what good things he could drop. Equipment, skills, gold coins, various materials. Lin Chen frowned as he looked at them. Except for the skills he could use to improve the proficiency of Spring of the Withered Wood, everything else was of no help to him. The reason was simple. With his current infamy points, as long as he left the newbie village, everything would inevitably drop. Finally, Lin Chen saw something useful to him. Guild Establishment Order. Awesome. In the early stages of the game, the Guild Establishment Order was even more useful than the Lord's Heart. Use the guild establishment token. Lin Chen did not hesitate at all and used it directly. Because if he didn't use it, once he died, he would only drop his items. The key was that after he died, he would be reborn in the main city and wouldn't be able to come back to retrieve them. Please name your guild. Lone Snow Guild. Lin Chen directly used the name of the guild he had established in his previous life. Ding, you are the first player to establish a guild. A server-wide announcement is about to be made. Do you want to hide your name? No. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to player Snow Emperor for being the first to establish a guild. The guild is rewarded with a special item plus one. This is a special announcement, and we hope that all players will continue to work hard. Server-wide announcement, congratulations to player Snow Emperor for being the first to establish a guild. The guild is rewarded with a special item plus one. This is a special announcement, and we hope that all players will continue to work hard. Establishing a guild. This was much more valuable than being the first to kill a boss. Originally, many people were still discussing the destruction of the newbie village, but upon hearing that Lin Chen had established a guild, their attention was immediately drawn. Wow, Snow Emperor? Has the long silent Snow Emperor finally made a move? What are the benefits of establishing a guild? Can someone knowledgeable explain? It's mentioned in the game introduction of Twilight of the Gods that there seem to be special bonuses, such as a 1% increase in experience gained by guild members, a 1% increase in damage, a 1% increase in movement speed, and so on. Just 1%, that's not much, is it? This is a 1-star guild. The higher the guild level, the greater the bonuses. Everywhere in Twilight of the Gods, there were discussions. In a level 15 instance, Dreaming of Smoke and Snow frowned upon hearing the server-wide announcement. You've been holding back all this time just for this guild establishment token? She was actually also puzzled as to why Lin Chen's level hadn't gone up, but now it seemed that it could be explained. In order to obtain the guild establishment token, he had given up leveling up to complete the storyline quest. But, you don't have a large guild backing you. What can you achieve by establishing a game guild on your own? Not only dreaming of smoke and snow, but other guilds were also discussing. They all claimed to be guilds, but without the guild establishment token, they were not true game guilds. They were just spontaneous guilds. While the outside world was discussing, Lin Chen began to check the situation of his own guild. Name, Lone Snow Guild. Level, 1 Star. Guild Leader, Snow Emperor. Vice Guild Leader, None. Administrators, None. Ordinary Members, None. Wealth, Zero. Warehouse, None. Achievements, 0 slash 1000. Bonuses, plus 1% damage. Lin Chen's eyes lit up as he deposited all his gold coins, equipment, materials, and items into the guild. This way, he wouldn't drop them if he died. It's like having a pillow when you're sleepy. Previously, Lin Chen had worried that if he left the newbie village, he would lose his equipment. But now, with the guild, all his belongings could be stored in the guild warehouse. This way, he could take everything with him. After establishing the guild, he also received a special guild item. 
Guild Special Item, Bronze. Effect, after use, guild members will receive a 10% critical hit bonus. Lin Chan's eyes lit up. This bonus was good. In the early stages, the guild's attribute bonuses were basically 1%, but now it was 10%. Use. Ding, you have used the special item. Guild members critical hit plus 10%, guild achievement plus 200. The guild level is based on achievement points. When the achievement points reach the maximum, the guild will automatically level up. However, guild achievement points are very rare, and as long as the guild makes outstanding contributions, it can earn achievement points. For example, when guild members awaken their talents or obtain hidden professions, or when they achieve the first clear of an instance or the first kill of a boss, they can earn achievement points. Powerful guilds in the later stages can earn many rewards. It was at this moment that Lin Chen noticed the message sent by Garen. From the initial concern and worry to later inquiries about whether he needed help, Garen had died too early in his previous life, and Lin Chen didn't know him well enough. However, in the case of his continuous demotion, he can still care about him, indicating that this person is still relatively loyal. Suddenly, a voice call came in. It wasn't Garen, but another good friend of Lin Chen's. Shu Eddie, our captain wants to ask if your guilt can be transferred, and we are willing to offer 1 billion. Lin Chen raised an eyebrow, this is really generous. 1 billion? And it's also shadow kill. Under normal circumstances, he might have agreed. But now, he won't agree. He wants to take control. Being strong on his own is definitely not enough. He needs a group of powerful and capable subordinates, and he also needs conditions to attract other experts. The guild is a crucial thing. If Lin Chen can do it, the guild's bonus damage, critical strike, experience points, movement speed, attack speed, and so on will all be increased by 100%. At that time, I don't know how many experts will flock to it. Sorry, I don't plan to transfer the guild. The price can be negotiated, Shadow Kill hurriedly said. It's not a matter of price. At this point, Lin Chen paused again. I don't need money, but if you have special equipment, I can consider it. Shadow Kill fell silent. Wait for me, let me check. Special equipment is very important. The purification jade pendant is special equipment. Lin Chen was able to defeat the old village chief in the newbie village. Shu Eddie, we don't have special equipment now. Can we negotiate the price? No, Lin Chen refused decisively. The faster the guild is established, the faster the level can be raised. His own level can fall behind, as long as the attributes go up. But the guild level will not fall behind, which is especially important. He hung up the call. Garen's voice came in. Shu Eddie, are you okay? Garen was concerned at first. I'm fine, thank you for your concern, Lin Chen replied. Garen hesitated, but finally said, Shu Eddie, my father just contacted me. He wants to ask if the guilt can be transferred. The price is negotiable. No, Lin Chen still directly refused. Garen didn't say much more. Okay. Shu Eddie, when you arrive in the main city, remember to take me with you. We can discuss the price. Okay. He hung up the call. Lin Chen began to ponder the second task. In ancient times, the son of the Yellow Emperor became a drought demon after his death. He fought for the Yellow Emperor, against Chiyu, but was sealed beneath the newbie village. Task requirement, release the sealed son of the Yellow Emperor. Task penalty, all fire attribute attacks you receive in the future will double in damage. Task reward, unknown. From the first task scroll, he speculated that he was correct. There would be blessings from the gods after completion. It's just a pity. He speculated that the third task scroll, to kill the drought demon, did not appear. However, this task seems not difficult for him to complete. Because he has the ice flame magic or in his hand, he can open the seal below the cliff. As he arrived at the cliff, Lin Chen felt a headache. Because he didn't know how to get down. The players who jumped off the cliff before have all died. Now that the newbie village resurrection altar has been destroyed, if he dies, the result will be leaving the newbie village and being reborn in the main city. After wandering around the edge of the cliff for a while, Lin Chen still didn't find anything. An arrow piercing through the clouds, a thousand troops and horses coming to meet. Lin Chen shot an arrow towards the bottom of the cliff. There was no response. Then he threw a homemade incendiary bottle down. After the incendiary bottle was thrown down, the fire gradually diminished and finally disappeared completely. Lin Chen felt a headache. At this height, there is probably no way for him to survive if he jumps down. There must be some hidden mechanism that I haven't discovered. Lin Chen pondered for a while and continued to wander around. If only he had asked the old drunkard for the way down. Lin Chen began to try with the arrow, there must be something he hadn't discovered. Suddenly, Lin Chen saw steel wire in the mist at the edge of the cliff. If it weren't for the pure eyes, Lin Chen wouldn't be able to see clearly. 
So that's how it is. Lin Chen understood in his heart, leaped up, and landed on a steel wire. Then came the second, the third. It's only Lin Chen. If it were another player, even if they came here, they probably wouldn't be able to stand on the steel wire. Half an hour later, Lin Chen finally arrived under the cliff. Here, Lin Chen saw a huge yin yang double fish formation. Lin Chen came to the front of the yin yang double fish formation, where there were two holes on two black and white grinding discs. One of them was similar in shape to the ice flame demon mine, as for the other hole. He also had something corresponding to it. That was the mysterious key that burst out from the enraged yellow skin. At that time, Lin Chen was still wondering what the mysterious key was for. Who's there? Lin Chen was just about to break the seal when his gaze instantly looked towards the end of the canyon. At the end of the canyon, a figure was walking unhurriedly. His steps were steady, and his figure was robust. Because of the dense fog under the cliff, and the distance being relatively far, Lin Chen couldn't see the person coming from afar clearly. As the person got closer, Lin Chen finally saw his face clearly. However, after seeing his face clearly, Lin Chen's expression showed an incredulous look. Even because of the shock, his body couldn't help but stagger back two steps. How is this possible? How is it you? Lin Chen simply couldn't believe his eyes. Once an NPC in the newbie village dies, it's a complete death, there's no reason for a resurrection. You, didn't you already die? The man showed a smirk on his face and said unhurriedly, who told you I died? The one you killed was just my younger brother. For this plan, we've been planning for so long, and we had to sacrifice my brother to achieve it. At this point, he looked somewhat regretful towards the sky, brother, your death was worth it. Our plan is about to succeed. Is Wang the blacksmith your brother? Who are you exactly? There's no one like you in the newbie village. Lin Chen thought he knew quite a bit about the newbie village. The NPCs in the newbie village have already died. He had never heard of Wang the blacksmith having a brother. And, it's too similar. The person in front of him was almost identical to Wang the blacksmith. Lin Chen was even more inclined to believe that this was Wang the blacksmith coming back to life. Who told you that Wang the blacksmith doesn't have a brother? He does, his brother was originally the village chief of the newbie village. It's just that, on the first day he became the village chief of the newbie village, the previous village chief didn't want to give up power, and they had a conflict. His brother was then expelled to the wilderness, to fend for himself. Lin Chen's pupils suddenly contracted. The man continued, otherwise, how do you think the word old and the old village chief of the newbie village came about? Because he was the previous village chief of the newbie village, I should be the current village chief of the newbie village. At this point, Lin Chen finally checked his attributes. Village Chief Wang, Silver Level 20, HP, 5255500 slash 5255500, Attack, 3999, Skills? Note, the village chief of the newbie village, Wang the blacksmith's brother, due to a conflict with the old village chief, was expelled from the newbie village, fell into madness, and became the wilderness boss of the newbie village. He has been planning a terrifying event, and we must not let him succeed, otherwise we will be punished by the gods. Lin Chen's face suddenly changed. Because this guy's classification turned out to be a wilderness boss. Not only that, he's a silver level wilderness boss. 5 million HP plus 4000 attack power. At this stage, he's definitely a level-breaking existence. So it's village chief Wang. But I'm curious, what exactly are you planning? Destroying the newbie village doesn't seem to benefit you. Under normal circumstances, the village chief Wang should want to regain power. However, the newbie village has been destroyed now, and the meaning of being the village chief of this newbie village no longer exists. Who told you I wanted to be the village chief of this newbie village? What I want is to become the son-in-law of the Star Empire. Lin Chen squinted his eyes. He thought of Princess Leona. She is the princess of the Star Kingdom and happens to be in the newbie village. Princess Leona is in the newbie village. You can pursue her directly. There's no need to destroy the newbie village. Of course, it's necessary, the village chief said grimly. How can Princess Leona look at me, a lowly commoner? To make her submit, I must make her beg me. Oh, Lin Chen became interested. He knew that he was likely to start a new plot mission. After being driven out of the newbie village, I took away two blessings from the gods of the newbie village. After leaving, I discovered the existence of Princess Leona and began to plan. Lin Chen nodded. It seems that the Star Kingdom does not have a prince. If you become the son-in-law, you may be able to compete for the throne in the future. Right, the village chief grinned. I didn't expect you to know about the Star Kingdom. If Princess Leona is released, she will leave from the Resurrection Altar so the resurrection altar must be destroyed and cannot be repaired. Therefore, the old village chief and the others must die. 
Lin Chen squinted his eyes, and a crazy guess formed in his mind. You want to use this as a condition to blackmail Princess Leona into submission. That's right, the village chief nodded. The nine-headed snake Bai and Huang Pizzi are my subordinates. I arranged the two mission scrolls in advance, waiting for someone to help me kill the old village chief. Lin Chen laughed. It turned out that he had done so much, but he had become someone else's pawn. So, what is your purpose here? Shouldn't you be going to find Princess Leona? Of course, it's to retrieve the mission scrolls, the village chief grinned. I also want the blessings of the gods. You should be content with receiving the blessings of the gods once. Hand over the mission scrolls, and I'll let you leave, Lin Chen said, somewhat surprised. Deliberately designing opposing missions, you have seamlessly planned this. Right, the village chief nodded. Now that you know, hand over the items. Why should I hand them over? Lin Chen grinned. Anyway, I want to leave the newbie village. Whether I die or not, I'll just be killed. The village chief's face darkened. It's up to you. With your current infamy value, as long as I kill you, everything on you will be dropped. As he spoke, the village chief's figure turned into a blur and attacked Lin Chen. Lin Chen also made a move. Swish. The feathered arrow pierced through the air. At the same time, Lin Chen took out three bottles of potion and drank them. Movement speed, attack speed, and life steal. All three attributes were temporarily boosted. Minus 13,358. A huge damage number appeared above the village chief's head. Then, a huge damage number also appeared above Lin Chen's head. Minus 10,000. Lin Chen's eyelids twitched. Integer reverse damage? Integer reverse damage is when the maximum integer value of the damage taken is used for counter damage. This counter damage is at least 50%. With his over 5 million health points, Lin Chen was impossible to fight against this kind of integer reverse damage mechanism. He leaped and landed on the wire. Now you wanna run, but don't you think it's too late? Hearing this, Lin Chen felt that something was wrong. As expected, above the cliff, the rock wall broke open, and a vine whipped towards Lin Chen. Nine-headed snake by? Lin Chen did a backflip to avoid the attack, but the wire was broken by the vine of the nine-headed snake by. Before Lin Chen could land, he heard a breaking sound from behind. Swish! Claws scratched Lin Chen's armor, sparking a series of sparks. At the same time, a damage number appeared above his head. Minus 1580. This damage was not too outrageous for Lin Chen to accept. But the current situation made his scalp tingle. Both Zhou Tu Shibai and Huang Pizzi were extremely abnormal at this stage. Lin Chen was not afraid to fight alone. Even if they joined forces, Lin Chen could still handle it. But there was also a silver level Wang village chief, which was a bit difficult for him to deal with. Lin Chen looked serious, the steel wire was broken, and it was not realistic for him to leave now. Shu Edi, there's no need to waste time. Hand over the things, and we can still be friends. In the future, if I become the king of the Star Kingdom, I can grant you the title of count and the corresponding lordship. Lin Chen raised his eyebrows, and he had no reason to refuse. Although the blessings of the gods were good, the current situation made it impossible for him to succeed. Unless, Lin Chen looked up at the cliff. On the cliff, snowflakes were falling. The temperature suddenly dropped. Ding, you are affected by the cold, your movement speed is reduced by 12%, and your attack speed is reduced by 12%. You are suffering from freezing damage and will continue to lose blood. Minus 240. Minus 240. The Wang village chief's face changed suddenly, and he and Zhou Tushi Bai and Huang Pizzi all entered a state of continuous blood loss. On the cliff, a gorgeously dressed woman stepped forward. With each step, it seemed like she was stepping on air, but after her foot landed, ice flowers formed under her feet, stabilizing her. One step, two steps, three steps. Every step was extraordinary. Although the distance was still far, Lin Chen had already judged the identity of the other party. Princess Leona. In the current novice village, only this princess from the Star Kingdom could achieve this. Respected Princess Leona, you have come? The Wang village chief changed his previous expression and showed a friendly smile to Princess Leona. Princess Leona glanced coldly at the Wang village chief. What do you want? I am very clear about it. Hearing this, the Wang village chief was stunned, then smiled. Princess Leona, since you know, you should also know about my admiration for you. Why speak so hypocritically? Princess Leona sneered. You think everything is under your control, but have you ever thought that I can kill you? The Wang village chief's eyes narrowed, he spread his hands and said, Great Princess Leona, of course you can kill me, but after killing me, have you thought about how to leave here? Your ambition will not allow you to willingly be trapped in the novice village. Princess Leona sneered, This, you don't need to consider. I know my own business. With that, a chill spread out from Princess Leona. 
The Wang village chief's face changed suddenly. Quang Ba, Ba Body, Dance of Broken Wings. In just an instant, the Wang village chief released three skills at the same time, and a pair of broken wings appeared behind him. The wings flapped, and the Wang village chief flew towards the cliff. Princess Leona raised her hand, and a huge ice magic array appeared above the Wang village chief. Then, countless ice spikes fell from the magic array. Minus 15,928. Minus 15,929. A series of damage numbers appeared. Just a magic array alone had taken away millions of the Wang village chief's health points. It was terrifying. Lin Chen had thought that Princess Leona might be quite powerful, but the extent of her power was beyond his imagination. No wonder the Wang village chief, upon knowing that the other party was going to attack, had started to flee without hesitation. At this moment, the Wang village chief and the sky changed direction and continued to flee. Zhou Tushibai and Huang Pizzi both made a move at the same time, wanting to delay Princess Leona. But in the blink of an eye, these two powerful bosses were frozen. Princess Leona raised her hand. A ice shield appeared behind the Wang village chief, pressing him down. Village chief Wang stopped running after breaking free from the ice shield and just coldly looked at Princess Leona. Go ahead and kill me. If you can kill me, I'll accept it. Princess Leona did not make another move, and Lin Chen instantly understood the problem. Village chief Wang is no longer an NPC, he is a field boss. Field bosses have a special trait, which is that they respawn after being killed, in other words, they can revive. Both the nine-headed snake Bai and the yellow-skinned Lin Chen have killed them, but they still appeared here. They revived. What? Not going to kill me? Since you're not going to kill me, you might as well listen to what I have to say. Village chief Wang gradually calmed down. I want to marry you and become the future king of the Star Kingdom. Princess Leona's breath suddenly became agitated, and the temperature around dropped significantly. Don't be in such a hurry to get angry, we can mutually benefit each other. You've been away from the Star Kingdom for so long, and if you go back recklessly, no one can help you. But if you marry me, I can help you. I am a wild monster, and also an NPC. The key is, I have received a blessing from the gods, which is that I can level up and grow just like an adventurer. Upon hearing the words level up and grow, Princess Leona, who had always been calm, was moved. Whether an NPC or a wild monster, they basically have a limitation, which is that they cannot break through their current constraints and continue to become stronger. Lin Chan saw Princess Leona's reaction and thought to himself that it was not good. If Princess Leona agreed to his request, then he would not be able to obtain the second blessing from the gods. Lin Chen had made so much effort just for the blessing from the gods. Having a helper who can grow and revive indefinitely, how much help do you think it would be for you to compete for the throne in the Star Kingdom? I believe you understand. Rest assured, we can have a fake marriage, it won't affect you, as long as in the end, we can become the king and queen of the Star Kingdom. Lin Chen had to admit that from a standpoint of interest, the conditions proposed by village chief Wang were very tempting. Ah, it seems that there is no chance. Lin Chen sighed quietly. However, what Princess Leona said next gave Lin Chen hope once again. I think I have many potential partners to choose from, such as the Snow Emperor. Village Chief Wang's pupils contracted, and he said in a deep voice, after all, he is an adventurer, it's hard to say whether he will be completely united with us in the future. No, Princess Leona shook her head, I don't want to marry him, I want to give him a task. Snow Emperor, are you willing to support me in becoming the king of the Star Kingdom? If you can make me the king of the Star Kingdom, I will build 3,000 shrines for you and make you the war god of my Star Kingdom. Lin Chen's face showed an incredulous expression. In the late stage of the Twilight of the Gods, ordinary attack power and magic power were already insufficient. The top batch of people were all pursuing godhood. And the first step to becoming a god was to have enough power of incense, also known as followers. The meaning of Princess Leona's words was already very clear. That is, she wanted to establish shrines, worship Lin Chen, and let Lin Chen gain the power of incense in their star kingdom. Ding, Princess Leona has issued a task to you. Task requirements, help her become the next king of the star kingdom. Task punishment, unknown. Task reward, she will appoint you as the war god and build 3,000 shrines for you. Accept. Lin Chen had no reason to refuse. In his previous life, he didn't know how many strong individuals had fallen one after another in their pursuit of becoming a god. But in the end, they all failed due to the power of incense. It was too difficult to obtain the power of incense. Princess Leona, even so, how do you plan to leave the newbie village? Upon hearing this, Princess Leona's gaze fell on the Yin Yang twin fish formation. It's simple, release the drought demon, he will naturally break through the spatial barrier, and we can take the opportunity to leave. Village Chief Wan was somewhat agitated and shouted, Leona, you are simply a lunatic. 
Do you know the impact of releasing the drought demon? Princess Leona smiled noncommittally and said, I know, but so what? With that, she decisively took action. In the blink of an eye, she froze everything within a hundred miles. Village Chief Wang stared wide-eyed, frozen in place and unable to move. Snow Emperor, release the seal, Lin Chen nodded and stored all his equipment in the guild warehouse, then separately inserted the ice flame ore and the mysterious key. In the next moment, the earth trembled. The yin and yang Pisces pattern began to crack, and intense heat emanated from below. I can't die, I'll go first, Leona took a step and disappeared. Lin Chen's scalp tingled. If you're going to run through the spatial rift, take me with you. What's going on, leaving me here alone? At that moment, a server-wide announcement sounded, alert, alert, someone has released the sealed drought demon. The world boss, drought demon, is about to appear. All adventurers, please be cautious. The sound of the alert echoed throughout the server, leaving many players dumbfounded. What is this? Am I hearing things? You're not hearing things. A world boss? Are you sure the system didn't make a mistake? At this stage, we struggle even with a black iron boss. How are we supposed to defeat a world boss? Hee <laughs> hee, although we don't know how to defeat it, one thing is certain, the rewards will be abundant once we do. The chaos spread among the major clubs, corporations, and authorities, all of which held emergency meetings. The sudden appearance of the world boss. Regardless of who it was, the benefits of defeating this world boss were immeasurable. The government, the military. An elderly man with graying temples appeared in the meeting room. You are all the most formidable analysts in our dragon kingdom. Our special forces have encountered black iron, bronze, and even silver bosses. This time, we must defeat the world boss. Upon hearing this, the lead analyst shook his head. Sir, based on our estimation, the world boss's health should not be less than a billion, and all attributes will be extremely terrifying. Even if all our special forces members join forces, it will be a drop in the bucket. Is there no way? The old man frowned. There is, and that is the tactic of overwhelming numbers. In the core cities, there are millions of players. If millions of players join forces, perhaps there is a 1 in 10,000 chance of killing this world boss. 1 in 10,000? The old man almost thought he had misheard. With millions of players joining forces, there's only a 1 in 10,000 chance? That's right, the analyst nodded. This is also considering the participation of hidden professions and high-level talent owners. Otherwise, there would be no chance at all. Good, I understand. The old man's expression was not very good. The world boss was a hope, but they were powerless. The military was also powerless, and the results of discussions in other clubs and guilds were similar. At this stage, players were not capable of confronting the world boss. The drought demon is born. The commotion also alarmed certain entities in the twilight of the gods. Star Kingdom. The Palace. Queen Theodingyu immediately looked towards the direction of the newbie village upon hearing the server-wide announcement. After so many years, has it finally come out? Beside the queen was a hunched old woman. She held a skeletal staff and spoke with a sharp, hoarse voice. Your majesty, perhaps this is an opportunity for us. Fiatin Yu's eyes flashed with a cold light when he heard the words, the Star Kingdom has been peaceful for too long, it should indeed undergo some changes. Make arrangements, the plan can be implemented. Not only the palace, but also some other people in the Star Kingdom began to take action. The appearance of a world boss could completely change the current situation. Lin Shen didn't know this. He was standing next to the Yin Yang Pisces formation at this moment. The scorching temperature was burning his skin. Ding, you have suffered a burn injury and will continue to lose health. Minus 4000. Minus 4000. Lin Chen was stunned. He hadn't completely broken the seal, but it was already so abnormal. It should be noted that Lin Chen's purification jade pendant could immunize him from 80% of negative effects. Burning was also a negative effect. In other words, without the immunity of the purification jade pendant, he would lose 20,000 health points per second. In his previous life, he had not fought against the drought demon, so he didn't know much about its strength. But now, he had a clearer understanding. Boom! A loud noise. The earth shook and the sky cracked. Lin Chen was directly thrown out. Minus 99,999. It was as if the damage had grazed him, and his health bar dropped sharply. But Lin Chen didn't care. He was already seeking death, as long as he died, he could resurrect in the main city. Then, he saw a figure wrapped in flames soaring into the sky. Wherever his gaze passed, flames ignited. However, when his gaze fell on Lin Chen, the flames disappeared, and he slowly walked towards Lin Chen. Lin Chen also began to check his condition. Life? Attack? Skills? Lin Chen? How high was this level, that even the name was replaced with question marks? Did you release me? A magnetic voice rang out, 
with a hint of softness in the sternness, making it impossible to determine the person's gender. Moreover, the person's appearance was fierce, making it equally impossible to discern their gender from their appearance. According to the previous mission prompt, the person in front of him should be the son of the Yellow Emperor. But Lin Chen remembered that according to myth, it was the daughter of the Yellow Emperor who turned into the Drought Demon. The mission prompts of the Twilight of the Gods may not be entirely correct, so Lin Chen reserved his own opinion. Yes. The Drought Demon glanced at Lin Chen and sneered, Have you ever thought that releasing me would bring disaster to the world? Hearing this, Lin Chen replied, I don't think so. You were a good person before, and now, I still believe in you. Good person? The drought demon smiled ambiguously, I used to be a good person indeed. I helped many people, even after becoming the drought demon, I continued to help people. But just because I am the drought demon, everyone speaks ill of me and wants to destroy me. If it weren't for my immortal nature, I'm afraid it wouldn't be a seal, but complete annihilation. With that, the drought demon instantly grabbed Lin Chen by the neck. I don't want to be a good person anymore. I want to be a great demon, the greatest demon in the world. Lin Chen stared at the drought demon and gritted his teeth, no, you still have a conscience. If you were truly possessed, you wouldn't be talking to me, but would directly attack and kill me. Hearing this, the drought demon's eyes flashed with a cold light. I didn't kill you immediately because I haven't spoken to anyone for too long. With that, the drought demon slapped Lin Chen's chest. Lin Chen's health bar above his head instantly emptied. Then, he automatically respawned in the Black Wind City of the Star Kingdom. There was a resurrection time after death. Lin Chen was now waiting for his resurrection. Citywide announcement, a heinous criminal has entered Black Wind City. The Lord of Black Wind City has issued an urgent mission, hunt down the criminal. Citywide announcement, a heinous criminal has entered Black Wind City. The Lord of Black Wind City has issued an urgent mission, hunt down the criminal. All the players in Black Wind City now had an additional mission? Mission, hunt down the criminal. Requirement, kill the wicked individuals, adventurers with a notoriety value greater than 10,000 who enter the Black Wind City 100 times. Current progress, 0 out of 100. Punishment, none. Reward, each kill will yield a piece of bronze equipment and 10 points of free attributes. What the heck? When the players in Black Wind City received this task, they all showed expressions of disbelief. What the heck? What did I just see? A welfare task? Quick, who is the adventurer with a notoriety value exceeding 10,000? Come out and let me kill you 100 times. 10 free attribute points each time, 1000 free attribute points for 100 times, and 100 pieces of bronze equipment. If I were to kill him 100 times by myself, I would be flying on the spot. Please calm down, we don't even know what this guy did to accumulate a notoriety value of over 10,000. The discussions in Black Wind City continued. Lin Chen, on the other hand, was at a loss. What had he done to deserve this? To think that a bounty was placed on himself. As he watched the countdown to resurrection, Lin Chen was already contemplating how to escape. Fight his way out? There probably wasn't a better option. After all, notoriety value couldn't be concealed, it was prominently displayed on his head, a bright red, enlarged number. In this situation, sneaking out was not very realistic. Therefore, the only option was to fight his way out. Equipping the Nine Union Longbow and Bloodthirsty Necklace, and preparing the Acceleration and Shield Potions, Lin Chen was ready to charge out. Here, he couldn't help but thank the good people in the newbie village, he had obtained quite a few items upon death. However, during Lin Chen's brief resurrection time, a national announcement came again. National announcement, the Star Kingdom has been infiltrated by extremely wicked individuals. The king of the Star Kingdom has issued an urgent task, hunt down the wicked individuals. National announcement, the Star Kingdom has been infiltrated by extremely wicked individuals. The king of the Star Kingdom has issued an urgent task, hunt down the wicked individuals. Lin Chen? He was dumbfounded. What had he done to provoke this? To think that he was being targeted like this. Not only were the players in Black Wind City boiling with excitement, but the players of the entire Star Kingdom were also thrilled. In other words, all the players in the Dragon Kingdom area were excited. Because all Dragon Kingdom players could only be in the Star Kingdom before their second transformation. What the heck, the rewards given by the King of the Star Kingdom are so generous, it's double the rewards in Black Wind City, love it, love it. Ha, huh, that notoriety adventurer, come out and meet your death, there's no escaping. You'll become our equipment and free attribute points, it's your honor. Before, it was a group of people looking for wild bosses, now it's hunting down notoriety players. But I really want to know how this notoriety player accumulated such a high notoriety value. All the players in the Dragon Kingdom area were boiling with excitement. And at this moment, Lin Chen finally resurrected. Level 1. That's right. 
he was now at level 1. His notoriety value was too high, dying once would reset his level and experience points. The moment he resurrected from the Black Wind City Resurrection Altar, Lin Chen sprinted towards the city's outskirts at full speed. But his notoriety value, reaching a staggering 1 million, was so conspicuous. He's over there. Who, who, who is that notoriety player? Damn. His notoriety value is 1 million. Kill him. Notoriety players in the main city were not protected, so these players could attack him in the main city. Lin Chen couldn't care about anything else now. He couldn't retaliate either. If he did, it wouldn't just be players chasing him, the city guards of Black Wind City would also come after him. Killing players in the main city would result in being arrested and imprisoned by the city guards, with the length of the sentence determined by the notoriety value. With his notoriety value, if he were to be arrested, he might as well stop playing. As for confronting the city guards head-on, that was out of the question. Without resistance, he wouldn't last a second against the city guards in his current state. Therefore, before leaving Black Wind City, Lin Chen could only run. He was now at level 1, and he had too few weapons to equip. Purification Jade Pendant Are there any level requirements for the Nine Union Longbow and the Bloodthirsty Necklace? However, both of these equipment pieces do not provide any resistance. They share a common trait of not providing resistance. Now, the attacks from these players on Lin Chen almost equate to real damage. Minus 512. Minus 198. Minus 299. A series of damage numbers floated above Lin Chen's head. Behind Lin Chen, there were tens of thousands of players chasing after him. Although Lin Chen's movement speed was fast, he was quickly surrounded by people and soon got trapped in the Black Wind City. Damn it, they're not giving me any chance at all. Lin Chen leaped up and ran, stepping on their shoulders. But wherever he went, countless skills rained down on him. Even though the damage from a single skill wasn't very high, only a few hundred or even over a hundred, it was still overwhelming due to the large number of people. Tens of thousands of people. It was because of the overcrowding that if tens of thousands of people really hit him at the same time, he wouldn't have any chance and would be instantly killed. But in the current situation, he was losing over 100,000 HP per second. Damn, this is the first time I've felt that the Black Wind City Resurrection Altar is so far from the city gate. Lin Chen's face turned extremely ugly. In the moment of being killed, he stored all his equipment in the guild warehouse. He died. With his utmost effort, he managed to hold on for a full 9 seconds with his over 440,000 HP. He could hold on for 9 seconds because he suddenly appeared, and many players hadn't reacted yet. Watching the countdown to resurrection, and then looking at the large group of players standing outside the resurrection altar, Lin Chen was dumbfounded. He didn't have any chance at all. Really, not even a tiny chance. Damn it. I, a dignified reborn, have been abused twice in one day. Where is the justice in this? Lin Chen cursed in his heart. But looking at the tens of thousands of players blocking the resurrection altar, as well as the players coming from outside Black Wind City one after another, he gave up struggling. His over 400,000 HP, to be honest, was really just a matter of one round of attacks. As expected, just as Lin Chen had just resurrected, a round of attacks came down, and he died again. Lin Chen? Boring. Really boring. Lin Chen chose to log out on the spot. You can abuse me all you want, as long as I'm not online, killing me a thousand times won't affect my mood. 